Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors <laughs> sit and play Dungeons and Dragons across my camera. Uh, <laughs> uh, welcome to tonight's adventure. Uh, before we get into it, we're going to go ahead and go through our notes for sponsorship and other such glory for the evening. Uh, first and foremost, tonight we have our, our fantastic returning uh, sponsor, Loot Crate. Thank you so much, Loot Crate. We have a, a glorious unboxing that is happening right now. Let's do it. Okay. Let's open the So wait, we'll they've changed their boxes and their logos. Yeah, everything is different now. I think you mean upgraded. Yeah. I can't open it. We're unboxing last month's box. That's their build theme. It's the build theme. That's for building a thing, isn't it? I haven't even, I've I'm a rebel, Liam O'Brien. Yeah. That's cute. I still haven't opened it. This was a bad decision. You're correct. This was a bad point. This was a this was a great decision. <laughs> what did you do? What did you do? What did you do? I found a cool. edge. Yeah, did you? Just like a Batman yeah, food container? All wait, yeah. wait, wait. All of my power oh, Ranger. You can put your wow. soup in it. You can you can put your your secret keys in there. You can hide in your front yard. Yeah. 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 Put it amongst your rocks. Oh no, there's not. I'm just saying this is my kids. Oh my god, I got the speech man. Oh dude, someone's gonna fight you on that. That's really cool. Back Which one did you get? Oh, we got the angry. You got. You got Dimensions Fun Pack of. It's a uh, what's oh, his name? It's, uh, Liam Neeson. That's Liam Neeson. Uh, yeah, they're all different. Yeah, I got Liam Neeson. Oh, oh. Liam Neeson. oh. oh. you got I cyborg. Are these Tetris magnets for the? Yeah, we have two cyborgs for the home. Oh yay! We can trade me a cyborg. I'll trade you a cyborg for a space man. How are you? Dude, that is... Oh my god, this is actually... Is that like the Voltron? That's not... No, that's Power Ranger, that's, that's Megazord. Wait, we don't have to give these back, That's not right? Voltron? That's not Voltron, man. Yeah, I'm so stupid. Yeah, I know. Did anybody show off the shirt yet? <laughs> no. Yeah, I did, but I'll show it up again. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a really awesome Power Ranger shirt with the classic Megazord. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure that's Voltron, guys. Megazord! <laughs> Who are you gonna believe? Wait, what size guy do I have? Guy the comic book show? <laughs> the guy. Hey! Who's got a small? I may have a small, let me find out. This feels what small. What do you got? I got a large. I oh, I, I need a large. I've got a large, never oh mind. There's and also there's something a, that tells me that up? I can unlock the mysteries. Ooh. At Loot Crate. Oh, this is really cool, look at that. What yeah. Yado? What Yado did you this get? This looks. Secret of the Keys. Yeah. 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 I wanted to know what Yado. Cool what Yado did you get? Features uh, some cool what Yado. reviews and yeah. yeah. and ooh, we uh, how to build a tabletop RPG character. That's very helpful. Oh. You should Wait, definitely really? read yeah. that. Oh. You should definitely, definitely yeah. read that. Yeah. Please read that. Read that. My favorite thing is the Batman head. You specifically. You read it. I will read that. Like on the break, read it. Okay. Something may happen. Thank you so much, Lou Cray. You are awesome. Appreciate that. Sam, did you want to speak? I just on. wanted to say the things that we're supposed to say, which are uh, our sponsor, Loot Crate. This was their last uh, last month's theme uh, build. This month's theme is Primal, featuring brands like X-Men, Overwatch, and what? Predator. If you go to lootcrate.com slash critical role and use the promo code critical role, one word, you can get 10% off. I prepared a very very small bit tonight because I knew we had the the uh, unboxing to do. I just took. Uh, I thought for our international audience, they might not like to know how to say loot crate in different languages. Oh no! So I did some really good research. Not five minutes on Google Translate. I'll tell you that much. Uh, in Spanish, loot crate is las ganancias calla. In German, it's der Sasterkasten. <laughs> In Japanese, it's Senri in Kureto. In Latin, it's Predam Corbis. In Dutch, it's Buitkrat. In Swedish, we're talking Plundras Playada. <laughs> and in Klingon, Dursek oh, no. Roo. Good, good pronunciation. Oh, and in Pig Latin, it's Amse. Igde is Igbe. All right, good. Fantastic. all your complaints. Care of Sam Regal. <laughs> Sam has. <laughs> thank you so much, Sam, and thank you, Luke Ray, for being our awesome sponsor. Um, if if the announcement sheet did go out today, I did not get it. So whoever put it together and sent it to 
Could they go find that real fast? I, While I talk about... You talk. Uh, I put the announcement sheet together. I, I didn't get it in my email. Oh. Is, I, let me find it. That's I'm okay. Like, um, I don't know where my phone is. I do want to give a heads up. Uh, right now we have uh, a giveaway happening for our pals over at Nerdist. Uh, thanks to Qualcomm, Lionsgate, and the new VR experience based on the upcoming Power Rangers movie. Uh, you can enter to win a paid trip to LA to attend the Power Rangers movie premiere, as well as Google Pixel phones and Daydream headsets. Yeah. I don't know what Daydream headsets are, but I can bet you I know what they do. They're VR. They're the VR Give headsets. Give you daydreams. <laughs> uh, from now through March 10th, you can go to nerdist.com slash Power Rangers giveaway to learn more and enter to win. And we kind of prefer to see critters win anything that happens here because yeah. then we can yeah, we st do. stack the deck against our own people to show those nerdist guys what we mean What's up? here at Geek and Sundry. What we mean. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much for the heads up on that. Uh, let's see. Uh, indeed. Other announcements. The other announcements. Other I'm right? trying to navigate Talison's phone because I don't know where my phone is. So this is just going. Talison's on an this iPhone This is just too going over there. great. Swimming. Um, I find um, fuck it. Fuck we'll it. Just, well, we'll, well no, I, I can cuff. remember some of them. One of I, them was Talison's announcement that he has some show on Wednesday nights. I Wednesday do. Club. I have a Wednesday. Wednesday at noon to two on this very Twitch channel is the Wednesday Club, and and this week we're going to be talking about. Uh, Image Comics, uh, which is now about 25 years old, I think we're, this is the, wow. the, the thing, and we're going to talk about how they started and why it's important, and then all the cool stuff they're doing today, which is some really cool stuff. Yeah. Good books. There was also a uh, new signal boost with Stephanie Woodburn and Eric Campbell is all out. Um, ooh, there it Yay. is. There it is. Merch. 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 All dice are out, the dice uh, are out of stock. Dice are out of stock, you guys. Dice are out of stock. Don't worry, we'll but get like Gilmore three shirts. more. That was. Uh, the Gilmore shirts are still up, along with socks, vinyl stickers, mugs, patches, bracelets, pins, hats, nail wraps, logo shirts, the disturbingly comfortable how do you want to do this t-shirt, and hoodie, and more, but not really more. That's actually, I think, everything. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like I needed a finale no. to that. Sorry about that. Yeah, um, really you did win some, oh, note. GM tips. That's right, you have some GM tips on up Oh, today. whoa. Um, this one is about how to design and write your own one shot. Um, it goes through the process of you know initial story design, how to prepare encounters and NPCs, and be ready for a one-shot circumstance for like a single run arc. These tips can also be expanded upon to do multiple sessions or a full arc or even a full campaign. But uh, uh, you know these are little bite-sized condensed tips, so I hope that they're helpful and in inspiring some people to learn a thing or two about running a one-shot or more. So check it out. Um, Marisha, you also just made a robot. <laughs> pretty cool. That's actually pretty rad. Hello. Uh, you had an announcement, if I recall. Yes, I can officially announce as of yesterday that I am one of the new hosts of GameStop TV. Yeah! yeah. 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 So if you walk into a GameStop, you can see my dumb face talking to you about games and all that stuff, along with Chris, who's been there like for since the beginning. <laughs> But, um, the yeah. Triassic <laughs> yeah, exactly. We are so proud. I, I try and I'm a little kooky. Trying to. You're always a little kooky, Marisha. That's, that's true. It's that's like you. It's like you were the harbinger at the end of the circle of life for games. Yeah, it's like like the Ouroboros yeah. kind of thing going on. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, oh awesome. my god! Lego Batman has gonna be my dice jail tonight. Oh, that's great. Right. <laughs> that's an important <laughs> announcement. That's good. Dark. That is important. You have to put uh, your and dice last but not least, <laughs> as always, Talks Machina is live on Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. on Twitch with the illustrious Brian Foster. Brian Foster. And, uh, don't forget. Because I feel like I'm, I'm not a lot of people are doing this really, and I see so much. Don't forget to submit your GIF and fan art of the week to the contest, and use talksmachina at gmail.com to do that. And put it in like the subject. Be like contest entry, because that helps, you know, people who are pouring through your emails. <sighs> There you go. Yeah. 17 more announcements, guys. That's it. That's all we have. We're good. Great. Done and done. All righty. That being the case, let's go ahead, twins. twins, twins, and bring it into tonight's episode of Critical Role. <laughs>
So, to get you guys up to speed for tonight's episode, Vox Machina, our band of adventurers, after defeating the Chroma Conclave, destroying Fordak, and then Rai Shan, the mastermind behind their ascension, uh, you've then recovered a few objects of possible, uh, uh, re revealing her plan at the very least, though keeping it tempered. You've begun closing loose, wen loose, wens, loose ends that you hadn't had the time to get to to this point, including finishing Keyleth's Aramente. Um, you managed to charter a ship and crew, Adimon, to head towards the west, the Osmit Sea, uh, where you were boarded temporarily by what appeared to be a band of pirates. Um, defeating them and sinking the ship, you continued forward, taking a prisoner. Um, a friendly prisoner. We're friendly taking a prisoner. What? Nicely yeah, taking a prisoner. Take. What history do you remember? Um, you then eventually found yourselves, the, the ship reaching the outside of the Omnum Mountain, uh, Omnum Islands. It's been a long week. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> um, where the ship set anchor on the outside of the reefs that encircle the center of these three islands, where in the center of them lies a partially submerged city of Vesra. The last stop on Keyleth's Aramente and the water Ashari that live there. You, upon arriving just past sunset, watch the city come to life and the Vesra come out. And upon discovering that you were allies, uh, or at least friendly, they took you in and gave you the idea of what you had to do to finish this Aramente. Your task to come the following day was to be led down into the uh, area of Torrent where the elemental rift to the water elemental plane resides under protection, and you were to retrieve three lodestones, uh, magical stones that are occasionally farmed from the water elemental plane uh, as they fade for power. These stones are utilized apparently in both keeping the rift contained and keeping the city of Vesra uh, aloft and up towards the air. However, in the process of them researching where these lodestones came from, it was discovered in at least recent years that they were byproducts of one of the krakens that lives in the water on the plain. Wow. And um, that's cute. There are a number of krakens. Um, uh, this one, however, was drawn back to the rift uh, from one of the earlier expeditions of the uh, wave riders that were attempting to find them, and now has taken up its lair on the outskirts of this rift. Huh. So your task as Vox Machina is to enter the rift into the water elemental plane, find and bring back three of these lodestones, and do so without slaying the Kraken, as it is an important part of the ecology and continued existence of the city of Vesra. So, that's where we come on in. So you guys, uh, as it is evening, you've been fed um, a largely fish and marine-based meal, um, and you've had the opportunity to speak with some of the locals and uh, prepare and discuss amongst yourselves exactly what you wish to do for this journey tomorrow. So, so what do you want? What time is it here? Uh, I mean, it's it's probably a post food and mild celebration of you guys making it here in the first place. Uh, they don't get too many in, intentional travelers. Most of the people that come here are either shipwrecked, uh, saved by the uh, wave riders uh, at the middle of the storms, and some of them stay and end up joining the Vesra. Uh, they have a number of reformed pirates, people that. Uh, Almost uh, died at sea and drowned, but were saved by them and then eventually joined them. Uh, but I'd say it's about maybe close to 10, 10 p.m., the equivalent. Oh, it's late. I feel like. Um, you you got should, here just after dusk. We should have a hero's feast before tomorrow. I have no idea what a Kraken does or. Yeah, uh, my, me neither. Actually, uh, is Yovanda still around? <coughs> She's still there. Are we still in front of her? Yovanda uh, uh, is, is around. Yeah. You can find her. Um, as, as you <laughs> approach her, she's uh, finished her meal and is like half napping in this kind of almost a high chair. Um, though it's it's built beautifully of of what look to be um, like petrified uh, bleach white shells and uh, like coral structures, and this looks to be her seat at this kind of open uh, natural gazebo like eating space. She's kind of half rested off of the side with her staff, kind of leaning a bit. And as soon as you start approaching, one eye kind of flies open, curls in your direction, and she leans forward. <clears throat> Young Keyleth, what do you require? I'm sorry, I hope I'm not interrupting. My nap, yes, but you seem intent. What do you wish? <laughs> I, I was just curious, I guess, if you had any advice for tomorrow morning. 
Is there anything I should know in particular about the Kraken? From what we know, the Kraken is a very hungry beast. Oh. That uh, carries with it a swarm of long, grasping tentacles. It moves unimpeded and destroys structures in its path. Seems nigh unstoppable, which is why maintaining the rift is so important. To unleash more of these entities into our plane would be disastrous, not just for our city, but for the entirety of the Osmond. Um, do be aware that you will be encountering this beast deep, deep in the fathoms, the depths of the water elemental plane. So be prepared best you can to swim. All right. You mentioned it being hungry. What is it hunger for? Anything that crosses its path. <laughs> You'll see, the sand below in the vicinity of the rift is partially soot, dirt, and sand. But a lot of it is sprinkled bone of things that fail to make it through the rift. And I imagine it's pretty dark down there. It's not the brightest place, no. How large are these lodestones that we're looking for? We will show you these down in the airy tomorrow, but they're roughly, and she gives a motion about that big uh, in her hands, about that large. But you can take time and research the ones that are dwindling within the temple. That way you know what to look for. And in all your experience with these beasts, are their attacks mainly physical? Mainly. However, they have a degree of control over the waters that surround them. Those who have returned, the wave runners who do these passes every few years, they uh, they speak of currents swiftly changing, it leaving bursts of darkened ink-like material to obstruct the space. And they speak of sudden surges of energy that rock through the nearby waters. <clears throat> That's fine. Uh, so we need snorkels. Lots of lots of snorkels, yeah. I think. Long ones. Really. Are there other creatures that live in the rift. There are creatures, but those of flesh and bone usually find themselves to the belly of the beast, and uh, due to the nature of its presence and the rift's energy, elementals do occasionally wander, half crazed, directionless in that space as well. So be careful. <clears throat> All right. Is there a particular creature that you know is good at evading this kraken? Um, our wave runners, <laughs> they travel usually in uh, various forms of their mer form. Right. Anything that can swim quickly, swiftly, search fast and retrieve and return. Whatever that is to you. That's your choice. Okay. Keyleth, I know you have the ability to turn us into different things. Yes. Is it possible to turn us into water elementals? <clears throat> no, that's not. That's not uh, a thing. It's not really a beast. I can, can turn you into uh, a beast. Create a herd of dolphins that we can commandeer. <clears throat> sea cows. Yeah, and then like just. Manatees. Manatees. Uh, Narwhals. Narwhals. No. <laughs> they do have a spike. Um, the worst of like five worlds. Like well, that. I know that uh, Tarion and I can alter ourselves into a merfolk. Yes. And you can also, how many people can you imbue with your powers? To, to become give, underwater sea breathers? Yeah, could you give alter self to others? <coughs> I mean, technically I could, I would use a lot of my spell abilities, but uh, I could give four of my little coins to people, and those coins could be used to alter your yourself to, uh, to be a, a water-breathing madman like me. <laughs> merfolk? Well, it's sort of yeah. just you, but with gills. What if of. we want to be a mermaid? Though? Sure, yeah, you could do sweet. that. With the altar stuff, you can give yourself gills and uh, webbed hands, and you could, you would gain a swim speed of your normal walking speed. And a seashell bra. 
Should that be your preference? Sure. Um, uh, as, as she begins to talk about about the, 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 oh yeah, this is oh please, this is all, all she talked about from no. ages six to thirteen. Only <laughs> thing. We are the daughters I of Triton. I want to go where the people are. <laughs> Look at our DM. I want it. <laughs> anyway. I can also think of a spell that would give you a a clever. Rastafarian crab sidekick. Ooh, I like it. Oh, turn, turn, it. Turn, turn, oh, it. Turn. oh my gosh! Yeah. Okay, okay. Got to put the foot down before this gets oh, weird. Oh yeah, okay. I agree. Um, let's talk <laughs> about this over a hero's feast. How's yeah, that? Yeah, but like a midnight feast, like midnight brunch. No, because that always a spell on the I day. I don't think uh, she's done talking. Who? What? Oh, I left. Just be warned. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we get carried away. I would recommend taking some time in the water first. Learn how it reacts to you and you react to it. Know that the limitations of not combating in air can be restrictive. Makes sense. Right. I don't know how my bow's going to work underwater. I don't know how my guns are going to work underwater. Do you yeah. have like a training ground? Like an arena that's, you know, Kind of comparable we can test in tonight? Tonight, we could um, escort you to one of the more uh, deep areas in Vesra, if you'd like. Does it have to be tonight? Well, yes, if we want to recover all of our abilities for tomorrow. Oh, right, yeah, good point. (laughs) Do we want to practice now and eat later, or eat now, practice later? Practice for an hour, have a I hear you're not supposed to piece. fight or kill sure. anything for 30 minutes after you eat. Right, yeah. at least right. Right. So we should fight first. So fight first. And then yeah. snack. We shouldn't swim after eating. Just get right. cramped. Even that's cramped. a pretty big number for you. <laughs> I just say, I don't know what it means. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 30. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys are yeah. escorted over uh, four or five structures past the main uh, eating for a fair. Um, into an area that quickly descends. The beach drops down into about a 10, 15 foot depth. Um, and you can see this area is almost like a farming ground for bits of kelp and other sea plants that are, that are just maintained for food. Um, so we're doing this in the morning, right? We're leaving you guys first just said you were doing it before. No, 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 no yes, we're doing that, but we're, no, we're leaving we're in the morning. We're leaving in the morning, yeah. though. At yeah, dawn. yeah, tomorrow is, is when you actually venture down at to the end. Yeah. At dawn we swim. <laughs> then <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and cast uh, water breathing on all of us now, because it lasts for 24 hours. Ooh. Okay. So how many targets can you do with that? Can we still breathe on that? Up land? to 10, I believe. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think like it's up to ten. Let me double check. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Older editions, there were arguments because they didn't specify. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have to like sleep with a glass of water by the bed. <laughs> <laughs> sleep in a fishbowl. All right. So yeah. So you, between all of you, including Trinket, you guys are able to uh, to Im- to imbue for the next twenty four hours water breathing ten. onto the party. Willing creatures. Ten willing creatures. Perfect. Uh, Dirty does not need it. Dirty does not breathe. Um, all right. So you guys. Uh, you feel this strange kind of sensation as the air seems to change in your lungs, but still function. It's a bit colder, and as you slowly submerge yourself in the water, you dip underneath, and the instinct is to hold your breath for as long as you can. It's that natural survival instinct, but the moment you kind of give it in, allow yourself to inhale, you uh, panic for a moment, but then regulate for a moment and feel the, uh, the, the water cycle through. And it's, it's cold, it chills the interior of your lungs a bit, but you can breathe fine. Speaking is still a bit of an issue. It's still a kind of a, a garbled, there's no air passing past the uh, vocal cords. I'm peeing, I'm peeing in the water, right in the middle of Can we see under the water? How's, how's our visibility. Pers- visibility? Your visibility is as good as it would be underwater. Um, it's murky, it's difficult to, to get a very, very clear view of anything beyond maybe a uh, twenty-foot span. Plus, Plus this is dark. nighttime; it's dark. Yeah, it's what dark. about Percy with his glasses? I mean, could we do some like sort of goggle things Doesn't so we can see try better? Off some goggles. He put them away, Couldn't so he? that we can see Aren't underwater. They for close up. They're, they are for close up, but they—I they, mean, like they're not like attached to my like. Uh, water you them. Glasses again, boy. You'd have to ask probably for materials to do that. You don't yes. have anything to. Craft you don't want to lose them in the, in the ocean. Maybe put them no, away. No, no, I'll put them in. I've got a pocket. <laughs> I've got a pocket. Just, just an open. 
So crafting goggles, would it be helpful to craft something that would allow us to speak, or? or I don't know if there's time for all of it. Mm. It'd be great, though. Terry, you're really good at crafting, right? I am, I would say, the best at crafting, actually. Spent my whole life doing it. All right. Could you make something like that I in, have, like, an hour? I have no idea. <laughs> 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 but the adventure is to try, right? <laughs> and I certainly will give it a go. My big question is, what am I going to do with my gun? Go find out. Yeah, I'm going to try yeah, to shoot an arrow. That's so why we're here, man. see what happens. Okay, you pull back and release the arrow, and it does fire, but it fires uh, much slower and is impeded. Uh, it only gets about half as far, and even then, the dull thud. Does it, it doesn't seem like it pierces any. Like it functions, it? Mm. but essentially, the uh, and this goes for any ranged attacks, most ranged attacks, I should say, um, and melee attacks are a disadvantage underwater. What? And ranged attacks don't go further than their first range increment. Oh. So what? What is that? What would that be? So if you look at your bow and it says like. You know, 60 feet, 120 feet, yeah. you know, for like first increment and the second. Uh -huh. It's disadvantage, and anything past that first increment is an automatic miss. It just so stops in the water. For example, oh, no. daggers, you, right. shorter Thank distance you, is 20 feet. Yeah. I could throw it 20 feet at disadvantage. Yes. Game and that's as wise. far as it'll Game go. Game mechanics. Also, your movement speed is halved. This oh, is awesome. So wait, Unless a longbow. Like Unless you have webbed fingers bow. or, you know, use ultra cell. Or, or um, we could be great whites. Ooh, let's be sharks. We could be sharks. Or we could be mer people. I can also change us whenever we feel like being something else. Eels. Electric eels. It just eels. takes a turn. Rock your bike an electric eel. <laughs> how do I find out how far a longbow can I'm just shoot? Gonna, I'm not, that I, not that I don't know this isn't going to work, but I'm going to try and just try and just see if I can get, even with like maybe a, an electric Pulse. If I can light the powder, the powder is wet. The powder is wet. It's like once I open the that minute thing, you submerge your gun, the powder is wet. Your wire arms will not function. They're not going to function underwater. I'm sorry. For uh, it's second. okay. No, I'm. I'm. I'd be worried if they did. All right. So for the for the longbow, your <clears> first <throat> range increment is 150 feet. So you're okay. Okay. But anything beyond that, not function. Done. Okay. So all melee attacks are at disadvantage because you're Correct. swinging through water. Yeah. <laughs> if you're going against resistance, fucking water. hate the ocean now. So is that? There's no way to put a Sorry. bubble around me or anything, is there? Yeah, but oh. a bubble. A bubble around a what? Bubble, like an airtight like some bubble. sort of bubble. Ooh. So you think if your bullets were to pierce what out of the this bubble, they could still go? Oh, away. I could oh, even put the cool. tip of the gum out, gun out of the out of yeah. the bubble and fire, but as long but the the combustion has to happen in in, in air. Yeah, yeah, be in a closed airtight space with a firearm that will do wonders for your ears. The firearm. How do you even happen? know all this? Oh, sorry. The firearm has to be enclosed, not you. <laughs> not me, just the firearm. <laughs> but it would only last one shot. Blow a hole in the side. Blows goo out of it. Well, and only water would get out. Well, here's the thing: is if I could put, if I could, if I could have it around just the combustion point and, and have the, the barrel sticking out of the. Out That's of the something point, we that could that try to make, I suppose. Out of what? We could take a part. Trinket, that's your bear, right? We're not could, taking that's, a part. That's your bear. robot bear. We could take a part. He's a real that. bear, Terry. He's oh. a real bear. Well, then never mind. <clears throat> could you make like um, some sort of like cavernous hole out of like you know Doty's chest? We don't touch Doty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got I mean, a I'll crazy idea. Bear. What's your crazy idea? We lure the kraken still formulating onto it. land. I want to. I want to build. I want to build a. I want to build a. A, uh, a watertight vest for 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 the guns. Basically, just a packet that keeps that section dry. It like a like a like a like a protective like like a. Um, like I would use a stun, a, a stun, like a like a but but like soft, basically like a soft bag that is waterproof. You would, you would use some sort of like stomach lining of some animal or some some leather to build it. I couldn't reload the gun. No, you'd probably only get one shot each. One shot, or uh, would it would it just be one shot? Yeah, because it might because it would pierce the container. Well, I mean, like well, like it would it would just around everything, but the well, the barrel would then the have barrel to would be. then fill with water. God it's fucking damn it, Terry. One shot each. Yes, antlers. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> Can I imbue one of your mystical coins 
with one of my spells that we give to other people, or is that kind of your thing? I mean, you and John. Wade. If you inspected them, you would know that they say TD on them. They're I'm sort sure. of personal yeah. to me. I have I'm a minted. Sorry. I'm far <clears throat> So sorry. Um, I, can make I don't think that that would work. It's sort of a thing that I can do, and I'm pretty cool at it. But I did not mean any offense. None taken. I, I respect the question, and I respect you wanting to work with someone of my. Skill set and aptitude. I uh, I saw your work back there at the last fight, and while the gunslinger was rendered useless, and everyone else was fighting on the other boat against lesser allies, uh, uh, enemies. I mean, you and I held off that beast together, and it was quite amazing to watch. I, I mean. <laughs> You're going to take full credit for it later, aren't you? I made the kill. It was 100% mine. All but, right. No, that's mine. But Thank you were there, you. and uh, it was a good assist, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Moving on, back to planning. Um, I'm going to need some way of defending myself, or I'm going to have to take an animal form. I could give you an animal form. I may have to have an animal form. Like what? Shark. Barracuda. It's kind of small, isn't it? A little yellow it? fish. <clears throat> a little yellow fish that's very friendly. A very friendly yellow fish. I was, I was, I was, I was thinking maybe some sort of half octopus mer person. Ooh. Is, is Does that very exist? sinister. I've got to give you something kind of real. Okay, yes, I know. Regimented. Kind um, of beastly, but it is challenge rating four or lower, which is awesome. That's I cool. Question. I have a question for you. Yes. I have two vials of underwater options? breathing from just a long time ago. Yes. How long do those last? Uh, let me check, actually. Like an hour. Killer whale. I have a question for you as well. All oh, right. what is your question? My <coughs> rod of mercurial form. Yes. Uh, we know that it can turn into a crossbow. One hour. One hour. Yes. How many crossbow arrows do I own? Any? Uh, yeah, you would, you would have 40. 40? Okay, great. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. Just regular bolts. They're bolts, they're not arrows. Thank you. Welcome. Do we know if a kraken is considered like Thordak size or like humongous? Uh, you have no idea, but the stories say immense. Immense. Yes. They could, they could take down a ship, yeah, correct? I mean, fairy yeah, tales from what you've heard. about them pulling ships under the water, breaking them in half. I have a little poison bolt. Do you want one? I've just been holding on to it. If you have a crossbow. Yes, I would love that. Thank you. How much do I owe you for it? 50,000 gold. That seems like you're just fucking with me. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, catching on. <laughs> Let's call it an even five gold. Here you go. Mm. I'll take it. <laughs> I was just going to gift it to you, but I'll take the gold if you don't offer it. Well, I don't want there to be any sort of implied favors or anything that I have to return later. So if, if you're all right, all right with it, I'd like to just keep this business. Thank you. <laughs> I do still want an alter self coin. Uh, I mean, is that are we doing that? Are we? Are, I can do four of those alter self coins. So <laughs> that would totally take away the but speed having. Hmm? So if we had webbed hands and feet, would that? Yeah, you're, you didn't have what? normal speed. <laughs> See, that's pretty great. For the record, like with swimming, you have <laughs> you're essentially flying too. I mean, as far as in water, you can swim in a you know it's up and down long. direction as well. That's right. cool. Or I'm an animal. So. Do I? Right. None of my so it's like boots of feral leaping. I don't really yeah. unless we're on the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. It's not going to help you. Right. But my bonuses stay. So like, so like yeah. my vest okay. is still actually. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I think so. Yeah. 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 We'll find out, I suppose. If what? Um, if if the vestiges will be functional. Wait, we're still underwater, form. right? All your all all right. Right. Yeah, all 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 the the we're, uh, <laughs> we're surfacing and yeah, talking yeah, and going back under. Yeah. We're treading water. Yeah. The target's gear melds into the new form. The target can't activate, wield, or otherwise benefit from any of its equipment. With animal shapes. Yes. So you can't benefit from it. Are you? Are you? Are you? Uh, Does that negate fully, like fully up class on, boosting on, and all that? All that you get the form of the creature. Are you? Are you? If you, you become a creature that has an armor class of eleven, you have an armor class of eleven. What about these mer people? 
Uh, alter self. You keep all your stuff. You just gain the ability to swim. Since I'm not going to be using it, and you and seem it's like you're keeping speed, a human form, which isn't very fast. Correct. That's better than half your movement speed. Correct. Which is really so, not very fast. Yeah. So you're really calling whales give us a movement speed of sixty swim. Uh, we're not fucking feet. whales. I'm turning He's into. Really, he was into sharks, but he has something against whales. I mean, don't knock hmm. um, They're faster. <laughs> are they? <laughs> Take a look and see yeah. if they I mean, have anything. They are. It says it in the book. They are definitely faster. What killer whales? Maybe orcas, yeah. but they're not whales, right? They're not <laughs> actually whales. Yeah, they're they're orca. more like porpoises and shit. They, yeah, with with like cool tattooing. You yeah. guys were down with manatees, but have something against killer whales? Look, look. I feel I'm like becoming, our priorities are we, off. We can have different killer animals. Whale. Like he can he can shark and I can <laughs> whale. Well, also, like I know it's it's always been a waste of time our mm. planning, but we're not even <laughs> talking about what we're going to try. To do, are we gonna try to distract this fucker and take his Hopefully loads, no, or no? Nothing. I, I mean, if we use pass without a trace, yeah. right? Yeah, we can pass without a trace. Should still work underwater. If we're all something super stealthy, we move super fast, get there, and get out. Let me make sure pass without Important a trace question. is not. Do we know if the elemental plane is more like the waters off the Cayman Islands and is crystal clear <coughs> for hundreds of feet, or is it like more murky, boggish Louisiana Gulf of Mexico type water? Uh, you'd have to go ask. It seems <laughs> like it's Mariana's trench level. Well, seems it's like pretty it was... dark. Yeah, from what from what you've heard and what they've talked about the the water it's elemental plane. Most of it feels like you're a mile beneath the surface of the ocean. Oh, I'm gonna go. We also have to be animals that can light is us. also an important Here's thing. I mean, there, there is apparently a little bit of like light that comes through. You, you do have some visibility, though the source is difficult to really ascertain. Um, Here's my thought. Certain of us are going to be better under under the water with our natural farms, and some of us aren't. Half of us go. <laughs> oh, I like this. She half is, of us. She is smart. Half is of us smart. are animals. Yeah. yeah. The other half yeah. can ride yes. them. Yes. In our alter self. Or Absolutely. <laughs> like a Sea World. Show. I volunteer to be a rider or a captain of the ship. If we so. throw a little bit of rope together, we can make some quick harnesses, including harnesses that can have a little bit of a netting for for the for the stones as we get them. It's, um, a harness around the big man? I think that would be quite a formidable steam. You back the fuck up right now. Oh. <laughs> Just strategizing, chum. Because I, I can alter self at will. At will, and do you have to take a spell? Slot. You can even well, elemental. Can you do it at will? Uh, and I could. I don't know what that will means, time. but I, I'm very impressed. Uh, yes. <laughs> That's not a terrible idea, because I'm going to be able to do dick diddly shit in there. Okay. That's like zero. It means one of us that. might have to borrow your bag of holding. No, I'm out. <laughs> I stay on the lap. Terry, you had a bag of holding, right? I do. All right. What, what, do we, what do we need it for? Oh, to put the, uh, the, the things in, in that we're finding. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, question yes, of course, question. and they would be great, great uh, keepsakes. You I'm can't, sorry. no, yeah, you cannot keep them. Oh well, if we find an extra one, perhaps I could take that back as cool a question. Yes, <laughs> I'm obviously a fan of stealth, right? But when we go in there and it all fucks up like it does nine times out of ten, and the thing sees us anyway, what are we doing? What's run, run, without the loads, with the loads? Well, those of us who can swim quite quickly will try and evade. We'll. Try and hide and keep looking distract. for them. Distract, but we don't want to hurt this thing. So what are we doing? Interference and distract, and a couple of us try to yeah, smash diversion. Diversion. diversion, scatter, grab, and run. Yeah. Only attack of truly necessary. New guy here. Baked. I like it. Way to volunteer, nope. Captain. Nope. nope. New guy here. Just a just a process question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm new to these sort of strategy seshes that you guys have. <laughs> is this how it always is, with people just throwing out random bad ideas constantly for like 15 minutes? Yeah, That's about that, right. And then we kind of take it like jazz on the day, you know? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> because, you know, I really, this is a big fight for me. I've never fought anything quite so big, and is there a chance that we might perish? Yes. Yeah, not pretty good. No, we're fine. Because it doesn't seem like we have a good plan right now. Well, that's the thing about these sorts of encounters, is that any plan you have is pretty much going to be out the window the minute you see it anyway. Right. But if it makes really you strong. feel better, this feels 
less asinine than many things we've done before. This that, is true. That does make me feel better. Half of us are animals, half of us are riders. We go in, half sneak in. Half more planned than we normally have. I once yeah. teleported into the belly of a dragon with another jackass, and that went tits up fast. That sounds like the stupidest fucking plan I've ever heard. <laughs> I'm still breathing. Yeah. It's like it's it's, it's 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 much like those people who who give you instructions of how to uh, survive an encounter with a tiger. Is that you think about it? You've never actually met anybody who said, "Yes, I've met a tiger. That's exactly what I did, and I'm fine." There's no. Is anybody who does that's probably been eaten anyway. It's a terrible idea. You don't try and look bigger. You don't do any of that. Oh. You're gonna get eaten. It's true. I've read some of that. You survive. You survive an encounter by a, ti- by a tiger by running really quickly the other direction, oh, or hopefully like right. hacking it to death before it kills you. All right. But you know, just between you and me, this tigers doesn't really that fucking Well, I was just, mm, it was my thing. Like, tigers are like, so you shit. Okay. If four of us are Fucked. fast water creatures, mm. right, something that swims quick, what's our diversion? I volunteer as tribute. Well, if you drop back down to zero hit points, you'll revert back to your normal form, being able to water breathe, that would full be a, hit points. That would be a bad case scenario, because I'm really slow in that case. Yes. All sorts of fucked. Uh-huh. How many hit points does a killer whale have? Ninety. Oh Ooh. god, I think he said nine. I'm gonna shit Ninety. My pants. <laughs> Ninety. 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 Let's see. Okay. What can we do? I don't know if the there's anything else better. The thing is, I feel like a kraken better. might be able to swallow you whole, Grog. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mouths. know how big they are. No, they have tentacles. No, but they've got like tentacles. Beaks. Don't no. they have beaks like a squid? I didn't hear anything about a beak or a mouth. Who hasn't seen a drawing of a squid or a kraken in a fairy tale book? They're disgusting. Book. Maybe <laughs> how we have we have one night. We have one night. I could just, this Left. maybe I could try and craft like at least a, a, some sort of concussion explosive. I also don't. It wouldn't want you probably tired hurt it, but it would at least maybe shock it or like give it like a. Stun it. Well, here's you actually just a, blow something up underwater. Something that I want to try really quick. If you guys could back up or maybe get out of the water, I want to see if I can cast spells underwater. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh well, all right. I'm out. Also, <laughs> I also want to see what lightning does. So if you don't want to get electrocuted, definitely it's funny. get out. It's going as to possibly just go everywhere. As soon as start talking about that, I get out of the water and start attuning the Deathwalker's ward to lightning. Okay. Very clever. I love that this is all under the assumption that we just had this planning sesh underwater. No, we were treading water. Yeah, oh, we're treading. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. I'm staying in the water because I want to feel the lightning. You want to see? Yeah. Okay, you want to ride the lightning? Yep. I'm going to kind of <laughs> tread back from Grog, go underwater, and I'm going to do. Um, I'm just going to do a, a, a call light, a lightning bolt. Okay, see call what lightning. happens. Uh, call lightning. Let me check first. You call lightning. <laughs> yes, okay. Um, so you begin to speak underwater. Spellers and coalescing. That's what I was curious about. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, then how about this? I take out my spire and I do a a chain lightning out of the spire. Do chain lightning out of spire? Okay. Yeah. Um, As you concentrate on the staff, the lightning arcs out of the staff and ends up searing and uh, burning a small section of the floating kind of kelp vines that were wandering up there. Okay. Here's a little area. So I can cast out the spire. Mm. And, <clears throat> mm, cool. Uh, while I'm under there, I want to uh, be shape into a killer whale. Okay. <laughs> you turn into a killer whale. So that I You can... are, it is about 15 feet deep, uh, so you are Occupying a large portion of the water nearby, it's really hard to swim in this vicinity, especially with the density of kelp in the center of this dip. I goose grog a little bit from underneath. Oh, oh, I'll punch it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll for an attack. I was watching, but not that close. <laughs> <laughs> that scared me, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's, it's, it's an animal that already has a black oh, eye. It's fine. No, no. 25. Okay, so uh, uh, with yeah. your strength yeah. bonus, <laughs> you, <laughs> let's see, what's your strength bonus? Eight. Yeah, so you, you take, we'll say, nine points of bludgeoning damage as Krog just smacks you in the nose. Right in the to, to be yeah. fair, no worse than anything that happens to a killer whale at SeaWorld at that point. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I went there, I'm so sorry. Wow. It's been, it's been there, I'm Is there sorry. some sort of, like, um, alter like, self spell oh. that... Change has alignment. Oh, no. <laughs> my, my personal alignment is already so yeah, far no, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I dropped four out of shame. <laughs> Sorry. Were you gonna, you were gonna check your speed or something? Oh. Well, I'm in like a tank. Yeah. Which oh. is even worse, I know. 
This feels tactless. I'm um. out. <laughs> Shit got real. Shit got real. I like how SeaWorld is what was our our line yeah. of tactless. <laughs> oh no, I, I know I, I know I know what what what. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, 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 I know where I know where my money is going at the end of the end of the evening. Sort of spell <laughs> that could make you be able to speak underwater. Is there anything that you can do that that allows for speech? Well, if I do, did alter you just self, try? Did you do do alter self just now? Let me actually try that. I alter self. Yep. Oh. To be able to give myself. No polymorph. Gills, right? Gills and like fins and stuff. And then now, can I cast? Uh, unfortunately, because it's still water passing through your throat and vocal cords, um, you can. If you get a full breath of air, you can get one spell off. And technically, with with your. When you were breathing the water underneath, because you already had the gills in, it didn't work. You get a breath of air, and you cast the spell as the air leaves your lungs. But once you cast the spell, the no air is gone. Spell. So, what about mer people? How do they talk to each other? Frogs? Are there really mer people? There are mer people. Frogs, Hex? They have a different larynx system. <laughs> Dry erase boards. <laughs> Wet erase boards. <laughs> Ah. Um, <laughs> I deserve what happened below my below the table. Um, okay. Last weird question: Would it be possible? I'm just going to try try something. Do we have a? Could I basically just make a bag of air that we could carry that she could breathe in and like have to breathe it in before casting a spell? Is that nuts? Well, if I may, the the big the big fellow over there said that he had some sort of vials that you could breathe air out of. Is that true? I, I just, just supposed to let you breathe underwater. I don't know if it pumps your guts full of air or anything. <coughs> May I it's examine just, it? It's water breathing. It's just a spell of water breathing. Yeah, what breathing. about uh, no, water breathing? No, Would you still be yeah. able to talk? Water breathing, you can breathe the water, but when oh, you but still, you can't go but you can't, blah, 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 blah. yeah, it's still water yeah, sure, passing cool. through the vocal cords, which doesn't you have, have the vibration to make the same sound. What if? I think it's a potion of water. What if we use some sort of cap, right, on Grog's jug, and it just makes air? Hmm. Yeah, I thought of that. Could I could I speak scan. into the jug? <laughs> I was going to say Clearly. we can make it. We can make a diving bell, but it would not. It would be very hard to travel with it. We can make a micro diving bell. You guys, <laughs> this is getting diving dumber diving and dumber. <laughs> it's it's basically an upside down pot that you stick your one. head and you take a big breath of air. But the problem is, is we moving can't with move it. Well. Okay, okay, okay. Straight okay. to the bottom. <laughs> then, killer whales. Yep. Whales and, and riders. All right, who's whales? Who's riders? Whales. Whale. Rider. Rider. I guess I'll be a whale. Or Trinket can be a whale. Trinket could be. Or shark. I will ride Trinket. Uh, okay. it, well, it you might want to go shark for one of them. Trinket needs to go the necklace because they're going to odd man out. Please don't leave me behind. I thought you were being a rider. I would love to, but there's Can't no one to ride. Can't we have two people on one whale? I feel like whales are very large. That makes sense. You could muster yeah. that, yeah. Okay. Especially if it's just handles. If it's like it's, this is not like a. It's just like hanging on to like a, a piece of room. <laughs> All right, let's go eat food. All right, <sighs> you guys make your way uh, out of the small uh, kelp farming area. Eventually, back uh, to complete. You're doing a hero's feast. Yep. Okay, so but Mark? like ice cream and donuts, like a midnight snack kind Easy, of. Easy. Like that is totally wa doable. Waffles and hot fudge sundae. Oh. Yes. The hero yeah, sundae bar. Mm -hmm. Hero sundae bar. The finest of of gluttonous sweets available in Taldore are summoned upon this fine mahogany table that thrusts itself out of the sand. Everyone in the vicinity steps back and kind of ooh ah at this display of unexpected magic. I've Other folks step it. forward to try and take a piece from it uh, before somebody else slaps them in the hand. Stop for you. Um, you guys spend the next hour eating your meal and gain the benefits of your Heroes Feast. So let's go ahead and. Oh. Da -da -da -da. That's extra hit points, yeah? Mm hmm. How many? Uh, 2d10. 2d10. Which I will. Roll. Yeah, Marisha roll rolls for you right now. One and, one. and we have both are cocked. Find it on the side. That one. Is that still That's cocked? cocked? God Take damn it. Take some of the buck. dice out of your Shut fucking tray. Shut up! <laughs> An extra 11. Hmm. All right, so 11 extra hit points to all you guys, uh, including okay. Trinket, who <laughs> scarfs Yay! up happily at the table. 11 hit points. Hmm. No fear, no poison. Uh, oh, advantage no. on saves, Wisdom isn't it? Saves. Wisdom saves. Wisdom saves. Wisdom yes. saves. Advantage. No fear, no, no poison. No fear, no Lovely. poison. 2d10. All right. You got it. 
Are we supposed to go like research the lodestones before we go to bed, right? The ones oh, that are failing. Maybe we can do it in the morning. In the morning um, is what you were told. Yeah. Okay. We're going to bring you to the uh, the area of torrent. No, are they heavy? Are they light? We'll uh, find out. So, uh, as you guys are brought to your sleeping quarters, which are these uh, semi-private huts elevated acro- above, above the water, so they're actually about about a half foot above the surface. Um, you are each given a small chest, kind of a, a somewhat uh, kind of soaked, damp chest, like the wood itself is just waterlogged through and through. Uh, as you open it on the inside, each of you receives what looks to be a leather band um, with a circular stone affixed to the center of it. If this is going to make us be able to fucking talk underwater. Oh, that will be super frustrating if we just took all that time. <laughs> or this isn't like one of those like. Box knocked into solving problems that don't need to be solved. Solved, yeah. What? Making making problems complicated. Well, I just wanted to put years. it on and see what it does. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Uh, where, what do you do? You. They're, they're waiting you at, like, there's a cluster of them at the various. Is it tanks. like, are there like. A, Pot, like, does the leather band attach it either? It, it, ha- it has, has almost a, like a, a rudimentary belt clasp on both sides. I'm gonna put it around my neck like a dog collar, and I'm gonna lay down in the water face first. Okay. Uh, it kind of warms upon as it touches the outside of the neck, and it feels like there's like a very loose, uh, almost a vibration to it. <gasps> Top grog. This is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I put my ear in the water to see if I can hear him. Uh, it does transfer your voice through the water. Oh. That's awesome! That's what a waste of fucking time! It didn't, so. didn't go back to you. But does so it remedy nice. the spell problem? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Welcome to the cool it kids does. table, yeah, Terry. You, can, yeah. you guys, guys can, can talk amazing. underwater. Yeah. There, is, there is still a limitation to the distance it'll travel because sound yeah. is. Okay. You know, um, the best. Although actually, no. The, the, no. Oh, sorry. The sound. The, the sound does travel further. What am I thinking? It does. Um, underwater. Oh. Conduit. So you have to be super, um, super quiet. Uh, however, you also look within the case, and each one has a uh, what looks to be spherical, somewhat see-through uh, domes of some glass-like <gasps> material. You are also affixed with goggles, and you remember looking back. You saw some of the some of the people who were part of oh. the of the troop here, especially the guardians on the outside of the city, had these same similar-looking goggle sets hanging around their neck. Get the fuck this out! This is awesome. Hello, water base culture. Would you happen to have some goggles lying around that we could borrow? <laughs> Maybe something that's. To communicate underwater. Don't I don't know. You just nobody asked, them. but they were provided. <laughs> these actually, these are standard uh, given to the uh, the wave riders, the the guardians that uh, look on the outskirts of Vesra. Fucking idiots! I feel stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Terry Jumbo. We don't have giant. I just thought of on one thing for you, right? <laughs> like, I went, I you went fishing one. this one There's time, of and the lure that I had was like really shiny and sparkly. Like fish love sparkly things in the water, mm-hmm. and I'm just noticing now that you are like really shiny and sparkly, kind of all over. Oh. Like a lure. Yeah. Mm. I was actually just uh, contemplating that. Does you know how frustrated you get opening up a crab when you're going to eat it? I, I lost wonder, you in like it, the third Won't it be word. ironic if, yep. if the kraken gets frustrated trying to like peel off the armor? Uh, that would just be a wonderful irony. I mean, that I'm sounds so sorry, funny, so but it doesn't well. sound safe. No. Well, if we paint you in like black paint or like poo. Oh yeah. And I that re- will immediately lots go of away mud. as soon as we're underwater. Oh. All right, paint it is, or tar. Self? Should we tar him? If you alter uh, no. self, right? Let's you can make yourself darkish. Maybe you should be aware. Just not reflective. I don't like any of this. Uh, well, well, when I was treading want? water before, was it difficult in armor? Was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if I were to remove my armor, would I be weak and no. squishy? You are the yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a valid point. Uh, that's a very fair point. Specifically looking you can walk along you have, the bottom. You have, uh, <coughs> you have a breastplate, right? Mm-hmm. Actually, oh so it's heavy, but it's not super impeding you. Like you still, it's, just, it, it's heavy, but it doesn't, from a mechanical standpoint, it doesn't make it more difficult for you to swim. It's just more of a, yeah. But it's shiny. What if it we, is shiny? What your if armor we put is, you like in a potato sack? <laughs> So I, I, you still got your armor, but it just doesn't I, twinkle. Yeah, that's not bad wrong. Bad. That's not a bad idea. Is there any burlap around? I have a robe. I have a robe. Okay. I can just wrap myself in my robe. It's not just as flashy as the armor, though. It has it? some colorful <laughs> pat- patches on it. Yes, but I, it's not. They're not shiny. What no, if no, I stitch up the front? I just would hate for it to open up. 
I'm just gonna. Do you mind if I just well, stitch up the front really, of my robe? I'm really good at sewing. It better not be flashy. So. All right, I, I, I would. Yes. Yeah, I'll thank stitch you. up the front. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So it'll be like a choir robe for you. Good idea, Rob. Thank you so much. Thanks. Yeah, that was smart. Thanks. I go fishing a lot. You lot yeah. are taking good care of me. I appreciate that. Thank you. This is going to be fun, right? Tomorrow. Fun, <laughs> fun, fun. 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 Yes. Scary fun. Scary fun. All right. So Technically fun. speaking, we can't quite feel fear at the moment, can we? Or is it just a general malaise of fear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like this. I like the latter. Like yeah, the yeah. <laughs> malaise of fear. I'm gonna start working on the robe. All right. It's really ugly stitches. Yeah, it's. it's well I mean, in the ice cream. It takes you a while to get through the whole robe and get it done, and it's it's functional more than than uh, visually appealing. But you get the job done. Can so, I go, um, this reminds me of. Uh, one of my caretakers when I was younger, stitching up some of my play clothes. It's it's a nice feeling. Thank you so much. You're welcome, darling. Yes. While they're winding down, can I sneak away and see if I can go find you, Vonda? Sure. Uh, it's not not too difficult. She's in the same seat, snoring loudly, while <laughs> two of her guardians stand at the side with their uh, thin polearm like blades, just watching you as you approach, and she's just like. <laughs> <laughs> I, t I turn to her guards and I go, do I, do I wake her up? Is she, does she not like me? I don't want to be rude, but I kind of need to talk to her and I'm only here for a few more hours and I. One of them takes his like bladed trident and kind of like hits her just gently on the side with the butt of it. She goes, <laughs> oh, uh, That's how you do it. Uh, yes, <laughs> young Keyleth. Hmm. She leans forward with like, you know, Putting on the presentation, but you can hear just that that utter that that, that slight undertone of frustration. Mm. What what can I do for you? Uh, yeah. I I was just curious. I'm so sorry. First Keep off, talking, okay. please. What do you want? Um, <laughs> I I was just. You mentioned that uh, there were only remnants of my mother that came back. Was she defeated by the Kraken, or do you think this was from another means? Do you have any more information on her? Um, the child, there was little left of her in her allies. Uh, we found other pieces of her friends, but pieces. And her leg was all we found. Um, we could not recover much else, but the seafloor is littered with the many corpses and pieces of the Kraken's various prey. I, it does not take much to ascertain the nature of her end. Mm -hmm. And you're sure of this? This is what the Kraken does to people? Um, does to anything that crosses its path and eats to survive. Mm -hmm. I was just just wondering if there's any other potential explanation or... I'm sure there is. There are many potential possibilities for anything that happens. I only have the information that I was able to glean from the various uh, scouts and teams. How long ago was this? This was um, four or five years back. Really? All right. So not that long, really. Did she stay long? A few days. Prepared for their journey, much like you did. And that was the last we saw of them. All right. I was just curious, thank you. I wish I had different news for you. Did you keep anything? from what you found. She's like, her head turns curiously. I, I fear I did not. Okay. We, we gave a quiet burial to what we were able to recover, but that's all. Oh, I, I appreciate that much. Thank you for doing that. Of course, and once again, 
I am sorry for your loss, Gaelit. Oh. Part of the duty. Yes, yes it is. Well, I should be getting my rest. <laughs> yes, you should. Yeah, big day. Swimming, lots of calories. I'm gonna go now. Yes. All right, Yes, bye. you will. Okay. Goodbye. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> just conks right out again. <clears throat> um, all right. Anything else you guys should do for the evening? Well, I'm gonna follow Keyleth back to our room. Mm -hmm. You're right. Uh, did you just follow me? Were you following me just now? No, I was waiting outside the door. Oh, all right, okay, yeah. Sorry. No, I'm good, I'm good. I've seen uh, the trouble behind your eyes all day. Not surprisingly. Yeah. I'm great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a lot, yeah. It's a lot riding on this, but um, a little surreal that we're here. <laughs> Long time coming. Yeah. You know, you, you are already a river to your people. What? I know that your life is built up to this moment in many respects. But your father is very proud of you. You've already done a lot. You silenced that dragon. <laughs> You've done a lot. I'm just glad I have you all. You know, I know that you struggle with doubt and um, I, I don't think it's ever gonna go away for any of us. Especially for you, I think that's part of the job you're getting ready for. But I don't see it as a weakness. You know, all this time I've remembered Uriel. I I'm not f big on uh, monarchies and the like, um, but I liked him. He was a good man. Yeah. May his soul rest. And he had doubts. And he let them inform his decisions and tried to do what was right. And the questions you have, I think they speak to your character. Uriel was also blinded by his unknowance of a lot of problems. So I, I just hope I don't follow in his footsteps in that regard. Well, all that matters is what we leave behind us when we go. You've already done a lot of good. And, uh, You've taught me to be happy again. I'm very grateful to you. So thank you. Thank you. For believing in me. You make that easy. Anyway, we should get some sleep. It's a big day tomorrow. Yeah. You know, ah, uh, I noticed about a, a week ago, you were curious about my wings. I shoot them out. <laughs> <laughs> I press them a little. <laughs> we have one hour. Fate feathers. <laughs> Fate feathers. 
guy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I just want I just want Max and Keela to the original Superman movie dialogue while he and Lois are oh flying. God, that weird poetry. Oh, Can you yeah, hear that's my weird. thoughts? I, I have yeah. just like this like slow narration of Keela disembodied oh. as you're both just flying over Vesra at night. <laughs> just for you. That was just for you. Oh my god. It's I don't perfect. Think they went that's perfect. We'll pass that down later. Uh, Alrighty. So uh, anyone else doing anything else? I'm collecting the... some seashells and taking a bit of a walk. And... Okay. Yep. And then eventually we're chilling. So. Yeah, I'm okay. gonna brush trinket. <laughs> you need it. You're dirty. <laughs> <laughs> it's various nuts and seawater <laughs> yeah. clusters. Just gross. It's just not fun. All right. As the morning comes to, uh, the sun rises. It's a warm day, um, but the waters are crystalline and beautiful. As soon as you step out, since you haven't been here during the daytime, you could see it's it's a it's a paradise like existence. The the sands uh, that fall beneath the waves are white, just bright bleached white, and the entire city seems like the, the middle of this distant tropical paradise. Mm -hmm. um, the islands that do kind of flank in a triangular position as this, the, the islands of uh, Omnen, they are just lush and green and dense. You see no signs of civilization built across them. They are just unending canopies that swarm these masses of land that break past uh, the ocean surface in the distance, but here in Vesra, the city cluster, it's beautiful. Um, the, the water has almost a turquoise-type shimmer when you see the areas that are deeper, and you can see in various sections where the sand drifts away, the sand bank vanishes into the reef, and there you can see just an array of colors that refract beneath the water's surface as the gentle breeze kind of blows through in sections. I want to go um, to there. It's, it's beautiful. Um, I want to spend the morning before anybody else gets up, standing on the edge of the water and like letting my toes sink deeper and deeper as the waves. <laughs> okay. Um, you guys eventually gather your way for uh, a morning meal, and you can see in the distance now, uh, some of the wave runners are doing perimeters, and you can see they have large sails that are up on these triangular, like pointed boards that curve up into a, a, a horn-like uh, javelin in the front, and they are coasting on them, basically surfing across the waves in the distance, doing runs around the perimeter That's of the reef. That's so cool. Uh, and they are wearing the same goggles and the same uh, throw pieces you were given. This is part of the, this, the standard equipment that is given to the wave riders as they uh, check on the outside in the vicinity of Vesra. Um, that one looks like Keanu Reeves, and that one looks like Patrick Swayze. <laughs> <laughs> He's not coming back. <laughs> <laughs> it's clear sky, not a cloud visible. Uh, beautiful blue above you. Um, what do you want to do to prepare? Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'll find you, Vonda. Okay. Uh, she's actually already waiting for you, as you guys. She's been up earlier than you were. and uh, I, uh, I take some time in my morning prep to do a little meditation. And I take my flame hands and I do some like traditional Shari war paint Sick. kind of thing nice. going on. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, yeah. Are we are we bringing the bear? Yeah. We're bringing the bear. The bear's I think it's gonna be a whale. Mm -hmm. All right. Hopefully the whole time. As long as he doesn't hit zero hit points and he won't turn into a bear. If but he, he has water breathing. If he hits zero, okay, I have a question. Yes. If he hits zero hit points. As a whale? Does he go into the. No. The form reverts, we'll revert, becomes and then trinket, full hit points, and carrying over any damage that happens. And remember, only trinkets, or any of your natural form, maintains the bonus hit points from your hero's beast. Your animal form does not. Okay. So, you just have the base hit points of whatever creature form you take, and then once you go to zero, and revert back to yourself, or just revert back to yourself, then you have your hit points plus the hero's piece. And, and game play mechanics, can can Trinket get walloped so hard that it passes all of his new form plus Trinket form and take him out, or if, if it's If it massive, was a shit ton of damage, shit ton. Yeah. yeah. It'd have to be right. 150 points of damage. Okay. They're about 160. All right. Uh, is it possible Five. to grab a spare set of goggles and choker just in case? 75 points of damage. Uh, asking around, uh, we'll return and, them obviously. Yeah, so, uh, as you approach Yvenda and or ask this question, they seem waiting. Even as you approach, they're kind of looking out the distance. Uh, yes, that could be certainly uh, 
mustard, and she snaps her little gnomish fingers, and one of the, her guards wanders off, comes back a few moments later, and retrieves an extra pair of goggles and the, uh, the, the throat bead. Thing. Excellent. And it's called a throat bead. A throat, a throat bead. bead. How nice many of us need my coins to become altered? Well, I need to be aware. Well. That's me. Three. Oh, okay. Are we, uh, yeah. Yeah, so riders, show of hands, rider, rider. I mean, I can just use water breathing and cast Pass Without a Trace on us, that's the mm. only thing, is I can't do that if I have altered self. Oh, well then, I can just. Well, uh, well if you cast Pass Without a Trace, that's a concentration spell. You won't be able to swim very fast, spell. though. If what? She can't use Alter Self and Pass Without a Trace. Is Alter Self a concentration spell? Yes. Oh. I could cast Pass Without a Trace, though. Okay. I did bring it today. Oh, good. All right. So I could, uh, yeah. Mm, wait. Are there any seashells on the floor that I can find? Well, Pretty I'm, shells. I've already got a small bag of them uh, if you want to keep so them. So Alter Self is what level spell? You can trade later. Second. One. Two. You have three second level spells you can and cast. Two fu- I thought and two three. thirds. So you would have to use one of your third level spells yep. to do also that. Also, good skipping yeah. stone. Right. Technically, you could do. You didn't think about that. I need one for me. Yes, so you and four So four other people. You are correct. Yeah. Like, we'll skip something that big. <laughs> so, oh, well. yeah. animal shapes takes my concentration, correct. so I can't do that. Oh. But you, you could cast it. You can just have it. water breathing and be riding a whale. Exactly. But if you get tossed from the whale, what if can you, you swim? I mean, I can swim. <laughs> well, what if you give me the coin? And if things get hairy, it then I use it, and then we drop Pass Without a Trace. Also, if, if it's hairy, we won't need Pass Without a Trace anymore. I can go ahead and cast Alter Self, or sorry, Animal Shapes on her, but it takes a turn around for me to, con- to an action to change her into something else. So can I cast it on her, but leave her as Vex for now? I'm not gonna be an animal. You no, assume I know. the form okay. of a different creature for the duration, a creature different from herself. Okay. Of the beast variety. Yeah. <laughs> okay, never mind. We should be fine. We, we got a plan. We're fine. Because we need pass without a trace from her, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. She's got so I'll get a coin, I'll cast it, we'll go in, if things get bad, you I'll use the coin. You can cast the coin. You're a whale. Okay, all right. I'm going to be a whale. Yeah. It's going to be, okay. we've, we've got some rope here. It's going to be your job once I'm a whale to create at least a couple handhelds, handholds with a harness. You know how to use knots, right? You can do some I basic. know every knot in the book. I knew you would. <laughs> the uh, double sloop, the reverse cowgirl. <laughs> I know them all. I've got, I've got the, the, inch, the, the itsy bitsy spider. I know, I know. Keep going. I know the, the rusty trombone. <laughs> I've got. Uh, the old Alaskan pipeline. Yep. Uh-huh. I've got the figure eight, the figure four, <laughs> the <laughs> hidden figures. That was two steps. <laughs> I've got, uh, I've got, I've got a bunch of them. Yep. The Sweet yeah. Caroline. <laughs> oh yes, that one. That <laughs> one's good. Yeah, that's a good, one. <laughs> All right. good for tension. Uh, I'm also going to grab. I should not be allowed to drink this. I'm going to take you aside really quickly. I hand you the goggle, the extra set of goggles, and yeah. the and the bead. What do you want me to do with these? Just keep just them safe. In, just in case I'm. It's you know how I get with my hunches. Okay. I'm. You'll know if we need them. We have them. It's just an extra set. All right, Freddy. Yovanda, these yes. beads. Can you guys also track where we are based on them? No, unfortunately. No. They, the magic is only localized. Insular. All right. And we recovered as many as we could from previous scouts that had fallen, but. I go ahead and I druidcraft one of my bark bracelets to put around her for scrying, if you need it. All right. Thank you. And bigly man over there, do you want a coin in case you lose your whale form? Yeah. What about you, Percival? I'll take one just in case. All right. What does it do? (laughs) You say, Alter self and slam it against your body, and it'll make you like a, like, with gills and stuff. Does he speak? He speaks. He speaks common, right? He understands what I'm saying. <laughs> well. Okay. What does it do? Make big 
Big hit. Say all the What's the matter with you? What, why are you talking like that? <laughs> That was everything I could have hoped for. <coughs> he does speak fucking with you. Yeah. Very well. Uh, all right, I guess I'll make four coins. Okay. And pass them out to Percy, little elf boy, little elf girl, and Jumbo. All right. Hi, um, my name is Vax. Oh. That's short for Vax Sildan. Have you heard the legend of Terry and Darrington? From you, yes, I have. Oh, I'm good, then. It's a good deal. equals? Uh, that is my sister. Her name is Vexalia. You can call her Vex. Some people call her Vax. That's true. It's very confusing. Yeah, you can call us by anything. We'll both respond. At first, fine. Yes. Welcome. Okay. Okay. Were your were your parents fond of you? Because to name them that similar would be just quite annoying growing up. You must have gotten confused constantly. <laughs> kind of awkward. I walk away. <laughs> I follow suit. <laughs> About this time, uh, as you've seen, um, uh, Yvenda has been kind of looking out impatiently. Uh, the water nearby, at the very edge of one of the reef drop-offs, splashes out, and you watch as a figure kind of darts out and lands and shakes off. And what you see there looks to be a very, very uh, dark-skinned, stocky dwarf wearing the same goggles and uh, and throat bead. There, he's kind of like, oh, I showed you about the delay. Uh, he kind of wanders up and kind of pulls his goggles off and kind of rustles his hair a bit. Oh, hello. So you're uh, you're the ones traveling to the Airy today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hi. wave right at Durant. Pleasure to meet you. And he reaches over and grabs and as he takes your hand. You, you put it out to extend. He kind of like gla- grasps it and kind of gives a firm shake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see, he's got very, <laughs> very very short kind of dirty blonde hair um, and a. Durant? a, a a beard that is yeah, like just like just tattered and knotted from not being kept or combed through. Yeah. Um, so someone you'd find at Venice Beach. Kind of, yeah. I was imagining he's the, the, the Venice Beach dwarf, basically. Venice Beach dwarf, oh, yes. Oh I was, was, was imagining this. The, 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 the 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 out, Sarah Marshall. <laughs> just yeah, finished no, going up the ropes and down. Phone, man. Yeah. It's like, all right, I'm taking you down to the Erie. You ready? I think, I think so. Sure. Are you are are you gonna be with us the whole time, or are you just getting us there? Well, I'm just getting you to the door. Of course. Wait, wait. Yeah. Door. Oh. There's a door. Oh, oh no, now no, we're sense. really in trouble. That's where we're gonna check out the lights cool. before we go through yep. the door. Do it. There's a like, sure you know. like doors to the other planes. That's like our to figure the speed. Oh my God. We're going to another cool. plane. Uh, yes. yes. Oh my. Oh, okay, this is great. This is great. Oh, you look really excited. I am. You shouldn't be. Huh. Now come on. So you got your equipment and takes his goggles and puts them back on. And they're just like they're bulbous. Like they're they're just these giant domes that make you look fly like. I love it. Nice. Like, okay. No. <laughs> Follow suit. He looks over. Thank you, Vendor. Of course. Take care of them. Not my job. <laughs> <laughs> and dives into the water. I go in first. Wait, wait, don't you have to make some of us? Oh, right. <laughs> she's oh, right. 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 Wait, right. How long does the surface start? How Are we doing this now? No, because we can do it underwater, can't we? Yeah. Animal shapes last for 24 hours. Well, let's wait until we're going into the water plane before we turn into fucking waves. Do we have to examine shit first? Yeah. With our like hand, non-flipper hands? Yeah, he's going to be showing us yeah. the stones first, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah, okay. I'm so we'll just go going for Jesus! <laughs> I go in first. All right. So you guys follow suit, diving in, diving in, each one of you in the order you wish. Uh, eventually with, <laughs> with Dodi kind of just Oh, and just God. sinking very heavily down coming? after oh, you. Dear. He's coming. Oh, oh, no. Shouldn't we, um, oh, Terry? Shouldn't we leave him? How deep is this? <laughs> I can't. You, nope. Do you, He's do you a prefer Dodie not to? I would prefer Dodie not come if he can't swim, right? So you can, no, you can go just walk solo? across you the bottom. Do you do? You have a problem with this guy? We're not going to tell you what to do. This is your your call. What if he Are has we to going? Swim? I, I'm a little confused. We're going underwater now, but not to where we're going for the mission. Correct. Right. We are the, the the portal to the other dimension is underwater and through a rift. It's the ocean Imagine inside the ocean. Water. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. lots no of water. It's an inception ocean. Right. Then Dodi can come a, 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 this far. Oh, of course. <laughs> to the yes. rift. To the inception. Just to the to the door. We barely Wait, knew by him. the gate. Bring him yes. Along. yes. Like a buffalo. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. That was quick. Not that I like have a right to. What if he gets rusty? Really good. 
I hadn't thought of that. It mm. might be smart to not have the him join us. The Rusty Dodie is another knot that you know. Just leave him behind. <laughs> the Rusty Dodie? Mm-hmm. Is he uh, the Rusty Dodie? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no more wrong. Uh, What's your plan, yes or no? Dodie, you should stay behind. Better jump like. <laughs> Stay behind and uh, just take atmospheric notes. You know, time of day, position of sun, type of clouds. And if anyone tries to steal my stuff, describe them very well in the book. (laughs) Yes. A little seagull kind of like flies overhead. (laughs) It's all for color, for the book, you know. Another one. <laughs> He's taking very, very good notes. You know, two chapters of <laughs> seagull, seagull flight patterns. Patterns. <laughs> You're have it so All the mating habits of seagulls when you get back. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Darwin. Yeah. Darwin's in the case. Oh my god. Perfect. You <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> all right, so you guys all eventually dive into the water, and as you do, you, you look down, and there there is essentially a uh, a forty-foot wide gap in the beach uh, here, like the, the this just barely submerged beach that coasts down and drops off directly down into this kind of cylindrical uh, section that is just open. And then, as you kind of drift down, your goggles visible, you can see around you a uh, dry, pale reef that slowly gives way to colorful, life-teeming reef. You see hundreds of fish of different sizes and colors all darting in and out of the various gaps and openings in the side. You see vibrant plant life beginning to just uh, massively uh, jut out from the side of this reef as you further down. You see eels twisting through and bits of, uh, of kelp and other sort of long uh, underwater plant life tickle your body as you kind of push past and drift, kind of keeping track of where you're you know, slowly sinking down. Uh, desperately trying to follow this dwarf that is no longer in view. He just dove straight down and is far more comfortable under the water than most of you. Um, eventually, uh, the reef begins to cluster in tighter and tighter, and you start getting a little nervous as to if you're going to hit a bottom or hit a pinch point, and then suddenly it stops. The reef just ends, and you now are kind of floating down into what appears to be endless dark ocean. And just below, you see just a faint bit of light and you start noticing the dark color is because you're about to hit an extremely dense forest of underwater plant life. You watch as all of these long, thin tendrils of almost like vines covered in uh, elongated leaves begin to just curl up around you, and you start pushing through, following this light. And as you get across to the edge, Keyleth, you're the closest ahead, and you, you guys have just enough light to kind of watch the beat of where Keyleth is. Keyleth, you can still see uh, Durand and kind of keep that pace. It leads you down just over this, this, this bank of where the, uh, the top of this underwater forest ends, and you see, attached to the reef above by a single pillar of stonework that seems to be built or carved out of the reef, emerges a spiraling tower that eventually ends on the floor of the ocean here. It's made of a, uh, a yellowish-white sandstone-like color, um, there are pillars carved out of it, naturalistic, but also have almost a, uh, a series of beveled edges to them. Uh, within the inside, there is a dull green glow that is like sort of pulsating. And as Durin makes his way down towards one of the many openings throughout the floors, uh, you can see there is a very, very faint, uh, like a, a sparkling energy that seems to just drift up out of the center of this tower. As you make it further down towards the base, the you now begin to see through some of the openings. The center of this tower is hollow. It is, is it an exterior, almost like a, like a very thin uh, coliseum-like structure um, that goes up from multiple floors, slowly uh, pincering as it gets to the top, and uh, it is just an open interior inside. As eventually you touch down onto the soft uh, bottom of the ocean here and begin making your way, slowly swimming towards the interior, you can see a number of other similarly dressed uh, wave riders, as well as armored guardians that stand, all with various trident or spear-like weapons. Um, a number of them appear to be of varying races, human, half-elf, elf. Uh, it appears that Durin is the only dwarf you see in this vicinity. And a couple that appear to be merfolk, like straight up half-human, uh, half-fish tails, fins, gills, the whole circumstance. What are their hairs? 
<laughs> you see two of them. Uh, one of which is, is is male, no visible hair on him actually, just just kind of the, the frill that goes down the, uh, his head. Uh, the other is female, uh, long kind of uh, deep dark blue hair that just kind of drifts past, and as she shifts and turns and looks in your direction, you watch it kind of hold in place and slowly shift as the water currents push through. Um, I just stare at her. <laughs> uh, as you're entranced by this, uh, your attention slowly glides over to the very center at the base of this temple where you can see there are these three large, smooth, uh, grayish rocks that are just embedded in the ground, about five feet wide. And in the center of these three rocks, you see what appears to be a, uh, uh, it's almost like an, an oval shape, about 10 feet tall, about five feet wide, that is just crackling blue energy. This, 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 this opening here. And you can watch as occasionally clouds of uh, black, murky uh, soot or sand, like deep, deep ocean sand kind of push through. Um, you can see as you kind of get closer and peer in, this is, this is a doorway into the plane. This is the rift. Um, it looks unlike the one that, that you saw at Pyra, which seemed to kind of flicker and have a, a, a barely contained energy when you've seen it at its you know torn open stages. This appears to be fairly contained. It's demure, there's not a lot of movement, it's just stationary. And the guards that surround it in the center of this temple all kind of look inward, keeping a, a vigilant watch. Um, as you kind of follow Durin making his way towards the doorway, you can see within each of these three large, uh, half buried uh, stones, there's a smaller, like a deep, uh, emerald green, almost jade looking stone that's about that large that is embedded in each of these. Uh, Durin kind of points over to one of them. And you hear him through the water, the uh, uh, the throat bead carrying the sound of his voice through. This is what you're looking for. This is a lodestone. Take your time, as much as you need to study it. Find what you need. Let me know when you're ready to pass through. <clears throat> are they all the same color? Uh, Every yeah. lodestone is the same. Yeah, you glance through; they're all the same color. Like slight variations, um, and the shapes change a little bit. Some are like perfectly spherical, uh, some are a little oblong, just to whatever shape it eventually hardens into. Kind of an actual jade, kind of yeah. Can I? Um, like, 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 like a dark, dark jade, mm -hmm. like a like Maori, New Zealand jade. Or not translucent at all. Not. No. Okay. Uh, Keyleth goes up and kind of touches one and kind of meditates on it for a second. Okay. Uh, as you put your your hand towards it, you feel a very, very faint vibration, actually a very similar vibration to the throat bead. Really? Um, are they? Are the throat beads green? Do they look similar? Uh, at this point now, you notice, yes, that it's made of the same material. And you see that a, a lot of the, lo the lodestone's main purpose is here, but a lot of kind of the inherent magic of them, or at least the, the enchantment properties of it, um, it's, it's a pretty big part of the general life here at Vesra. Do the beads tend to react when they get closer to the lodestone? Uh, there is no change. Okay. But you do feel that very faint kind of hum and vibration of power of the lodestone that is embedded within. I turn to Durand. Whereabouts do they tend to be found, the lodestones? Well, I mean, all over. All over? And who knows, I mean, throughout the ocean tends to swallow things up. You might have to dig. Mostly we find them buried. Buried. How heavy are they? Well, let me show you. And he goes over and grabs one and kind of <clears throat> and he pulls it out. The doorway kind of flickers ever so slightly. He's like, yeah, it's fine for a moment. And hands it to you. You take it. And uh, for its size, it is surprisingly dense. It has about twice the weight you were expecting, and your arm's kind of oh, just a little bit. Um, also, as you're holding it, you notice the clasp on your cloak kind of is being pulled towards it. And as you kind of pull it away and pull towards it, you realize these are actually fairly magnetic. The magnetic? Yes. The magnetic. Percy, do you have a compass? I don't, but I can fake one pretty quickly if we have to. Really, um, you don't have a compass? We've really? never needed a compass. We've been having it for, I mean. I can, I can, I, we can, is it possible to, well, we're too deep now. As you're having a quest, as you're having this conversation, you watch this, Duran's like, patiently there. You have a compass, don't you? And I'm going to hand it back to him. No, but I need the stone. Yes. <laughs> he puts it back inside. <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> oh. Did, uh, if I examine it, do I detect any magic on it? 
Uh, you do. Profoundly magical. Okay. This is a very, very strong natural magic source. This is going to be weird. I'm going to take out a chunk of white stone residuum and just sort of compare the color and and see if there's any relation. Uh, go ahead and make make an intelligence check. Probably look at my cheat. Uh, that's a natural twenty. Oh! Oh! Snitch returns. <laughs> Interestingly <laughs> enough, there are similarities. Um, it is not the same material. But you've had enough time to study white stone and get a feel that there are. This is your first inclination that there are more than one substance that seems to be uh, related to the, the the nature of magic. Um, this is at least based on the ecology and what little bit of history you've picked up from the crack and how long it's been around. Um, white stone may be one of the more recent sources of this type of power mm. or a variation of this type of power. Um, but there, there are certain comparable uh, facets of its ability, yeah. Um, it actually occurs to me that I think I might have some magnets on my person. Can I make an investigation check? Because it, it, cause I, had, I had quietly in my head been using them to keep my coat down when I was running around with the spider boots. <laughs> uh, is that true? That is, magic of I wouldn't say if it, if it wasn't if it wasn't true. Can no, I can I make no, a roll fine. to see if I happen to have some on me? I'd say you have them on you. You're 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 Percy. It's fine. All right, yeah. that's fine. They're, they're very simple magnets. Yeah, they might help with it. I'm, I'm going to try and just see if I can if I can use them as a very base. Uh, what's what's the dousing rod for these for these stones? Do they feel uh, cool? You notice that you don't the any sort of pull you feel on the magnet doesn't seem to hit until you're within about. A foot or so of the stone. Okay. I do have locate object. I pull out my compass and I pull out my compass and see right. if it if it works. To be fair, there were white stone. Okay, you pull out your compass. Do you have a compass? A sure. <laughs> yeah, I have a compass, by the way. So really, you have a compass? That's <laughs> fine. As you pull it out, um, you watch uh, as you kind of stand there. It's currently confused. It's like kind of darting around and doing circles. As you begin to step in one direction towards one of the stones, it writes itself in its direction. Hmm. Fascinating. Nice. Can we? Will you keep that oh, handy? Sorry. You know. Uh, yes. Oh, one second. Just still pressurizing. Sure. <laughs> In my in my in my head, you have zinc <laughs> all over your nose. <laughs> it's just zinc. In a hula shirt. Oh yes. Do you want to? Yeah, actually, take yes. That's who are really pale people. This is probably a good idea. <laughs> no. I, I tap it because I've seen other people do that, and I feel like that's what you do with compasses. And it shatters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It seems to be a functional compass. Do you want to be the compass man, or are you gonna man 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 the compass? Be navigation. The leader, absolutely. Mm. The navigator, the yes. Navigator. The navigator, sure. The navigator. <laughs> sure. All right. All right. Any other tests you brainy types want to do on these giant green balls? I feel comfortable. We have a locate object. We have a compass. Yes. That's it. Locate object is concentration, and so is pass that a trace. Mm -hmm. So, just so be when aware. we get through. Th the void, and then maybe we can do a locate object, and then, and pass, then pass without a trace, and then I'll cast animal shapes, and then we go. Oh, locate like object, by the way. That is a lot of stuff. Is within yeah. a thousand feet. Yes. Yes. But it lasts for ten minutes. It does. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, you guys ready? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Huh. All right. You give a night. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready? <laughs> Are we ready? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Doran kind of looks at your faces as you're all staring at us. Okay. So, night time. Have you seen a kraken? Oh yeah, I've seen it. And? Oh, it's fucking terrible. It, how, how big are we talking? Uh, Immense. You know, you know this, this size. Yeah. It's a lot bigger. How many? How big many? Big enough grubs? to swallow him. How grubs? many grogs? Oh yeah, it's uh, like ten grogs or long. Hundred. Hundred grogs long. It's hard. It's spatial awareness. Look, I'm not a science man like these two, but <laughs> it's big. It's Your big. beard is glorious. Oh, thank you. Yours isn't too bad yourself, boy. Thanks, mate. You kind of tussles it up. Yeah, yeah hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna put, they have like barnacles down here. I can put in there. <laughs> yeah. Have, is it fast under the in the water? I'd say it's pretty fast, eh? Yeah. 
Have you seen it leave these stones, these loads? Have you seen it take <laughs> oh, a I've seen it. Have you seen the door. Oh, I don't go in there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. I just watch the doorway. That's my job. You don't watch him drop his loads. <laughs> I have not yet seen the Kraken drop its loads. <laughs> well, I have never felt more prepared than I do right now. Oh, Let's do this shit. That's All right, if it goes such, bad, such come back. Run. Just get back. Right. You'll you know fail, exactly how to get back. You'll get back. No I'll, I'll the fail? Do- Is it, did you just say I'll fail? Oh, bye! <laughs> As you guys, one by one, <laughs> plunge through the rift within the area of Torrent into the water elemental play. That's what we'll take a break. Back here in just just a few moments, guys. Uh, real fast, we do have a giveaway uh, for our friends away. at Wormwood. We have an awesome hero now. vault made of very aromatic cedar. Ooh. Mm-hmm. That actually, oh, that smells, that smells like the most glorious hamster cage ever. Oh, it's awesome. Oh, I love that smell. In true D and D fashion, it does bring me. It reminds me when I had my first pet. It smells like boop. Uh, but yeah, so this will be going to somebody. Uh, just to clarify too, if you want to be part of this, you need to come into the Twitch chat. So uh, come into the Twitch chat, and our code word for tonight is guess what? Kraken. So uh, as soon as it opens up in the chat, uh, make sure to go ahead and write Kraken into the chat and be entered into the contest, and we'll come back with the winner of this awesome Hero Vault in just a bit. Hello, I'm Lisa Loeb, and I'm here to talk with you about dinosaurs. You want to say? You want to? What do you mean you want to save dinosaurs? What is this? Are you lying to you, bloodthirsty death monster! Ah! Hello, I'm Lisa Loeb, and I'm here to talk with you about dinosaurs. You want to say? You want to? What do you mean you want to save dinosaurs? What is this? Are you lying to you, bloodthirsty death monster! Ah! Hello. I-
funny not this table talk day Just direct your twitch to Geek and Sundry All around the world we'll get people to play And play and play and play and play We're sitting in players and the players Cards and dice and role-playing slayers Teams or co-op, whatever your flavor Scream and shout and respect your neighbors So let's join forces all for one and one for all If you love You guys okay? April 29th is tabletop day! Hello, I'm Lisa Loeb, and I'm here to talk with you about dinosaurs. <laughs> You want to say? You want to? What do you mean you want to save dinosaurs? What is this? Are you lying to you, bloodthirsty death monster? Ah! Never quite get used to that sound.
Hello and welcome back, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was quick. Imagine that. Hi, countdown. Wait a yeah. second. Okay. Nothing. <laughs> they can't see the map yet, can they? They will shortly. The they can't see so, the map yet. As you guys emerge. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Just open your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. So this here is the exterior portal into the floor. You step out, and about two feet below the doorway, your feet slowly hit the soft, cushy bottom of the water elemental plane. You see about you a number of thick clusters of various underwater plant life rising up and slowly shifting with the waves and the water. Uh, you also see throughout the dark sand in the vicinity hundreds of bones and various other chunks of flesh in various long states of decay. It is dark down here. You maybe have about 20 to 30 feet of visual range right here, unaided. Our two human friends over there have almost no sight beyond a five, 10 foot distance here. From usually from just the glow of your armor. Just, the, just your, your helm itself gives this kind of radiant uh, glow about it. I'm using divine sense right now to see if anything is not completely. Okay, you're, di you're divining for what? Undead. In, undead. The, skull, in the bones. Ooh. Okay. As you carefully close your eyes and focus, you lend your essence out to the Raven Queen, even across the plains, to guide your vision to anything of undeath or fiendish in nature. And nothing. I'm going to take a moment to use primal awareness okay. and see, is there a way to sense krakens or anything? I don't know. Do you know how to sense krakens? I don't know. Do I? Do you sense calamari? Do you snark? Yeah. Looking at your various choices. Operations, celestials, dragons, elementals, fey, fiends, and undead. And krakens, it says and right there. And krakens. Okay. As krakens. you focus your attention, utilizing and uh, you know, mark off your ability there. Yes. You sense nothing. Nope. Is it, is it, is it elementals are in there? Elementals, aberrations, <laughs> and fiends. Which one are you choosing? Oh, oh, I have to choose one. Aberrations. No, you just what do you get think? all of them. What do you think? Oh. Aberrations, or what do you think a Kraken is? It's an, it's You'll definitely animal. find elementals, because they're definitely um, here. Be, they what would a Kraken be? An animal. Aberration. A man animal. Yeah, beast which you don't have. A mineral. The only thing on a there, mineral. the only thing on there that is maybe is aberration. An aberration? I mean, elementals. They're not really aliens, aberrations. But no? there's nothing on this list. All right, then I'm going to try for uh, elementals. Okay. You sit down and focus, and dozens of nearby signatures hit you. You're not quite sure which direction they come from, but you know that this area is teeming with elemental energy and has drawn many elemental powers nearby. They're like everywhere. They're all around us, man. Aww. It's impossible, it's from inside the room. They're in the walls. This is oh, it. The goddamn walls. This is really important. I fought. did the bubbles go up? They do. We're in a safe place. That was really <laughs> helpful. Do I see that? That's you actually do. insanely helpful. That's really <laughs> genuinely helpful. <laughs> Um, we looking lose our flashlights. Why are you no, doing this with your phone? No, 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 no. <laughs> looking, looking up. Can you see any sort of like surface to the water, like you would if you were 150, 200 feet scuba diving down? And I mean, your your vision in the vicinity is dark, as you feel like you're at the bottom of a, a very, very deep abyssal ocean. Looking up, you see a faint turquoise glow in the upward direction, but it seems sourceless. It almost. As opposed to straight up, it almost encompasses a full dome, mm. and you see no sign of a break in the water. And the various strands of plant life extend far into the darkness in strange, kind of fuzzy distance where they fade out. We get it. I have a feeling light will attract all sorts of creatures down here. Yes. I'm not entirely sure that the creatures down here have eyes. Mm. Most didn't have blind sight or echolocation. So mm. they. What about those Might kind of fish that have the things that yep. dangle in front of their faces because mm. it attracts other fish? Yeah. Angler movement, fish, yeah. Movement, light, shiny mm -hmm. things, all bad. Mm -hmm. Terry's armor. These do we have a few minutes? Yeah. I can do Thank a quick you. locate object spell and see if we're heading in the right direction if you want to. I'm going to use a locate object spell. Can I assist her in any way? Nope, this is her particular spell. All being right. Cast. I'm just going to. 
I'm going to examine the sand and just gently dig around to see what's around. There's, this is fascinating. I'm just digging for whatever. Okay. Your feet hit and pull apart, and as soon as you do, you see like a, uh, you get about four inches of the, the soft sand before you start hitting black dirt that immediately starts to cloud and yeah, uh, obscure your vicinity. So you kind of carefully Good to know. stop for a second. Wow. <clears throat> I'm going to load up my flashlight with one of those daylight uh, gems, but with the lens fully closed so no light can escape. Okay, so you go ahead and you activate to mark off another one of your opals. Sure. There's you, a red filter. You activate it as soon as you close the device and you feel it contained with it. Okay. We do have a red filter. <laughs> All right. You cast locate object, Laura. Yes. All right. So as as Vex, you focus, concentrating on the lodestone that you saw before. Um, no, no, no. It, it finds similar no, objects. No, no, no. Of... No, 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 no. So you you feel the direction pull you this way. Awesome. You don't know how far away, but the distance pulls you there in that direction. There is a lodestone within a thousand feet that direction. You know, Tarion just gave me an idea. I tend to have that effect on people. Thank you for your infinite wisdom, Tarion. We might be able to use a daylight spell as a distraction, worst case scenario, because I can place it somewhere and then leave it. Oh, that is smart. Yeah. Um, how well, far away can you activated. place She can that. cast it on an object and leave it behind. I can leave it as a distraction. Right. That's not but cast it you near could, the portal. I don't want to opening. do it right now. You could but cast I'm just it on the tip of an there. arrow and I can shoot it at least 150 feet. That's 100% true. We have done that before. Just keep that in my mind. All right, can, yeah, Following all right. Um, Okay, we have a direction. Do we know? Let's Are we ready? Try to move stealthily <laughs> for a little while. Or should something? I just drop it and cast past without a trace right now? Um, let's keep. Let's see how we feel. Let's see how we feel. I I'll go ahead and do pass without a trace on us, and we'll try and move in the direction that oh, she call. called. Okay. Quiet. So I need all of you to roll. Is trinket still in your necklace? Okay. <laughs> That's not an answer. Um, I hadn't imagined him in, but Did we talk about yeah, he's gonna turn into an animal. So kill a whale. We talked about it. Whenever he's ready, trink it out. Oh, Fuck yeah. it. Kill a whale. Trink he it, does man. have trink water emergency. breathing cast on him. Yeah. Yes. So he's gonna trink. fucking swim. Yes. Trinket does not have goggles and cannot talk or cast spells underwater. <laughs> I mean, he's well, a bear. I know. I know. What if? Okay. As soon as Trinket. <laughs> He's having a singular experience for a bear, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun, buddy. I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna cast Anyone speak with animals on him. <laughs> Trinket. Pass out a trace. This is, this is before or after pass out a trace. Oh, she's no, casting I'm pass, 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 pass out right. a trace. I'm right. casting speak with animals. Right. Trinket. Everything's fine. <laughs> Is this underwater? It's very wet. It is. What's going on? We're, we're gonna be swimming for a while. <laughs> You're gonna make me cry, dear. We're gonna be swimming for a little while, all right? Do you feel okay with this? Drown in your baby. He can breathe, just breathe in. It's just like land, only not. <laughs> kind of lands in the sand, it kind of looks around very nervously. Looks one of the nearby kind of floating pieces of weird errant plat matter. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're good. Are you all right? I'm all right. Okay. Just giving you a heads up. You may be turned into a whale. What is a whale? <laughs> <laughs> You'll be really, really big, and you'll be able to swim a lot better, all right? Just remember to follow my lead, and I'm gonna hang on to you when you are a whale, all right? Okay. Okay, I, I love you. you. I trust you, too. 
Oh, oh. I love you. Love you. I'm proud of you. Okay. I love him so much. I love him. The slowest. You see him like start like just bear paddling a little bit in the water, just like. I love you. It's fun. See, it's fun. But paddle quietly, dear. We're trying to be stealthy. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Now are you casting? Are you casting Pass Without Trace? Oh, and everyone to make stealth I checks. Love it, stealth okay. checks. Stealth checks. Stealth, stealth checks. All you guys, including Trinket, okay, please. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm crying Yay. so hard. Oh wait, we're a whole. Stealth we're check. All doing a- I'm so sorry for doing that. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Not fair. Twenty-five. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's Plus ten. Seven. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Right. Twenty. Oh. With with our. Oh, Pass Without Trace. Yeah, right. That ten, man. Thirty-four. Uh, Thirty-three. Thirty-eight. Hut, hut. Rogues. That's all I do. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know what to add for Trinket Stealth. Is that just his dex, maybe? Just dex, yeah. Okay, so 29 for me. All right. And 30 for Trinket. Ooh. Ooh. He kind of looks like yeah. kelp. Maybe he's, he's blending. Ballet, Would you roll for Trinket? 18. 18. Not making a nice. sound. Oh, my God. All right. It's just a face and a giant. You guys, who oh. Let me make sure I'm right on mine. So very quietly as you can. Again, walking across the bottom of the floor, barely your toes barely touching the surface <laughs> of the bottom, making your way in this direction. You guys slowly begin to shift this way, following this path. Now you're maintaining locate object, you said. Yes, I am. I thought it no, you was cast, one of these. Cast, uh, oh, it's is, is speak with animals. Uh, a concentration is not. You're, it is concentration of ten minutes. Look at object is ten minutes. I was thinking the animals is not. Sorry. No. Butterfly. Sorry. Then yeah, you're fine. Okay. Do we see anything swimming above us, around us? One. Um, looking around in your vicinity, you see clusters of ruins. You see broken pieces of a very, very old stonework. Um, and looking at them, they are scattered throughout the vicinity. Singular chunks of structures. Um, let's see. Percival, go ahead and make uh, make an intelligence check. I'm due. Uh, 20. Okay. Looking at, to the left of you as you pass by this one structure, you can see the chunk of wall that's visible. It is thick enough and tall enough where it looks like it's a sliver of the base of a larger structure that was designed for far larger creatures. Um, and the, the, the sense of the erosion and the, uh, the relatively smooth edges, the various broken parts to it tell you that it's been there for a very long time. This was for larger creatures, like, like giants. Giants are larger. It's hard to really tell, but it's it definitely creatures. This is not a, a human-sized did these ruins wall. crumble, or did they sink? Uh, they appear to have crumbled. They are, they are, the, the, the structure in which they're placed has in, intentional placement within here. And is the stone, does the stone feel natural, or, and does it feel like stone that would be underwater? Does it look like it is, the, the parts of it that have been underwater are doing well, or does it look like it's eroding as something that should have been yet? Above the surface, uh, it looks like they're eroding as expected for okay. something that's been there for a very long time. And there's no writing visible. Couldn't, no, no. Any, any. They're actually almost extremely smooth. Smooth. They've just been there for so long and hit with various blasts of, of water current, sand dust, and other things for such a long period of time that it's kind of smoothed the entirety of the wall structure. Okay. All right. You maintain the locate object mm-hmm. as you guys push forward. Eventually, it leads you this way until you begin to feel the direction change this path there. So you kind of lead the path over this way, and it leads you to the edge of this wall. Do you need some help finding it? Can I look around? Does it it seem like it's right there? Make perception check. Okay. Glancing about in the vicinity, looking over it all, you look at the wall, smooth, there's no indentation, there's no sign of a stone. 
looking at the sand on the ground at the base of it. No sign of a stone. Can I, can oh. I move some of the sand out of the way on the ground and see if I see anything? Make an investigation check. Compass. 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 Yes. Ten. Yeah, you, bust out that compass. Yeah, you begin to like pull apart some of the sand and the, like, the black murkiness begins to come up underneath, and you you don't see anything. I stand around. watch while they do this and just look for any okay. movement. Perception check. Is the compass moving? Don't the compass is go. currently focused in the same direction oh, that you were facing towards the wall. I'm going to gently. Well. I'm going to cast 25. detect magic. Ooh. No, twenty-seven. Sorry. Okay. Nice. Um, you glance uh, this way as you're looking overhead, and you can see a, a dark, very large, dark shape right about here. It looks to be the shelf of some sort of a, uh, uh. a subterranean, or at least a uh, underwater stone cliff or a mountain of some kind that leads up into here like a bank. Um, at the very top, you see a very faint movement. Yeah. It looks like individual long tendrils of some kind, just barely <laughs> visible at the outside of your dark vision. I come over the intercoms and I say, very quiet, very still, very I don't, slow. I don't hear that, so I just cast Detect Magic. Oh, son of a fuck, you don't. Motherfucker. Okay. So you cast Detect Magic. Um, you currently, in front of you, don't see any sort of magical source. Nothing seems to glow or emanate at the wall or near the base of the wall. Within 30 feet. Right. Even with under three feet of sand. No, let me, let me double check something here for you. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of wander to the other the side, side of the, of the wall, wall and see if it's on the other side. I'm with you. One foot of stone, one inch of metal. Okay, you faint. You, you, you feel, still feel the direction of the magic, the same way you're okay. looking, but you don't see anything on or around the base of the wall. You move around? Yeah, we're the other side there. of the wall, yeah. I'll okay, as with. you and Percy find your way to the other side of the wall, I'm still keeping there, an eye on the dark figure. The, uh, the direction of the located object leads you adjacent and just beyond the wall, on the other side from where uh, you guys were looking. That makes sense. Do I see it now? You do not see it. I'm going to gently pad at the base of the wall. Okay, both of you guys make investigation checks, please. Not to stay. I don't have the feeling the second we touch it. Uh, investigation? Mm-hmm. Yours, uh, 13. Yeah, George. You both start digging through and pulling for the sand and then dig further and it causes the black. We're digging we're, we're softly. We're very gentle. We're right. trying I'm not coming to do that. too. Let's I want to find out. If anything, we're, we're sucking it, so. And I'm going to cast Detect Magic again. Okay. Uh, focusing, you do feel a very, very faint magical essence from a general location of the sand, um, about two feet to the left of where they're currently sifting through the sand. Oh, okay, Jesus. Move Let's over there and start there. digging. Just try and help us find the fucking lodestones. You get past the sand, <laughs> you get to some of the black murkiness, and you're careful and start digging before you feel one of your finger Fingers hit a hard surface, and you're going to pull underneath. I think we found one. You pull them again, clearing the space around it, and it takes you a, uh, a minute or so with the help of both Tyrion and Percival, but you dig enough of this sand and soot from underneath to get around, and you have there, currently in your presence, one of your lodestones. <laughs> do you think Do you think they'll know if we grab it? Do you think it's going to attract anything? I think we put it in the back of holding, and it won't matter. Grog, I'll watch. Can you swim over here? Yeah. I slowly wake my way to the other side of the wall. As you like kneel over the wall, <laughs> meet the rest of your allies. You swim over the wall. We lift mm. it and put it in the back of holding. Okay. If it's inside, vanishes. You feel the slight vibration in your fingers as you take the stone and slowly relinquish it to the bag of holdings entry port. It vanishes. Then. Hey, one down. Do I sense another one with my locate object spell? Uh, you do. You get the you get a sense of something in this direction. All right. Like a line pointing this way. C let's twenty. Hit. <laughs> 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 All let's, right. Let's. Curve Should we around. hide? Yeah, curve around so we can hide from the big figure up top. Yeah. yeah. I keep an eye on the big figure the whole time. All right. I need Percival. Uh, Me too. Terry, Vex, and Grog. Who are moving currently to make stealth checks? Come on. Okay, okay. Twenty-four. Okay, okay. Um, Come on, Gil. Oh, nice. 
33. Just regular, right? No plus 10. Yeah, plus, yeah, 10. Yeah, plus, yeah, plus 10. 10. Plus 10. Plus 10. Oh, sorry. 27. 39. Good job, Gil. All right. Thanks, Gil. <laughs> are you guys staying ground level? Or are you curving over? Are you going around? We're going the around. Outside. Going okay. around. We're trying to keep as you know stealthy as possible. Right. So you guys make your way around, heading this direction, following Vex. As you continue to crawl forward, Vex can bring your way forward. Trinket's kind of getting nervous at the distance. I start scooching him behind the ear. I know there's one spot behind his left ear that mm -hmm. calms him down as I watch with Keela. Okay, so you slowly meander up to the side and kind of help just keep keep Trinket quiet for the time being. A stream of diarrhea comes out of his <laughs> <laughs> Mixing in with the black sand. Oh, oh God. <laughs> like a squid in his own life. <laughs> you guys follow behind. Do we sense Vex. any kind of movement around us or anything? <laughs> Uh, go ahead and make a perception check. Yeah, me too. All right, especially that. that giant red rock right there. Do I do that too or no? No, oh. I perceive nothing. Uh, you're I'm not with looking. him. You're staying back with uh, 16! Uh, 20, 22. Wasting all these high rolls. 21. 21? One, I saw nothing. Okay, yeah. Um, you come to this uh, heavy, heavy piece of, of like thick, Natural wall like stone that is like heavily embedded in the ground. This is not like the previous ones that looks like it was carved. This is just a natural formation of stone that is jutting out of the sand and it's like this thick, uh, 10, 15 foot wide embankment, um, about maybe five feet thick and about six feet above. As you approach and get to it, you don't see anything that would mark it uh, as different other than these series of you start looking down as you're. Inspecting, you see a series of skulls, some humanoids, some larger, some like almost elongated uh, fish or crocodile like uh, jaws. Some of them are older, some of them are fresher, some of them still have like bits, little, little thin tendrils of flesh that is like mostly decomposed that drift off and change direction with the flow of the water as you make your way through. How our masks are like. Like, no, no, you know, no, it's, we've it's got goggles. Goggles, just goggles. And just this little stone right over the larynx. So our mouth is free and yes. breathing water. Okay, I, I vomit. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> like a cloud of, of green, yellow, and brown just kind of emanates from the front like of Tarion's face. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Feed the fish. Wait, quick question. Mm. The Krakens don't like use shells, do they? Like a crab? No. We don't okay, fuck good. all. I mean, do you think? I don't. Just check it. As far as I know. Can we start looking for the lodestone? Investigation check. <laughs> Who else is helping? I'll help. I know, I'm, I'm just looking at the compass. I'm keeping an yeah. eye out. Yeah, you're looking on the compass. I'm going to look out. All right, so you're going to look out, so I just need mm. Vex and a uh, person. 18? 18? 13. 13. You guys sift through the sand in this vicinity, pouring around, trying to kind of dig across the exterior of the stone and pull away, you spend a good two to three minutes or so searching in the vicinity and you don't find a stone. Can I? All right, I'll, 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 I'll cast Detect Magic again. No, can I just use the compass? compass. It, yeah, what does it say? When I was uh, it points in the direction that you're... I want to take it and like bring it down to the ground and like... Okay. Like a metal detector sort of okay. thing. Can I kind of start it, splitting the difference in case anything bad happens? Okay. So you start making your way this way? Just very slowly. Okay, we need you. To make a self check. I, I would follow. I would bring okay, you as well. Arrow light. Oh God. I feel like something's bad. Roll for a trinket if you can. This music can. is fucking crazy. Why is it so tense? <laughs> Thirty-one self. This good. Philip Glass nervous breakdown you're giving us is really. That's good. That's good. Do 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 Okay. Forty-five. <laughs> Natural twenty. Forty-one. Forty-five. Forty-five. See you, <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys make your way into the in-between area. Trinket kind of comes behind. We don't mind to stay too far from the circumstance. Uh, I'm the, casting detect magic and since the we can't see and the, the fire dog. Okay. It's just a rock. Okay. Yeah. Hey, but, oh, fuck, it's a You rock sense again. the magical <laughs> presence of it in the direction that you've been facing, but it seems further past. Okay, it's around the rock. Again? Yes. We go around the fucking rock. Are you sure it's a rock? Okay. I don't know, Grog. Oh, wait a second. Oh, fine. What? To take magic lasts for 10 minutes. Oh, you yeah, don't have to cast a while. So the, I, this is all one spell, yeah? Yeah, you've maintained okay. the. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Bush League me stuff. So you go, go with them? Yeah! Okay. Grog, you staying where you're put or are you coming with them? 
Stay in there. Okay. Oh god. Uh, you're all three searching for it? Yes. Uh, but, yeah. Investigation check, investigation check, investigation check. One. Ugh. Uh, 19. Oh, Jesus, I thought nine. someone hit first. Nine and 19. Five. I mean, I got a natural one. You got a natural one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh no. The Kraken eats me. <laughs> As you're digging through, your your finger, uh, Tyrion, yes. hit something hard. <gasps> I've got it! I've got it! You Shh. dig through. I've got it! <laughs> and as you, as you pull up what you think is a stone, you look and instead, it's a humanoid head that is mostly skeletal bone with strips of flesh hanging off it, one eye that is like a, a pale, swollen, pink, oh. white color. <laughs> yeah, and you, you just start like, <laughs> you, you instinctually uh, step back, or start you know yelling under the point there. Richard Dreyfus and Jaws. <laughs> uh, just for the sake of this, this argument, make a stealth check, please. Oh, yeah. come on, come on. Period. Natural one. No! No, you are oh. lying to me. You are oh. so oh. lying. Put that oh. down. Two in a row? Yeah. No. Wow. No, Terry. Terry, a few oh. Terry. Terry. Oh. Oh. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay. Keyleth, as it. you're carefully looking up in the shadows, you watch as this giant dark mound just <laughs> just diminishes and vanishes. Oh no. And I just say, uh, red alert, red alert, think we got a kraken coming. Think the weather is calling for a kraken tonight. <laughs> as you guys hear this, you glance about in the vicinity and you watch as suddenly a series of large tentacles <laughs> around this large outcropping of what looks like stone or wood that is jutting out of the base Somebody of the floor. You guys found a lodestone. Did you guys find it? Did you find it? Did, find it? Did I find it while all that was happening? Did you or is please it this? tell me you found it? Uh, you rolled a 19. 19. You just barely hit the exterior of it when this happens. You're like, like, oh, I found it. And you look over, see Terry and yell, and then watch this creature suddenly swift down uh, and begin to crawl specs, over the top specs, of this. Specs, specs, let's do the daylight. Red alert, red hey, alert, specs. daylight. Uh, oh, Terry and dig I up the lodestone immediately. need all of you to make initiative. Fuck! 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 God damn it. Okay. Maybe we can shoot daylight it. directly into his eye. Oh, natural 20! <laughs> Do you really pew, think daylight's pew, pew, gonna pew, help pew. at this point? In his eyes, maybe. Hmm. He's not used to bright light. Oh, thank me, God I've been done. That's true, seek. he's not used to black. I'm All the humans. Just like, foom, foom, towards him, oh, like he's over like, him, away from him. All right, so. We're like directly what? at 25 to him. 20. Yeah, 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 yeah. 24. 24? 22. 22, nice. Okay. about it. Uh, 17. Uh, 19. Uh, what? All right. Worked out yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what? Ouch. Yeah, it hurts. Uh, All right, 15. 13. 13. 14 for Grogi okay. Grog. For Grogi Poo. Liam, how do you remember when to use luck? Uh, when shit is exploding changes. in your face. Yeah, well, I forgot. Oh. oh. As you watch, this entity suddenly <laughs> no. emerge no. from the top no. there. Not cool. <laughs> well, he's really pretty in that light, though. Yeah, he, he is. is very pretty. Enjoy it. Looks it. like a delightful, like a delightful <laughs> Creo dish. The inside All right. of his mouth is so pretty. <laughs> so, top of the round. Facts, you're up. Jeebus. You watch, Jeebus. You, you, you hear this noise through, oh, and Keyleth giving the warning as you glance over and see at the top of this structure the dark shadow of the Kraken pull its way over the top. Don't you see this like, gleaming yellow eye on the one side that's near you, and what looks to be three, five, seven or more tentacles begin to curl over and pull it over the top, making its way towards your friends. What are you doing? I'm clicking the Boots of Haste. Okay. And I am casting Bless on myself, on Keyleth, and on Grog. Grog, okay, what's the distance? 30 on? feet. 30 feet? Yeah, Grog is just in range. You are blessed. What does that mean? It means on an attacks or on saving throws, you can roll a d4 and add that for oh. a minute for the whole battle, basically. Nice! Yeah. His concentration, keep yeah, that in mind. Yeah. Okay. Great, thank you. So that's your, that's huge. that's your use of the haste, you have your action. What are you going to do for your... 
Um, I'm going to, uh, I'm 45 stealth, I'm going to back away to behind those giant shells. Over here. Giant. The third fucking Your speed stone. is 60 right now, so you can move 30, 30 feet yeah. hasted underwater, swimming. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to swim over that way. 10, 15, 20, 25. And then, there. and I'm hasted, so action, action, I should have a bonus action. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so I'll hide if I'm not hidden yeah, away. Yeah, you can do that. Roll, roll stealth check. Mm -hmm. Good, uh, we would have been like 35. a bunch of whales slamming into shit. Okay, cool. We'd have done it right away. Yeah. You know? All right, so that brings us to Keyleth. Mm, how far away am I from Vex? From Vex, uh, you're not sure. You'd probably be somewhere in the neighborhood of 35, 40 feet. That's Let your... me move towards, I say Vex! And you've used all yourself on yourself? Huh? You've altered yourself, right, to just swim fine? Yeah, yeah. I can, yeah. Nine, 10, 15. I can do that at will. I know. So how many feet do you want to move? Enough to see Vex. Vex! She's just on the other side of the rock, and as you say that, like you kind of look up and notice the creature, and you see Kiel, you see Vex's head just barely poke over this stone barrier. I'm going. Daylight arrow now! And I prep my daylight spell for whenever she I draws my... her arrow. And I wait for that, for as soon as I see the tip of her arrow to go. Okay, so you're holding your casting action until you see her arrow go. And then I, uh, when I say, dear God, please, Terry, and find the other lodestone. Don't kill the kraken. I didn't hear any of that. Because he does not have <laughs> an earpiece. Fuck! <laughs> 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 But, that, but you, 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 loud, you do hear it because Someone because you're underwater Jared. and because of the uh, yeah, yeah. the yeah. Uh, the, the, the throat feed. You do hear it. It's still a little garbled, but oh. you pick up the essence of what she's saying. Use the comp. Remove the compass. Lord Stone. All right. So you kill the interaction. That's a great idea. Cold so cream raspberries. <laughs> Go for the raspberry cheesecake. <laughs> okay. As the Kraken pulls its way over, you watch as its yellow eye all of a sudden glows blue. Oh no. And you watch as the edge of its tentacles begin to give off this like luminescent blue glow. No. And suddenly this burst of electrical energy Ooh. shoots forth from it and completely encompasses the surrounding. Uh, all creatures within 120 feet have that's to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, so that's D4, all D4. Of you. Thank you. D4? Plus a D4, plus a D4. God, I, wish I don't get any, my, my, Cloak doesn't give me any bonus against Using the people killer, not bad. Not this bad, people killer. This is a layer action for the Kraken. Oh god. A layer action for the Kraken? Because we're in his okay. fucking fish tank? It's made this its layer for the past Fuck you, Costco. number of years. <laughs> so, yeah. I meant Petco. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. I meant Petco. That's better. Oh, yeah. Use luck, Terry. I did. Yeah. <laughs> I did too. I did too. I did. And grateful All for right. it. So 26. Okay. So you take you take eight points of lightning damage. Percy. 23. 23. Eight points of lightning damage. Kilo. 19. You take uh 19 points of lightning damage. 19. 22 plus I'm set to lightning with the Deathwalker's Ward. 19 halved to eight points of lightning damage. Or I should have twice, I should be quarter, right? If I made well, no, the save? No, you didn't make it. Oh, I didn't make it, 22 didn't, didn't make it. Make it. Oh. No, I'm sorry, it was, it, was, it was eight. I said 19. Right, I'm right, sorry, so, so it was. And that took 18 damage. I apologize, damage. it was nine, nine, and 18 damage. That's uh -huh. nine, nine, 18. Got it. 18. Mm-hmm. Uh. I already forgot what I rolled because everybody's talking numbers. Fourteen. <coughs> Eighteen points lightning. You damage. got it. Trinket. Oh shit. You take. He doesn't mean. You, you take, take 18, 18 points. Of lightning Eighteen points of lightning damage. Yeah. Rob. With my hashtag bless twenty seven. You take eight points of lightning damage. Hashtag. Or nine. Bless. Sorry, nine. <laughs> nine. Nine. Hashtag nine points of lightning damage. Alrighty, Vex, you're up. As you kind of reel from the sudden electrical shock that pulses out in the vicinity, what are you doing? Um, can I, the Alter Self coin, does that take an action, or is yes, that, it's it a does? cast a spell on yourself. Fuck. Okay, <coughs> then I'm gonna start with pulling out the arrow and doing what Keyleth and I talked oh, about. Keyleth, hey, gone. I'm pulling out my arrow. We were gazing. Daylight on the tip of that arrow. Finger and I'm gonna shoot it. it. Slowly pew, pew, pew. 
as close as I can to the Kraken's head and just like past him. Wait. Like I wanted to go like by the eyeball. Okay. <laughs> Let me see here. Daylight. It's like throwing a meatball past a lion that's stalking you. I mean, if I can, it's a really I can good meatball. Hit it. It's get an it arson in his head. Meatball. If I can it's hit it in his head, that's cool. But if like, no, 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 I kill Mary, I want to that just light or daylight. Daylight. Because daylight, you just choose a sphere for it to happen. A s- I've totally cast daylight on an object before. But you don't need to. You don't say. need to. But we'll save the purpose of this. But I can do, do that, right? Because I did that sure. with Grog and his bowl helmet. So that way it'll stay lit over there. Over on the arrow. Sure. Like a flare. What okay. is happening? We'll go with that. I don't know if that's allowed, but yeah. I know we've done that. No, in the what happened? What happened? What's so happening? As you hit that, what is going on? That so I'm just telling him he's working out. You're not working out. <laughs> wow. This is Eternal Lane kicking in. Drunk right now. <laughs> I don't know, man. Kraken just showed up. That sounds like Eternal Lane to me. Oh, I know. Please it's take a moment to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, okay. So you focus as she draws the arrow and pulls it with intent in the back of the bow. As you do, you focus and you watch as uh, Vex you aim and then close your eyes as you see the spark of energy curl off the front of the arrow. It's bright, uh, nature-based daylight just bursts out of the arrow as you release it. Um, go ahead and make an attack against the Kraken with disadvantage, please. Okay. Come on. Come on! Come on! Come on, come on! No, you're right. If you choose a point with an object you're holding and one that isn't being worn that line from the object, you're correct. 26. 26, that hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Well, all right. Totally in character, too. Uh. World plus one lightning damage. All right, so 13. This is not a sneak attack, and I obviously can't have done Hunter's Mark. Right, so the arrow sinks into kind of the underside of the Kraken's dark form. You can, you're just barely making out its bits of its shape. As the light hits, you can see now, uh, close to look, looks like 10 various tentacles now, like kind of curling and finding its way over the top of the structure. It slams into the side and the daylight brightly sprays out from under it. Um, I want it to be like. Yeah, you right all, side. by the way, uh, because daylight no, lasts for an hour. So you watch as this, this light is now billowing from underneath the, uh, the creature. It does not seem, you can see watches as pupil kind of adjust to the light. It doesn't appear to be blinded or having an issue with the daylight. However, it is now a beacon, and the arrow now, you know, partially jammed into its side. You have a very, very clear idea and a bright view of the battlefield around it as this Kraken is now emitting light in its vicinity. Nice. Well, sure. Now there's shadows. And a giant megalodon comes and eats it. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be great. So that's your first attack. Oh, yeah. Um. I can't do a spell for my second. I can't do alter self. For my no, second. you've already attacked one. So I'll it's part of the say, attack. I'll just action. check in. Okay, do I still get disadvantage if I attack it again? Yep. Okay, I'm Everyone's gonna attack slowed. it again. Just so it's because... not about aim. It's about the actual the, the water resistance. Under okay, the I'm gonna attack it again. And... Go for it. Um. Blue on what's 15 plus seven? <laughs> 22. 22. That hits. Good roll damage. Okay. Hmm. 12. 12 plus just one damn lightning damage. Okay. One damn. One damn lightning damage, star. You watch as the spark of energy from the, from the arrow hits it the second time that the daylight obstructing your view. And the energy bursts around at the lightning damage you're used to seeing from any creature impacts. And the lightning seems to just hit its blubbery hide and vanish. Right, because lightning, it just did lightning. Obviously, it's immune to lightning. Right. Mm. And I'm going to use my motion to back the fuck off and uh, try to get behind that rock outcropping. Five, 10, uh, 15. Laser that's pointer. As far as, or okay, as yeah, sure. Just on the other side of it. If I... That's as far as you can get. Okay, cool. Because you don't have your alter self form yet, and you're like, you're slowly swimming through this water sluggishly. Okay. That's as far as you can get. Trinket, do you want to give Trinket any sort of movement? On this yeah, one? can he back up behind that pillar? Right here? Yeah. Yeah, Trinket moves up and kind of guards himself. Hmm. Behind yeah. the side. All right, Percival. I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Hex on the Kraken. I'm going to Hex the Kraken. By the way, uh, Vax, oh, can you make I get it? a bonus don't action? I guess I could have. No, I just want to know where it, it is. is. Okay, just don't kill it. Do I have nothing I can do to it. Can I hide from my bonus action as a rogue? 
I you literally can? have only yeah, one power, that. and okay. that's to electrocute it, which does nothing. These violet candies are really delicious. good. They're really good, and they're Just a problem. delicious. I'm going to dig the <laughs> lodestone out of the dirt. Okay. Don't worry about I'm it. I'm going to spend my turn <laughs> trying, keeping an eye on the thing I just hexed so that I know where it is. Okay. You go ahead and dig, out. it's been your entire turn pulling the lodestone out and you're now holding it in your hands. And I'm also turning to Terry and going, find the next one, we've got to get out of here. Okay. okay. So that's your action. Do you want to move it all? Uh, yeah, If I once I've got the lodestone, yes. the I want to, well, I'm not, I don't have the bag. You're next to Terry, though. You can put it in his. I'm going to put it in Terry's bag. <laughs> okay, so you move over, and you're able to go ahead and put it. And in. I'm going to try and see if I can get some cover, like some cover from that as far away from that thing as possible. Uh, okay. Whatever I can do. Five, ten. You're not able really to get any cover, unfortunately, because the water's like. Yeah. <laughs> you're swimming through after putting it inside there, and you move along. Cause you use your action to pull it up. You kind of put it inside there yeah, as, as the rest great. of your turn. And you just swim past. It's as far as you can get. Yeah. All right, that ends your turn. Oh, God. All right. Now it's the Kraken's turn. Uh, let's see, swim speed of 60 feet? Fuck you. <laughs> it coasts around yeah, this direction. He casts less. We'll say it gets over over in this side here, oh perspective-wise. Uh, Vex, what'd you roll for yourself again? It was... I didn't, I didn't roll after I said I hid. Well, but you're hide, you said you were gonna hide? Yeah. Your bonus actions, so go ahead and make your hide check. Okay. And stealth check. Oh, that's good, good, that's good, good, that's good, good, that's good, that's good, that's good. 35. Rogue 35. Okay. Uh, by the way, Vax, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask, go ahead and make a concentration check. So it's a constitution saving throw. Jeebus, now I'm gonna use luck. All right, 15. 15, okay, you maintain concentration on the Shite. Uh, plus. Hashtag plus. To you guys, you just love that. Hashtag <laughs> plus. <laughs> Already, I'm not happy with any of so, this. So the kraken don't kill, don't kill, don't is now. His tentacles begin to whip outward. Uh, it's going to make one strike against Vex. Oh, he saw one, me. One strike against Terry and one strike against Grog. Yeah. Cause why not? <laughs> so. Uh, Thirty-five is not good enough to hide from wait, him. Sorry, you were hidden, so it does not. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's Terry. Percival and Grog. You oh, did this sorry. To me. Sorry. I'm so that sorry. is that a total is. of 32 sorry. against Terry. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, that hits. Yeah, of course. Percy, that is 23. Oh, yeah, that 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 hits. And Grog, that is uh, 23 again. Yes, sir, hits. Not speaking as Percy, this is like legitimately nightmare fuel right now. I'm not sleeping tonight. All right. You, got a problem you with. hate fish. Oh, that's Dude, right. You hate fish. Don't tell the internet they'll find I'm him. so sorry. <laughs> do, so do not send him oh, packages right. of fish. Tarion, you take Holy 16 bludgeoning damage. Thank you, Kraken. Percival, you take yeah. 20 bludgeoning damage. Uh, okay. Grog, you take 19 bludgeoning damage. Ooh. And all three of you are grappled. The tentacle oh. wraps around you and holds you in place. Your movement is zero currently until you try and oh break my free. Gosh. Oh god! Oh no. It's just trying to get a feel for the friends that are in its space. Oh god! Oh god! All right, that ends the Kraken's turn as it and goes ahead and grapples three of your allies in the process. Grog, cool. it's your turn. It's my turn. Yes, it is. It um, I would like to watery rage. Okay, is this your bonus action? Yeah, this is my bonus action. And can I smash the Titan stone knuckles like together to cast in larger myself? Yes, you can. So you shift into your larger form. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a bigger fish now. You are still this, this is bad. still grappled by the creature, but you are larger. Can I fight with the strength of the Titan stone knuckles to break that grapple? <laughs> uh. To slam your gauntlets together, that wasn't, was that a, was this a specifying action on the ability? Look at uh, the item. It is an action. Uh. So you cannot break free currently this turn, but as your action to transform, you're still grappled. He just got a bigger chew toy. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. I'm digging it, that's my turn. Okay. Terry. Can't do anything. Oh. You're up. Me? Yes. Oh, Christ. You're currently grappled, you can't move. I can't move. Uh, I can't move my hands or anything. 
You can't. You mean, mean you, you can't move your like your movement My is zero. Body. You can do things. You can still cast any attacks or disadvantage because you are currently restrained okay. within the grapple. Any attacks or disadvantage. Jesus. Um, Attack rolls. Spells are still ineffective, but. I'm going to reach for my robe, so carefully sewn by young Laura Bailey, <laughs> and Ooh. rip off, I think I have, a patch. It's been like Velcro pants it. Uh, <laughs> don't I have some spells on there? <laughs> Wait, was that for my robe or is that somewhere else? No, you gave me some scroll spells, some spell scrolls. You have some spell scrolls, you have patches in your robe, and you have your helmet. I wrote down that I have a hypnotic pattern somehow. Was that a patch or was that something else? Hypnotic pattern? That, that's not part of your helmet, so that would probably be one of your patches. It must have been a. Like a Boy Scout. It must have been a patch <laughs> or something. Oh, yeah, 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 patch. It's a patch. Bravery. It's a patch. Okay. I'm ripping off the patch. Okay, so you're off one of the patches, and you go ahead and you're using hypnotic pattern. Yes. That weaves through the air inside a 30 foot cube within range. So you create a hypnotic pattern around the exterior Correct. of the face of the Kraken where the eyes are. Yes. So as you tear the patch off, you release it in the water, and you watch the patch slowly drift up, and for a second you're like, nothing happened. Wait, what? There's a spark out of your hand, and you watch as suddenly there's an array of colors and various flashes in the Face in the area around the uh, the Kraken's oh. face. Oh, it worked. Okay. Yep. <laughs> right, wisdom saving throw. What's your DC uh, or on the item? On the item. Jesus. So many things. Magic is hard, guys. I know. Wasn't it easier when you just had to rhyme? I know, right? Mm. It just says spell scroll. Uh, the item. I, so, I mean, I think it's mine. This is the robe of useful items, correct? Oh, does that have its own DC? Uh, the spell scroll. Oh yes, it's, it's nice one of the scrolls. It's just there. one of the scrolls. So, yeah, I'll say it. We'll use your DC. I don't miss. My plan. DC? Yeah. Is seventeen. Seventeen. Wisdom save on that. Spell suck. Uh, that is a twenty-one. So yes, it saves. Shit. Unfortunately. Taking him out. So as the spark hits, <laughs> the 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 slight flash vanishes, and you watch as the lids are still closed tight, and they. Open with this horrible, sickening sliding sound, and the glowing yellow eyes still seem trained on various uh, allies of yours in the vicinity. Does he's got two eyes or just the one eye? Two eyes. Got it. All right. Uh, is that your he's turn, Harry? Pirate. I mean, yeah. I mean, All right, I'll, top like, of the I round. I'll cast. No, I mean he's got me grappled. I can't do sanctuary, right? He's already got. Well, me. you've already used your action to try and use the patch. That's a bonus action. But that's a bonus action. Uh, no, the sanctuary is a bonus action. Then you can do that, yeah. All right, I'll cast sanctuary on, on, on myself. Okay, sanctuary on yourself. <laughs> Perfect. Like you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Vax, you're up. Oh my god. Um, he glanced just barely over the side, and you can see it's already wrapped up, Grog, Terry, and Percy with his tentacles. But one of us is not looking so. Shit. Uh, I'm fine. What'd you say? You can get him undone. Uh, uh, I'm going to uh, start swim. Who's the closest of all the people grappled to me? Uh, that'd be Grog. Grog. All right, I'm going to start swimming there over the shells. Five, uh, 10, 15, 20, and I'll blow. 30 as far as you can And go I'll use there. my bonus action for more movement. I've done that for. Okay, to dash? Yeah. That'll give you just having to swim right next to him. Okay. And. Uh, I'd like to use Whisper to tear into the tentacle, holding him to try to, to get him free of it. Okay, so are you attempting to... To ungrapple him. Ungrapple him? Yeah. All right, I need you to go ahead and make a... Because uh, it's not you in the grapple, this is him. Yeah. This is an athletics check. Athletics check, God damn it, man. Acrobatics is to escape from it, to yes. help somebody else. You're having to actually physically force it off. Plus, that's shit. <clears throat> but that's that's shit. Dun, dun, dun. 11. Nope. You try and like grab, you're hacking at the side, <laughs> but as you're hacking with the blade, you're watching as it's uh, it's not quite beating past the hide of the tentacle around it. Okay, I'm out. Okay, Keila, you're up. I knew that's what you were going to say. Um, so all of my friends are still grappled. A lot of Three them are, yeah. Three of them. Let's <laughs> go get the loads. Uh, yeah, I'm going to cast. Locate objects, see if I can find that third lodestone. Okay. They're fine. You're fine. You're level 16, motherfuckers. You're fine. Oh, God, I want to I want to find the lodestone. I've been eating a dragon. Please help. Okay. 
locate object. All right. The uh, the third lone stone is kind of in the direction and just past uh, this way, at least. I'm sorry. Wait, which direction? You're, you're so your hand is lateral? You're here? Yeah. yeah. It's going this way. Towards the way your hand is going. Correct, right. like there, from you. Okay, okay. I'm going to use my alter self swim speed and swim okay. that direction as far as I can. Do I get a better location on it? Uh, you get there, and it, you, you're still feeling it in this direction. I'll double my speed. Okay. Yeah, that's really confusing on like can a fundamental I, level. Yeah. yeah. Can I do another like investigation check? Is it near me? Unfortunately, no. Investigation is one of those things where you spend your action moving through and searching in the vicinity. That's other than your bonus action. That's about as much as you can get. You just feel it's in this direction from okay. you. Okay. As a bonus action, who's near me? Uh, <coughs> the Kraken's about. Uh, 20 feet yeah, above Yeah, yeah, you. yeah, party members. Party members, you have Percival, Tarion, and Vax. Or sorry, there's Vax over there. Okay, I'm gonna do, you're fine, right? Uh, you're great. You I'm know. gonna do a Grasping Vine and see if I can get Tarion out of the Craftsman's, oh, sorry. Get Tarion out of the Kraken's grasp with Grasping Vine. Okay. A lot of from big words. Where, where does the grasping vine start? Grasping vine. Can I get it kind of towards that? Um, sorry, deal with me. This, this guy stone? here. Yeah. Right yeah. There? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So a vine curls up, whips towards uh, Tarion, wraps around. <laughs> oh, no. For this, I'm going to say this is an opposed check of the vine versus strength. the kraken strength. I need you to go ahead and roll. And add your wisdom modifier. People killer. People killer. That's good. Woo! My strength? Yeah, no, you your wisdom modifier. Oh, just my modifier? Just your wisdom yeah, modifier. Oh, that good. wise as fuck, motherfucker. That is with it. That was a 15. 26. 26. It tugs and tugs, but it's oh, not strong wow. enough to break. Oh, oh, it's so the vine strong. is now like like pulling back and forth between the tentacle and <gasps> Terry. And Terry's like, ah! Yeah, it's it. both sides. <laughs> but, oh, no, oh, no. unfortunately... It's the dragon ah, from all over again. Over again. No. <laughs> Don't say it. It's a very, you. very strong creature. Okay, but I'm still... The lone stone's over here! And that's all I get. Okay. And you kill its turn, we come to the top of the round. I need everybody to go ahead and make a constitution saving throw. As once again... All of us? Once again, the Kraken, its eyes light up blue, and its tentacles now release another burst of electrical energy in the vicinity. Hashtag bless. Oh, hashtag bless. <laughs> Constitution, right? Yes. <laughs> Fifteen. Good. At Nineteen it. points of lightning damage. Twenty-one. Light. Nineteen points of lightning. God damage. damn it. Seven. Nineteen points of lightning damage. Six. Deathwalker's award. N Nineteen reduced to nine points of lightning damage. I get nineteen points. Nineteen points. Thirty-two, and I have resisted to lightning damage with the exalted knuckles. All right. So you take. Five points of lightning damage. Trinket. Ah, uh, give me a piece of My trink. That's a 20. Just kidding. He gets it, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So that is 90 points of lightning damage. Um, at the end of uh, that turn, the Kraken is going to go ahead and use, uh, let's see, within range here. It's going to go ahead and use one of his legendary actions to do a tentacle attack against Keyleth. Good grief. That is 29. That definitely hits. This is how All right. the creature's like a Keyleth. crustacean <laughs> beholder. Yeah. You take <clears throat> 21 points of bludgeoning damage. That really, that hurts. 21 <laughs> points. I'm at 91, so 21 puts me to 70, right? Yeah. I will say, I will use the red markers here as people that are currently Grappled. Grappled. Because you are now grappled and restrained, Keyleth. What? This is oh, yeah, he can, he can grapple like all of us. He's got enough of those tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> mm, who's not grappled? Oh, Me. first of all, because of your hex, I need you to go ahead and make a constitution accent. saving throw. It's yeah. showing? I about earlier. Yeah. Oh, no. You're talking like that. Um, it's a. Uh, 19? The later the yeah, hour gets. Yes. No, that's mom. All right. Yeah. That brings us Mom's to Vex. Mom's been in town for a while. Vex, right. what are you doing? You're hiding behind the rock. You watch 
as four of your allies are now grappled by this creature. Fucking A. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> use the altar self so that I can actually <laughs> do something, though. Like, I won't be able to get to anybody. I'm just gonna have to waste a turn. All right, so you cast Why altar self in yourself as an action. Oh, am I still doing it? A little bit. I'm using altar self. All right, so you grab the coin that Taryn gave you, you focus on Alta it, and you self. gills suddenly pull from the side, and all your fingers get webbed suddenly, and you begin to be able to move at your full. Okay, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna swim behind the rock. Uh, God damn it, light, the laser. No, the other rock. Sorry. This rock here. Yeah, but on the other side of it. Okay, so that's five, ten. 20, 25, 30, and I'm that's gonna, your movement. I'm gonna use my action, to, my bonus action to hide again. Okay. You still have your action, by the way. Oh! So that was your movement to get there. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Action to spell, movement, you're right, bonus action. Yeah. Bonus action to hide. Okay, make yourself check. Trinket has to save us all. And Turn you a cast a spell so we don't have Pass Without a Trace anymore? So that's uh, 24. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha, so you're, you're keeping low. At the end of your turn, it's going to use its other two legendary actions to do Lightning Storm. Be, no, no, I cast Grasping Vine, which is technically a bonus action. It should not impede with my concentration spell, so we should still have Pass Without a Trace, correct? Uh, nope. nope. I cast Locate Object. Nope. Yep. Totally ruined that. Sorry. Yep. Sorry. That's nope. okay. Marisha uh, argues zone. with herself and Totally, loses. yep. <laughs> and the podcast coming it's, to know, the so Alpha coming, Network. Coming <laughs> it yeah. uses Lightning Storm with its two other actions. It begins Project. to charge Alpha. up now, and as both of the slight vicinity, you watch as the front of its mouth. You now see, uh, between the darkness, the daylight, there's this glowing beneath it. The light begins to surge with electrical energy. You can see the strange, beaked, sharp mouth that opens, and as it does, bolts of thick lightning energy shock out from in front of it. That's going to be hitting uh, Grog, Vax, and Percival. Bless. So I need you guys to make dexterity saving throws, please. Yay! Big money, no whammies. Big money, no whammies. 23. 23, you take 11 points of lightning damage. That'll do. 27. You take no points of lightning damage because of your evade. Yeah. And 11, but I have resistance to lightning damage. Right, so you take uh, 11 points of lightning damage. All right, that brings us to Percival's turn. You are still grappled and held in the creature's grasp. Just, okay. Just get out, man. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and get a. a is acrobatics a way to get out of this? Or acrobatics this, uh, or athletics, your choice. Uh, I'll take acrobatics. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm a fast weaklings. All right. Uh, so here we go. Let's uh, let's roll well. I get advantage on this, right? No. Okay. I just thought I'd see if I could sneak that through. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, I rolled really. I can't re roll that with a resolve, can I? Uh, no, because it's not safe. Um, it's a big it's ass crack. 16. Though. It's not bad. 16. You try and slide through, yeah, but it's no. holding too fast. You can't escape, unfortunately. Um, do I have anything? So that's your I can action. Do with my minor with my with anything else. Do I have anything I can do? Um, is there a bonus action thing I can do here? Uh, no. I am. I am just. Yeah. I think about how easy it would be to, to reload my gun right now if I had one. Okay. <laughs> That's your turn? That's, I, yeah. All right, it is now the Kraken's turn. Yeah. Kraken is going to shift over here, still holding you guys in its vicinity. It pushes past the area, kind of reaching the ground area. Um, we're going to say pushing up to there. Uh, it's going to go ahead and make a bite attack against you, Grog. You're the largest medius circumstance. That is 27 to hit. That hits. All right. So you take uh, 27 points of piercing damage because you are raging with this halved to, we'll say, 14 <coughs> piercing damage. However, as it pulls towards you, its tentacles pull up and that giant oh. piercing beak just <laughs> swallows you. What? <gasps> You suddenly, everything goes dark, and you feel yourself being pulled into the dark interior of the Kraken, 
uh, the burning numbness of the acid of its interior beginning to burn away at the outside of your flesh. You are restrained, you are inside, you are blind. Cool. Oh my god! <sighs> uh, you guys watch Grog, even his large form, just disappear inside the Kraken's maw. Uh, that's going to bring us to Grog's turn. Cool. I'm in the womb again. Yes, you are. <laughs> There's fluid. Do I hear a heartbeat? Uh, very faintly. You hear it's like a triple heartbeat. Nice. Aww. Right. Cool. Am I restrained anymore? Yes. Because I'm in the gut. Because you're inside, being crushed by its interior muscles that are pulling you towards its digestive tract. It's fun, isn't it? Nice. Cool. Yeah. How that, do you break free of bringing restraint? That threw off my my plan. <sighs> um, you attack at disadvantage. How about? Yeah, let's try. God, can I even make a melee attack? <coughs> you can. It's a disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah, let's give it a whirl, and I'll make it a reckless attack. Yeah. Okay, go yeah, for yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's a regular <laughs> attack. It's yeah. just one roll. That's Come roll. on. Plus Come on. on. And that they bolt. You're so blessed, yeah? Yeah, I'm Hashtag still blessed. blessed. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> oh, that's a 30. 30 hits. Hey. hey, you hit a creature from inside of it. Inside of it. <laughs> There's like yeah, literally yeah. nowhere your Just fist could go that wouldn't hit it. <laughs> but it's like 23. Uh, 23. 23, okay. Are you punching it or? No, I'm hitting it with a dwarven thrower. All right. <coughs> with two so, hands. So, you attacking again? Yeah. Same thing? One yep. roll? 10. 26. 26 hits, roll damage. <laughs> 22. 22, all right. My bonus action. I would like to be very discouraged about my current state of affairs. <laughs> You're just regular rage right now, right? Yep, just regular. Okay. Uh, could I use my bonus action to go into a frenzied rage because I have never been swallowed? Sure. And I don't like it. Okay. Uh. Let me check one thing real fast as far as the frenzied rage goes. How do you get unswallowed? Kill the kraken. Well, not Fuck gonna... this big squid. I'm gonna have a really <laughs> hard time explaining that to my ancestors. We can, we we can kill them too. It's not a problem. That's not. No. We'll resuscitate the kraken. Maybe we can just it. rip open its guts and then leave it. I'll, I could resuscitate. So we'll leave that as a turn. So oh, you go into the frenzy rage. We have to resuscitate yeah. a kraken. <laughs> we will resuscitate, resuscitate the kraken. Yeah. Then, All right. That ends your turn, Grog. Yes. Terry. Still grappled. Yes. Still grappled and restrained. Yes. Uh, Grappling with many things. Ah. I feel like I should not be here, but there's no way I can break free. He's super strong, and I'm not. So. Keep fucking with him. Uh, As you know, too, those. Zone, I, I forgot, did tell you to find the lodestone. Yeah, He's I forgot grappled. earlier. Oh, you're any, of you that are, any of you that are grappled or restrained by the creature have disadvantage on your death, dexterity saving throws. I forgot about it earlier. It's fine going forward. Okay, Keep that in mind. On dexterity saving. Thanks, chat room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just remember uh, from the rules here. I will I'm rip sure chat off, room was on top sure of chat room I will rip off like, another <laughs> patch. I'm just using all my my tricks. You don't need no stinking patch. Uh, I will rip off another patch and use, because I'm touching it, I will use Vampiric Touch. Ooh. Okay. You can take it to the goth club. <laughs> take it to the goth club. All right. I think that's a touch that spell, right? Uh, it is. You still have to roll an, uh, an attack to hit it. Shit. But it's a. Uh, it's a melee spell attack, I'm pretty sure. So, getting that to a little vampire touch. All right, so you use your action to cast it on yourself and then make a melee spell attack against the creature. So go ahead and roll a d20. With disadvantage because you are restrained. So the lower of those two. Yeah. Yeah. I can't use luck on the lower of those two. You can. Oh. <coughs> okay, that's better. Still not going to be enough. Plus my spell attack bonus, is yes. that what I have? So that's 20. 20 hits. Oh! Yeah. Worth it. Alrighty, so it's 3d6 necrotic damage. That's not a lot. Ooh. That'll that's help. not a lot. No, that's something. Oh, nine. 
14. 14, so you deal 14 points of necrotic damage to the Kraken, and you regain seven hit points. Nice. As you draw its life force away, grabbing onto the tendrils of its tentacles, like, Argh! you watch as the necrotic energy pulses into it and pulls the life force into you. Okay. All right. You know, small, but okay. <laughs> And once again, casting sanctuary, recasting sanctuary on myself. <laughs> All right. It, it went away when well, I did that. Yeah, sanctuary's concentration. No, well, I I don't know, but it goes away if I attack him. True. However, if con if sanctuary is a concentration, because uh, vampire touch is also a concentration. Well, it would have gone away either way, right? I'm saying if, if Sanctuary is a concentration spell. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can keep up Vampiric Touch if you want. Yeah, you can do it every turn if you just want. Keep, oh, I can? Keep yanking that out. Oh, well then I'll just keep it going. If you wanted to. <laughs> yes, I do. The Sanctuary do. is you not like concentration. It just lasts for a minute. So your Sanctuary is still on. You don't have to cast it again. Oh no, you didn't oh. attack. So, so you I do cast, have to cast it again. again. Yes. But yeah, so you can have both on. Okay, <laughs> I have both on. There we right. go. Right. There you go, you figured that out. A lot of rules. Alrighty, that brings us back to the top of the round. Vax, you're up. Okay, I'm going to use disengage to oh. kick away from this big fucking thing and start. I'm hasted, so I should be able to get to Keyleth. 10, 15, 20, 25. And she's 30. grappled, correct? She is. I'm yeah. just going to start cutting. So try to do what I did with Grog before. Okay. So athletics, you said, right? Yeah, I'd say cutting at the tentacle. <clears throat> I mean, both are pretty rough for you because you don't do a lot of damage to the dagger. I'll say for the sake of going forward in this, go ahead and make an attack roll. Attack roll. I'm using my last luck of the day. That was a one. Can I say anything to him in the process? Yeah, you can. Can I can? Yeah. I say, Lord Stone! <laughs> right there! I ignore that. I keep all cutting. doing that with the fingers. 16, 29. That's 30, uh, 31. 31 hits. Go ahead and roll damage. You know, the next not one sneak is. attack. No, this is the uh, next one. You found it? the next one. I found it. Even though she's grappled, it's still way far away. Yeah, right? the actual yeah. body, the sensitive I'm, part of the body is away. You're right, attacking so, the attack. I'm right um, I see. there. That's me. Uh, the lodestone is over here somewhere. Two. That's me in the ocean. Oh That's me in the fish. Uh, 15. 15 points of damage? Yeah. All right, you just rush up the side of her and begin hacking away at the mm -hmm. tentacle. You watch as you're carving into it and it begins to break away. It doesn't fully. Uh, doesn't I got fully one more attack, so I'll keep going then. Okay, go for All it. Right. Uh, uh, this is Venom. That's 24. Four plus, well, okay, good, plus nothing. Um, where the hell do I keep putting my dice? Where's the four? Where's the fucking four? There it is, plus four is 10, 10, I'll unload some poison in it. Uh, that's a DC 15. Okay, it succeeds. That's, okay, so nothing, oh, does it ha have then or nothing for the poison? What does it say on the item? Uh, Percival, this is a take this down. <laughs> sure. Uh, it doesn't say anything about having it, so I, I yeah, guess so that just, means zero. So nothing. So ten for the second time. Ten points. Damage. Okay, it doesn't quite carve away entirely. It's close. You can see it taking damage. The tentacle is like starting to pull away, but it's still holding her fast. I'm so. You're I'm still so grappled. Crap. Is that end of your turn? Is that end of my turn? Okay, end of your turn. It's going to make a bash action, since Tarion and. Percival, all right, next to each other. It takes two tentacles, pulls them back, oh whack, and slams them into each other. Oh. <laughs> Both of you guys <laughs> take uh, 11 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh my god. And are pushed adjacent to each other, which you already are. Oh, so that's that. I'm not having a happy time. 11 all right, points. Keyleth, you're up. <laughs> so I'm still attached? You are, yes. Yeah, it's a 30-foot reach on each of these tentacles, so you're still just on the outskirts of its reach. It's damaged, it's hurt, it'd be easier to break free, but it would take your action to do so. Mm. Oh, I turn to Vax, grappled, and I say, Lodestone, and I point with the best direction that I can with my remaining. Okay. So you point this way. Okay. Mm. Did, did, did it make its wisdom saving throw when it attacked me? Uh, actually, you are part of the bash, so uh, that is an 18 plus 12, so well, yeah, 30. Then, yes, it did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. I have a, I have a saving well, throw, a constitution. I have a, a, a concentration. Yes, you did add it up. Um, 
No. What'd you roll? <laughs> a one. Oh. Yeah, Hex is gone. Sorry, buddy. Who's still grappled? You are. Yeah. Um, Tarion and Tarion, Percival, and Grog has been swallowing the beast. And Grog. Don't worry about me. Yes. Okay, he's, he's I happy. look at the place. twins and I say, Lodestone, <laughs> there-ish. I'm on the other side of the rock, but I can hear you. Lodestone! And then I do control water. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to redirect flow. And I'm going to push all of us. I don't give a fuck. We'll be fine. In this direction. You see my laser? Poof. This way you push I yourself. I want to point us away. So I want to redirect flow and go poof. And push us away from the lodestone in the direction of everyone else. <gasps> oh way. my god, can you How many feet get you the moving? water away from the kraken and maybe it'll just be on like landlocked? I can redirect the current of the ocean for a temporary okay, so amount you of and, time. You and Vax both? All of us, just me and the Kraken, and I guess everyone who's still grappled by him are going this way. Okay, keeping Vax away. Vax and the and Vax and Vex are probably still away. Okay. I'm going. <laughs> okay, so I'm watching. Roll a d20 and add your wisdom modifier. Roll a d20 and add my wisdom modifier. Yes. I've got advantage on that, right? No. Because a hero's feast. <gasps> it's your wisdom modifier. It's a wisdom not check. A wisdom it's not a saving check. throw. That's a 17. That was like such a grandma reaction. Plus 11, 8, 28. Ooh. The strength of your control water does actually Ooh. is stronger than the Kraken's current ability to hold stuff in place. So yes, Fuck the, yeah, the Kraken gets pushed this way and about this 20 feet. Did you guys get dragged Come around on. by 20 feet, <laughs> and you get dragged along with it 20 feet. Wait, and vet who? Me. You. you. Yeah, but not Vex you. and Vax. No. Not Vex and Vax. Just you, okay. for, you force the Kraken this <sighs> way. So yes. Mm. Maintaining concentration, your locate object fails, but you're still controlling it. And you push the Kraken and the rest of you, the allies that are grappled, along with it. That's get awesome. the lodestone! Right. Okay. That finishes Keyleth's turn. We're at the top of this <coughs> here. So let's see. Bathroom will be good. Yep. Here to help. Ah. That's me in the Kraken. As the water begins to force. The Kraken this way, uh, with it being pulled and kind of dragged across part of the rock nearby, and seeing everyone push in that direction, it turns and tilts sideways. And as it does, it pulses with muscles and releases this giant cloud no. of ink yes. that swallows this vicinity, 60 feet in the area. The entire surrounding vicinity of the battlefield all of a sudden is now heavily obscured by black ink. Can we see, I bet it looks really cool with the daylight like passing through it, though, huh? Uh, it does until it encompasses the area and blocks out it's the like, daylight. It's like watching creamer and coffee in reverse. Yeah. It's just kind of, yeah. yeah. Or like the intro to Never Ending Story. Oh. Um, oh. Basically, yeah. Now that... Uh, I can! I have to keep my feet on the ground! <laughs> Vax, it's your turn. Now That's that me. Vax and Keyleth are gone, do you guys hear the faint flapping of wings and moaning? Oh, creepy. <laughs> really creepy. <laughs> I am going to. <laughs> Matt's like, um, uh, God damn swim up and over towards my brother, <laughs> towards that. where she was pointing the lodestone. That's one movement lodestone. there. That's with the altered self. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just like her. I'm gonna have trinket. Wow. Okay. I guess. 30. You just move out of range of the uh, Kraken, but it does not see you because of your high check earlier, so it does not get an attack of opportunity. Awesome. Um, I'm going to have Trinket for my bonus action swim up on top of the Kraken's back. All right. We'll what? Say Trinket and is try there. to claw through because he saw Grog get swallowed. Okay. There is Trinket currently grappling on He's stuff. like looking. Like he's just claws, like thinking he's gonna get to the bellies. <sighs> he's gonna attack him with a claw attack. All right, so go ahead and make your attack, claw attack against him. They have to be a disadvantage. Uh, yeah. Damn it, that was a I mean, good. All one. attacks are a disadvantage in their water. Oh well, okay. Same thing. Uh, oh. It's good. 15. Nothing bad uh, happened. Uh, twenty-five. Hmm. Okay. Uh. 25, that yeah. does it. Go ahead and roll damage for, for Trinket. For Trinket? Yeah. 
For creamer. For Did creamer. you say creamer? I thought I was saying Okay. Different creature. And that was the disadvantage, right? Yes. Yeah. Right. 18 or 16. Nice. Five plus eight is. 13. 13. Only your 13 robot. points of slashing damage as Trinket just rakes into the side of the crack and just been, kind of cutting uh, four distinct thing. lines to the side of its you know, armored uh, crustacean it like exterior. Kind of armored out like kind of a lobster. It's yeah. not like soft and rubbery. Like no, no, an no, no. There are parts of it, the underside is, but then a lot of it has this kind of crustacean like armor on the outside. Okay. And All right. I guess I still have an action because I can't get close enough to like search right Correct. for the lodestone. So I'm going to um, try the thing that I saw. Very noisy Keyleth try Stealth. earlier, which is uh, to shoot out Grasping Vine and and try to break someone free with it. Grasping Vine is a bonus action spell. Grasping Please. Vine, not. F- oh. Non concentration bonus action spell. Yeah, but she already used a bonus action to let Trinket attack. That sucks. Uh. Oh. Okay. Um, then I'm going to cast Conjure Animals and I'm going to try to cast. Uh, at that third level, I get summoned fey creatures. Um, so what's a fey creature that swims underwater? I don't know, what's a fey creature that swims underwater? Uh, you know, uh, the thing Nyad. is that the player's handbook does not Nyad, tell Nyad. you. I just want to point that out. I will say this. Nyad. It doesn't I know say. It the does, I know player's know handbook this does for not tell you. Fact that it says in the player's handbook, the dungeon master will help you select a fey creature. <laughs> oh! oh! You realize this doesn't help you. The player's handbook says a lot of things, doesn't it? You just Only got chat room. Only because Contra Wendell Beings is right here. Is someone going to get into the spirits and summon creatures? Does it say it? Yeah, to what, to what CR does the spell say? To what, to what? The DM has creature statistics. Oh, CR. It does okay. say the it DM says the DM has, has creature statistics. statistics. Great. Do you have creature statistics, Let me DM? one out for you. I have my card, wait. We're so going to get minnows, aren't we? We're going to get little fey you minnows. You need to roll initiative for the summon creatures? That's that's good. Good. As a group. Edge of your right seat here. action. Two two <laughs> Who can look up the stats first? A fey creature. Full content, <laughs> content, uh, contact yes. stats. Are a whole lot of fey creatures in the Monster Manual, Wizards of the Coast. Just wanted to point that out. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, I will say it's a little bullshit. There's there's shade one, being thrown I'm, in every it's direction. It's a little tonight, bullshit, isn't there? <laughs> what is a rating one? Is that super lame? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a little. Yeah. Rating two is still super lame. No, that's well. Okay, Sorry. so as us as killer shark as killer whales, we're challenge rating three. Okay, so except what would be a f- except well. none of us are killer whales? But Wait, so you're conjuring a fake creature of yeah, challenge rating. Uh, two. Two. One creature. Yes. Of two or lower. Okay. So. Make Sebastian the crab. You get one fake creature. <laughs> two or lower. So much I'm sorry. Oh, they're okay. friendly. They roll initiative. Because they're not in the B they section. They sing like Disney characters. And they sing like Disney characters. They braid your hair. Basically tangled, but not. I'm sorry, Matthew. It's fine. It's cool. I'm sorry. <laughs> I remember all this. It's gonna be great. Have we finally you know, broken mercy? You know, but like for real, they never tell you. It can the best be. You know what? Well, as part of your spell repertoire, it can be a, an animal. It's, I'm conjuring an animal. I can conjure an animal. Crocodile, I'm gonna conjure a shark. A, that's a thing. Crocodile. Mm-hmm. No, no, that's not it. I've seen a fake, shark, fake, and I've. Fake that's not a fan. Why does it have to be a fake creature? I'm that's conjuring animals. Wait, I can do you this. Know, I can do this. I can do this. That's a good point. This. You know what? I'll let you. Sure. Sea hag. <gasps> Is that a thing? It's no. considered fey. Seahag is a fey to challenge. Thank you, Google. Seahag! It says each beast is considered fey. Oh, what? You, you can, can summon fey spirits that take the form of beasts. Ah. And you can like get a hunter trunks. shark, you which is right. a challenge rating of two. Okay, I guess a shark. Hunter All right. shark. It's a hunter shark, Where but, but shark it's fey appear? because it's dyed its uh, hair with kind of a right, pastel pattern. Like, Around the Kraken, I want it swimming around the Kraken to distract it. All right, we'll say it's right there. You got a shark now biting at the Kraken. And a hunter shark has blood frenzy, which means the shark has advantage on melee attack rolls against any creature that does not have all of its hit points. Then it's going to attack him. All righty. And get eaten. I'm glad we were. Where are those assholes right now? Just want to point that out. Go ahead and make your attack on it. Something episodes, yeah. Spite attack. Yeah. Plus six. I would have gone for this. With advantage. A roll at what? Has advantage because it's been damaged. It's plus six. Eleven. It bites 
<laughs> about a futility against the armored exterior of the Kraken. So, hey, it's more for distraction purpose than anything. Caramel. Anyway. Yeah. Caramel. Yeah, 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 Ow. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. It will be apple. if it uses up a fucking tentacle. <laughs> it's. Yeah, that's yeah. great. No, no, it's we're great. in. Yeah, he is we're so in. ready to it's use a tentacle on the hunter shark. Hey. All right. <clears throat> End of your turn. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's going to go ahead and use another one's points to do a. Uh, let's see. This is how he's been plotting our day. Yeah, it's going to go ahead and make a uh, tentacle attack against Trinket. We die in the epilogue. He's biting at it currently. That is a 23 <laughs> to hit. Eaten by a crack that hits. All right. <laughs> Trinket takes. Oh, no. <laughs> how close am I? How close am I? How close am I? You'll be dead. 20 points of bludgeoning damage. Halved. Because of his armor. Because of his armor. And Trinket is grappled like currently. I'll be fine. Jeez. Everybody's grappled. Everybody was grappled underwater. We were all fucked. All right. As an insurance person, what are you doing? <laughs> um, you know, I'm not having any luck getting out of this thing. Uh, oh God. And I get the distinct impression that the whole point of this creature is that there's just no escaping it. Um, I'm going to start trying to cut my way out of this thing. I, I give up. I'm cutting my way out. Okay. Just as long as we don't so, kill it. No. What are you using don't to attack? Kill it. I'm going to use my long sword. All right. So attack with disadvantage. With attack with disadvantage. Uh, don't kill it. I, I can't. It's just going to. It's gonna, just a tentacle. It's not. Yeah. It's just a tentacle. Um, with the intent to leave. Oh, that's not bad. I'm sorry. I just saw um, a flash 23. in my future. That hits. Good roll damage. Um, and I don't have dragon. packs anymore, so he, that's. Uh, what if you turn us into animals now? Will that break the grapple? I could, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirteen. Okay. And another attack. All right, go for it. Mm -hmm. Disadvantage. Um, also twenty-three. That hits. Good roll damage. Uh, also thirteen. All righty. And again. Third attack with your sword with disadvantage. Uh, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight hits. Roll damage. Did you roll both sixteen? Yes, they're both sixteen. They're both sixteen. I know. A metaphor. Oh, uh, that's good. Yeah, uh, fifteen. <gasps> fifteen. With that, you manage to finally drop it, cut drop through it, the tentacle. It. It's it tears open. You can see like the kind of dark purple blood kind of begin to cloud around the area as you feel yourself freed from the tentacle's grasp. <gasps> so that's your action. I am booking towards the big red. Uh, the the uh, the, 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 the big red guard. Of the the, the other way? No, no, no. The the other way. I'm Sorry. booking that way. One Sorry, one this one this ten. thing looks very. Oh wait, wait, wait! <laughs> this looks very red to us. Yeah. This thing. Oh, and it's not red. Oh, that's not. Oh, red. that's so it's weird. It's not red, but on camera on it looks very, very red. red to us. So this you're heading thing. this way. Uh, I'm heading <coughs> the opposite direction of that fucking nightmare monstrosity. This way. Yes. Okay, you can move. Five, ten. I'm gonna get behind that that boulder and hide if Here? possible. All yeah. right. Okay. Uh, well, you, bonus action to hide or no? Well, it's a bonus action for rogues to hide. Oh, um, so for my bonus action, so I just is, is, is minor illusion <laughs> a bonus action or not? I'm pretty sure minor illusion is an action. It's a major it's an action. action. I, I can't remember. I've done it in so long, and I'm feeling so useless. Um, yeah, I'm. Uh, Welcome to fighting a kraken, buddy. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use a um a, 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 I have a, a a heal. I'm gonna heal. Uh, I'll use my bonus action to heal. Selfish. Okay, go for it. One d10 plus twelve. What is a d10? So, that's not bad. Uh, uh, that's, okay, 18 points. Okay, good, I get 18 points back, yay. Okay, there you go. At the end of your turn, Percival. At the end of your turn, Percival, it's gonna use its third final legendary action to attempt to hit you with a tentacle. That is 21 to hit. Yeah, it hits. All right. You take 11. Oh, you're so 10. grappled again. 26 points of bludgeoning damage. Oof. And you are grappled once more. <laughs> 26 <laughs> points of bludgeoning damage. Yeah. He's paying our entire action getting away from him. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fine. This piece of shit. I love it. Is that your turn? Kraken shit. All right. Top of the Kraken's Fuck turn. This. Rog? Yeah. The acid from the interior of the uh, Kraken oh begins to begin to 
slowly pull around you and you feel your flesh on the exterior begin to just singe and burn oh, and geez. melt away. Uh, that's a lot of dice. I'm gonna go ahead and use the oh, God. 64 the app here. <gasps> oh my God, is it like being in lava? I'm sure it ain't great. I'm sure it ain't like being in a fucking spa. That is no, 45 well. points of acid damage. Okay. Mm-hmm. Gulp. Gulp. All right. And so, turning around, Whoa. the Kraken's going to make its way back. Oh, no, Trinket. Oh, no. <laughs> Trinket is left you know. this way. It's going to swim past Shit. to there. Uh, Damn it. My, okay, hang on. My con- my control water spell has a concentration, and I create a current Nobody. Nobody Correct. in a direction for like several minutes. I agree. And my, and my yes. shark gets The Kraken has an ability called freedom of movement. The Kraken ignores difficult terrain, and magical effects can't reduce its speed or cause it to be restrained. Well, that's just great. <laughs> what about that's my shark? Wonderful. Does it get an attack of opportunity? Your shark uh, does, yes. <laughs> As does shrink it, technically. This little it my spirit animal. Mother <laughs> The dungeon master is oh! giddy Sorry. tonight. Well, you do I get advantage, right, on it? Uh, from the shark? Yeah. Yes, you do. Trinket has disadvantage. Okay. 16 plus 6 is 22! 22 from the shark, nice. Yeah. Ooh, it's because we dreamed as pirates. <laughs> we fought dragon. Artie, and disadvantage for Trinket? Oh, uh, well, we could kill the dragon. Which dragon? Uh, 14 for Trinket. Trinket, unfortunately, it's his claws strike against the back of his armor as it passes past. No effect. All right, so is the crap. Do I roll for the damage of the shark? Uh, yes. Oh, that wasn't the damage it did. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah, no, that was just That the... was a hit. So, yeah, roll damage for the shark. To, to space. Just to the world. Uh, like 20, crackage. no, 13. 13 points of damage from the shark. Nice. Yeah. All right, so the shark bites and, you know, watches it tears away and makes its way over towards the grappled Keyleth. Its jaws open with its beaked mouth. There's no room for anything hey, else. Hey, don't eat my is... girlfriend. I just 24 to hit? Yeah, yep. I mean, yeah. Oh, no. All right. Does it ever not hit? Oh no. That is. Oh no. Am I about to be swallowed yes. by a frog? Twenty-two points of piercing damage. Okay. And Keyleth, you are swallowed <gasps> by the kraken. Seven minutes in kraken. <laughs> you can do something from the inside. Twenty-two points, you said. Whoever yes. like actually succeeded in changing anything from the inside. Let's be honest here. Oh. It's just, it's just you let's become part get, of it. Let's not get part of the system. So seven. <laughs> so, <laughs> just know that somehow this is a metaphor. Forty-eight. Points. Don't know what for. Oh, right, for what? Yeah, yeah, this one's crazy. This is do I do I see around. Grog? You see nothing. It is black, blind darkness on the inside, and it's not a dark vision blindness. It is folds of internal muscle tightening flesh across your entire body. So not only is there no light, but there's no room to actually see anything, even with your dark vision. Can I use like a like free action to be like, Grog, I'm in the Kraken. Is a free action? You scream into it, going Grog ah! as you're being devoured. Sure. Ew. All right, then it's the Kraken's turn. Grog, you're up. Right. Can I, like, reach around? Do I feel any, like, dangly bits or, like, something I might be able to yank on? Or, like, Or is hands? it just smooth? I know I'm like this, but... You're unable to really feel around. You're, you're holding your hammer here, and the whole thing is, like, squeezing against you, and the muscles are pulling and tense. Um, There's no way that I could, like... Try and push out with my legs to try and pull something out of the bag of holding. Is there? It's too tight for that. Well, what are you trying to pull out? Maybe the alchemy jug. You could probably pull the alchemy yeah. jug out if you wanted to. Yeah. I'll pull out the alchemy jug. All right. You force it out, and you're holding it in the inside. And I get super fucking wasted. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I look inside of it and I say, oil. Okay. The jug now produces a bunch of oil. Yeah. It begins to like fill up on the inside of the jug. Because you know, sea like, creatures so like if oil. If you swallow like cod liver oil, yeah, it makes you vomit. Oil. Yeah. yeah. Unless you're a cod. Greases you up. <laughs> or a kraken. <laughs> All right, so you produce a bunch of oil for your action inside the jug. Yep. Is that your turn? <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, that brings us to Tyrion. Tyrion, <laughs> you just watched Keyleth. Your the the pinnacle of leadership, the guiding force in this whole adventure, gets swallowed by this terrible, 
writhing sea monster. She must it must be part of the plan. You all, you're all seasoned veterans, right? This is all part of the plan, right? <laughs> 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 oh, no, I made a horrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Calgo, take me away! Uh, oh my God! What are you doing, Tyrion? Uh, well, I saw, I saw him, I saw Percy cut his way out of the tentacle, so I'm gonna try to do the same. Okay. Probably good idea. Um, but I need, like, I can move my hands, right? You can. You're just any attacks are at disadvantage, and you can't move. Okay. Then I will take. I will reach into my magic bag and pull out a, a vial of acid and slam it down on the tentacle and see if I can burn through the tentacle. Okay, go ahead and make a, this would technically be a melee or ranged, we'll say because it's so close. So roll roll d20 twice with the dis disadvantage, so. <laughs> oh! What, what, what? Oh, 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 terrible. Uh, so with, with your attack bonus for the uh, yeah, the attack twelve. Bonus, well, do you just well, release that? With you tears? you reach and you pull it out, and as you go to throw it, it tenses once and it just <laughs> floats away oh, no. before it slowly sinks into the sand and, goes, and rests there. It doesn't even impact. Retrievable. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh, and then as my bonus action, I will say to Percy. Percival, take this down. <laughs> I, Terry and Darrington, being of sound mind and body, hereby do not leave my belongings to anyone, but prefer to be buried with them. I'm going to gaze at him <laughs> as one, as a professional gazer. I'm going to gaze at Terry and just and just you allow you. my head wound to just bleed out. <laughs> you channel Brazio and stare at him to give him disapproval with wordless. Okay. <laughs> I hate you. That ends your turn, Terry, I believe. <laughs> All right, Vax, you're up. Okay, uh, I've just gone down, whiter. My face has gone whiter than it has since I became a paladin of the fucking Raven Queen, <laughs> seeing Kila get swallowed up. But I'm going to trust that Grog in, and she are going to get themselves out of there, and I'm going to look to where Keyleth uh, pointed and try to uh, and, and try to see a lump or something. In the sand. Okay, make an investigation check. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. We're on 18. 18. Uh, 18, yeah. 18. Reliable town. Okay, you just get to this part of the sand and start sifting through, and it's causing this cloud, and you hear like <laughs> the water just being rapidly whipped through and cut behind you from the rapidly moving tentacles. Uh, as you pull through, you just begin with your action to uncover what looks to be the very peaking <gasps> top. Of the final lodestone. Is that one action? Because I have an action and a bonus action, so I'll just do as much as I fucking can to dig this. Bonus action is a weapon attack, so you managed to. I'm, I'm hasted. Uh, the, oh, the hasted action is only a weapon attack. Correct. Okay. Fucking hell. Dig, 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 dig. Hey man, you're making progress. I can't progress. do anything. I can't, I can't do anything. Um, you're a one sauce right now, brother. You're, you're, you're so doing good. all the good things. You're so good. Can you use a bonus to help anyone? No, I mean I'm on concentration for the bless, and they're both in there, and they no, probably you're fucking great. need it. You're great. You're hot. You're great. You're good. You're warm. I'm you're done. Finding that stone. I'm done. I'm done. All right, that ends your turn. Dig, 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 End of your turn. It's going to lose the, use legendary Hi. action to attempt Hi. to Hi. hit you with a tentacle. Yeah. Please miss. That is a twenty-eight to hit. Damn it, damn. All right. Shit. Twenty-two. No, nope, it hits me. Yep. That is. Oh, uh, hold on. Me too. What's 28 to hit? Nah, I wouldn't hit 28. Never mind. Because okay. I'm blessed, but it's not enough. 28 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, are... Uncanny dodge? Okay, so reduce that by 14. half. So that's 14. Okay. And you are grappled. Oh, good. As the tentacle wraps around you. Does it have a limited number of tentacles? Uh, currently now, nine. Okay. <clears throat> nine tentacles. Yes. More than us. It had 10. But it, but it, ten. No, it has if we if we keep us. playing, it may have eight, then seven, then six. That um, might possibly I be guess. an option. Or it might just swallow all of us. More and than us. And then we plane shift from the inside of the Kraken, and everything's okie dokie. Which I have plane shipped if all goes terribly wrong. But we all have to be holding hands, don't That's we? That's true. <laughs> just you and me, Liv. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Is Gorg so, and Keyleth show? I would it's Vax's turn. Oh. Keyleth, you're up. Shit. Okay. Grog! Oh, jeez, I'm right fucking here. Grog! Yes, and I reach it out. Sucks. He's saying, do I feel him? Uh, we'll say that you're just, as the muscles squeeze you deeper in its body, you kind of oh. slam into it. It feels like a hard bottom oh. boot. Hey. Come on. Oh. <laughs> I still have control water as an act. As uh, we'll a actually make a, constitution, make a constitution saving throw because you were damaged by the piercing maw, which is, yep, this, we'll you're say, not wrong. 24. So mm, go ahead and compare what the number was. We'll go with that. Mark Holmes. Concentration. Which you have advantage on because of your Warcaster. Which I have advantage. Oh, I'm a Warcaster. That was a 16. No, I'll take with that. 16. What did. Concent- what? Constitution saving throw. Okay. Uh, 22. Okay, so you maintain concentration. Okay. And I find Grog. You do. And I have control water. Yeah. Is it watery in this? No, it is muscles tensing and a thin layer of acid. And oil. And oil is inside the jug. Oh, you didn't pour it. Isn't just, is it not just floating amniotic like water in this esophagus? No, that's what he just said. There's Currently, no you're, not, you're in the stomach, not the esophagus. Oh, uh, anatomy. No water though. <laughs> I can't like jettison myself out of this guy's mouth. Uh, All right. We, you can spend your action to try. Okay. No, that's you fine. Know, there's options. There's not a lot of water in this space right okay. now. It's mostly like actual stomach acid from the creature and the muscles that are tensing around. We have oil, chest. right? Yeah. yeah. I tell Grog, I say, hold on. And I cast a fireball right in front of us to try and jettison oh ourselves out. I'm a big fan With of this. my spire. Yeah. I'm a big fan. That's With awesome. my spire of complex, I go, <laughs> and try and give this motherfucker the worst heartburn he's ever experienced. Yeah, get your Zantac 75 you put, you, now, okay. bitch. Okay. You put I that cracking on Hot Pepper I, Gaming. I need you both to make dexterity <laughs> saving throws uh, at disadvantage. 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 He's gonna shoot out some watery I have advantage on them, so I just want to load liquid. Okay. Jackpot. Jackpot. You have to make a dexterity, dexterity saving throw. Eleven. All right. Uh, oh wait, wait, wait. I'm making his dex save. Yeah. 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 Disadvantage. With disadvantage. At disadvantage. You are restrained. Thirteen. Come on, girl. At disadvantage. Yep. That was an eight, right? Plus dex, which is five, so plus, thir- plus best, plus blessed, <gasps> plus blessed. Hashtag. Hashtag blessed. blessed. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Plus thirteen, so that's um eighteen. What's the DC on the spell for your staff? A million. Uh, it it doesn't say. So it'd be your spell DC, which no. is <laughs> which is uh, uh twenty. No. If I'm fully equipped. Yes, yeah, so you do not make your save. Your spell's too powerful. It's so go ahead and roll damage. On myself. Damage? Oh, like a, like oh. a 13. Yeah. So, so go That's ahead and roll. Fine. So 8d6 damage to you, you, and the Kraken. Usually, if a creature's fully submerged in water, it has damage resistance because of the water around it. However, the spell is inside of it, so I will say that it does not get the fire resistance. The, I, the irony, if you kill I do have fire Kraken, resistance, so I'm okay. Easy. I'm excited so about that. You take half damage. No, yeah. no, no. no. Oh my god, yeah, I would be awesome. exceedingly angry. We will if save I have the Kraken. To, uh, we will save the Kraken. If you knock yourself Terrible. unconscious with your own fireball. I don't care about that. I care more about the Kraken. I promise I will leave you This is my life's work. Literally, it gives the life, life's work. Oh, wow. Okay. Five, there. six, seven, eight, nine, plus four, which is 13, plus another six, which is 16. 19 and a 6, which is 25. 25. 25 was what you needed to force it to make a constitution saving throw. 25 exactly? Well, Ooh. based on the circumstances, wow. I, have, I have the damage required for it to make a saving throw to regurgitate. However, Ooh. a fireball Three, four, explosion five, six, seven, based on the. 8, I'm sorry. You, should, you said 8d6. Yes. yes. It's actually 29 points. 29 points. All right. So, as the fire Please don't as the, kill this No, thing. as the fireball explodes, the oil that you created inside ignites and also yes. detonates. Um How can we turn? Roll d20 for the strength of the jug. <gasps> Who? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. The jug. Oh, no. Oh, the jug. Oh, that's good. 15. Okay, the jug withstands the force of the, of the blow. <laughs> good jug. The jug, good however, jug. detonates. 
Yeah! Oh. I oh, love no. I love everything that's, that's happening. Extra damage yeah. to you, groggy pants. For an additional <laughs> eighteen <laughs> points of fire damage to both of you, oh, and the kraken to have yes, and the kraken. Eighteen points uh, that I can deal with. Plus twenty five. Wait, plus twenty five. This is on top of what you did. So thirteen. So twenty five plus nine. eighteen, which Correct. is what? That would be forty three. Forty three points oh, of damage. You're so alive. It's twenty two to me. I'm yes. alive. You should do. Uh, you should take it. Fucking roll the natural quickly. one. Did you? Oh! I'm not even joking. On its uh, Constitution, it's a DC 25 Constitution saving throw, even if it's plus 15 with a natural one. Wow. Uh, yeah. As a, it bursts inside. You watch the eyes bulge in the outside of this crack, and as suddenly, it vomits out a burst of smoke, uh, dark, kind of bloody water, acid, yeah. and. Both Keyleth and Grog are jettisoned out of the front of the Kraken's mouth. What is the chances it dropped any of us while all this happened? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Goddamn it. <laughs> so, no, right. Everybody on the ass. Everyone on the outside just goes. It's <laughs> kind of what I was expecting, I, to be uh, magnificently yeah. frank. I see him vomit and I'm like, you and me both, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you need elements. Do I still have a bonus action? You would, yes. I'm gonna cast Healing Word at myself. Okay. At second level. A second level. Go for it. Sorry. It's too. Because I'm hurting. Don't forget to have your wild shape forms too. Oh, I know. All right. That ends your turn, Keyleth. Four, five, plus six. Yep, yeah, that ends my turn. All right. Can you ah. Uh, secondary, legendary action to go ahead, and as soon as you guys emerge, one of his tentacles wraps out in your direction, Keyleth. That's a 16 plus 18, yeah, that hits you, like it's a 32. So as soon as you emerge, you look around, one of the tentacles wraps around you, and you take 19 points of legendary damage. Oh, God! And you are so grappled, grappled by the tentacle. 19 points. Oh, that's what just... Down to? Seven points. Wow. All right. Uh, that brings us to the next layer action. God damn it. Everything is still obscured in this black, oh, inky space, by the way. Um, oh, you guys missed that while you were away. The the uh, the Kraken cra did an ink jet and filled this entire 60 foot radius with ink. And so the whole area is like, drastically obscured. Even though there's my control water current going oh, outward. Gosh. Oh. Which lasts for 10 minutes. Ooh. Well, it lasts for 10 minutes while you're concentrating. Would you maintain concentration? I haven't broke concentration. That's I true. saved for it. We'll save right now. I already saved for it when I was inside of him. Right, but I you can just save take damage again. from the uh, from the tentacle. The tentacle. However, right. you are correct. The control water jet did clear out the ink from this That's area. Great. It's not terrible. My wisdom. 19. It's not wisdom plus constitution. Not as good. Bless. Plus bless, which is good. Wait, what was that? Three. That was three. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Three. Uh, okay. Sorry, constitution. Constitution. Uh, 16. Yeah, 16. That's, that's enough. So you maintain concentration. So yeah. So you've now cleared Jeez, out this, se this section here is now cleared out of ink. You control water. The the stream that you're doing is clearing out the ink in this area. So slowest yeah. math. Gil. I know. Gil bought us Kraken. <laughs> All right. Blame so. Gil. Kraken for a Kraken. Don't fuck me, Gil. All right. At this point, as it is now the twenty count on the layer action, the Kraken once again gives another pulse of electrical energy to everything in the area. Everybody, go ahead and make a Constitution saving throw. Twenty-five. All right, five points of lightning damage. Clear killer, not great. 18. 18, you take uh, 10 points of lightning damage. Keila? Seven. 10 points of lightning <coughs> damage. And she's out. Uh, 19. I'm unconscious. Death Walker's ward. So, five points of lightning damage. Keila is unconscious. Just barely. 16 for me. 10 points of lightning damage. Rob? 14 for Trinket. Uh, it was a 15, but I have resisted, so. So, five points of lightning damage. And Trinket was what? Uh, he gets 10 points. As 10 well. points, okay. What so to... Keyleth goes unconscious. You watch as he just gets jettisoned out. The lightning streaks through her, and her eyes darken, and she kind of falls limp in the water at the moment Fuck. as the tentacle begins to slowly draw her back towards its maw. Oh. All right. Damn it. Vex, you're up. 
Okay, what would I have I'm gonna to roll I'm gonna to keep roll. moving towards the lodestone and my brother. Okay. I see where it came out. That's right? as close as you get it's right there in this position. So can I use my uh my can I get it out of the water and put it in my bag of holding? Yeah, you spend your action to free it and you get it out of the water and put it into the bag. That's all three, right? Wait, so you have a bag of holding? I have a bag of colding. Colding. Okay, yeah, you can put it in there. You have enough space. Three? So put it in there. We've got all three. We have all three. You have all three yeah. lodestones currently. Okay. Is Keyleth We're all going to die, but we have three lodestones doing it. Is Keyleth still grappled while unconscious? Correct. Yes. Shit. Um, and I guess for, God, for my bonus action. Can I? S- I don't know what to do. Um, I'm gonna have while I'm thinking about this. I'm gonna have the shark attack him. Because it's shark week. Okay, so the shark was shark can bite tentacles. Shark's gonna bite the tentacle that's holding on to. Who's that right in front of him? Percy. Yes. No. Right in front of. Him. Right there. This person. This is. Uh, this is Tarion. He's gonna swim towards Percy. <laughs> Wait, friendly shark, come back! Okay. And bite of the tentacle to help free Percy. All right, go for it. <laughs> and he gets advantage. Correct. Awesome. Same thing, both times. Uh, oh, shark ally! 15 on 15, the tentacle? 15, unfortunately, it's, just, it's gnawing at it, but it's not quite breaking through. It's a tough hide. Okay. Um, just. I look at my brother and say, can you get out of this? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, I swim back and use my bonus action to try to hide. All right, so you swim backward this way? Yeah. How far? Uh, Which towards direction? towards the rock, towards, towards the rock here. Yeah. That's about as far as you can get unfortunately. Well, I try to well, hide. Well, you have all yourself on you, right? So you can. <coughs> yeah. That's let's see. So, so, that, we'll say that's as far as you can get. No reason to hide. You're still out in the open. You don't have anything to hide behind, unfortunately. Can I sit um, on the ground? I want to sit on the ground and like wrap my cloak around me and make myself look like a rock. Actually, you do back up into the ink cloud, so you can. Hey. And it. Da dun da dun da dun. Does not obscure <laughs> the kraken, so your hide sh- you cannot hide. You can still see you in the ink cloud. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. So did my control water? It didn't. It, this whole area is filled with ink, so you just cleared out this area here. Well then, if I can't hide from him, can I use my bonus action to do something else? Sure. Then I'm gonna have Trinket attack him. All right. Trinket on your turn moves up to the back of it. He'll he'll attack the um, the tentacle that's holding Terry. Okay. Oh, friendly bear! <laughs> 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 oh shit! Trinket's Trinket's grappled. Oh, Trinket can't move. You're right. Trinket's gonna attack the tentacle that's holding him. Yeah, Trinket can't move. You're right. Never Maybe. mind, friendly bear. <laughs> <laughs> Two 19s, and that's a critical for Trinket. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Oh. yeah, Trinket! Okay. It's, you know. Aren't you unconscious? Trinket's 10. <laughs> 10 points of damage. <laughs> Trinket just kind of tears with his jaws into the side of the snowball. Did he get <clears> out? <throat> no, I did not. Damn it. I'm sorry. All right, that ends your go, Vex. Uh, at the end of your turns, can use his third and final legendary action to go ahead and attempt. Let me see. Fuck, man. It's going to attempt to make a bash attack against Percival and. Huh. Percival and Vax. Which pushes you two together. Oof. There's no All way right. to escape it, it just. Whack! Slams you both together. You take 13 points of bludgeoning damage, both okay. of you. All righty, that ends uh, end of that. Percival, you're up. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Um, hmm? I know, she's making us feel really guilty right now. I very little I can do other than hack away at this thing right now, so I'm going to try and hack away at this tentacle and see okay. if I can get out. Uh, disadvantage, correct? Yep. God, I'm really not enjoying this. Um, that's a 17. 17 does not hit. The first one, you can't quite get your arms free, and as you swing, it just barely carves like a centimeter into the creature's flesh. 
Um, 19? 19 hits, go to roll damage. I know that natural 20 is just going to waste. It's so close, I know. Um, that's, uh, that's good though. 13. 13 yeah. points of damage already. And I'll take another one. That's not going to roll well. There we go. My third hit is uh, 16. 16 does not hit, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to burn my action surge, and I'm going okay. to I'm going to um, take the altar self. Okay. Uh, that was the altar. That that coin you gave me is it's an action to do so. Yeah. But but it's what does it give me? It gives me just just full movement. Gills and full movement. It allows you to alter yourself based on what you choose, which is give you gills and fins. Yeah, in this circumstance, the best bet you want to have is gills and hand gills fins. And so you fins. can swim at your full movement speed within oh. moderation. Yeah, I shall burn my action surge for that. Okay, so your altar self is in, um, and I've. Oh God, I just right. This is new. I don't have my. I'm going to go find my healing potions and find out what I have. But I. Okay. I'll do that. Uh, I'll do that later. Yeah. Mo mo moving right along. Okay. That ends your turn, Percy. Yeah. All right. That brings us to the Kraken. His legendary actions return. Fuck. Uh, the Kraken. Is going to shift around and up and over there. So we'll say for the purposes of this. Badly. Does the shark get an attack? Is the kraken an animal? Yeah. Uh, not quite. No. It's a monster. Also. It's going to curl up over the top there. Uh, so Trinket does get an attack opportunity. And does Grog? Uh, no, because it, it just moves into the space between you and Keely. Okay. Does uh, the shark attack? The shark, uh, the shark was not. Uh, now, he's grappled. Trinket's gets grappled. Still gets the yeah. attack. So yeah, the shark was attacking uh, Percy's tentacle, so it was not in reach for it to attack the actual creature. Was Trinket within range for it? Trinket was not. No. So already moved before into because Trinket was grappled before it could get into space with it. Oh um, all right, it is going to. <laughs> it's going to use lightning storm. So I need to see four <laughs> bolts of lightning. That's, That's going to be against. Oh uh, fuck! Three feet. That's going to be Vex, Tarion, Percival, and we'll say Vex. Take thirty seven throws, guys. Said something earlier about dexterity saving throws at disadvantage. <laughs> at disadvantage? Yes. <laughs> Not if we're if only if you're grappled. Uh, if you're grappled. Yeah. Five. Okay. Fifteen. Sixteen. Twenty-nine. Okay, so hold on was that five? Yes. Twenty-five points lightning damage. <laughs> Percival. Fifteen. Twenty-five points lightning damage. <laughs> 16 in Death Walker's War. So 25 reduced to half. Put that at tw uh, 13. Okay. What's that damage? 29. 29. You take <coughs> uh, 13 points lightning damage. Oh, and if I fail deck saves, it's half damage. So it's quarter, I'm getting quarter damage right now. Mm -hmm. Well, you have evasion, so if you fail, if it's half, you do nothing. If it's, if I succeed, it's nothing. If I fail, it's grappled. half. Oh, you failed, so it's half. So yes, you would Plus take death walk. You're right. So I got down confused. So yes. <laughs> so half that as well. All right. That ends the Kraken's turn. Grog, you're up. Ha! Ha! Am I with near Keyleth? You're right next to Keyleth. You guys hey! are into the same place. I'm gonna use my action to shove a greater healing potion in your stupid unconscious mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is 4d4 plus 4. Yes. I roll that? Yes, you do. Four. Do you want some more d4? <laughs> no. Okay. 4d4. Great. Yeah. yeah. 4. Six. 8. 12. Healing points? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Welcome back. So you That's get 12. Full 12. With Grog, you still have your bonus action. You're frenzied, and you have your movement. I do. I want to. Um, I want to doop, 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 like Mario in the Water World, and I want to go up on top of the Kraken's face, mm -hmm. and I want to 
punch him in his stupid big eyeball with the dwarven thrower. Okay, so you come up onto the actual yep. <laughs> Sweet. Kraken. Okay. You madman, I love it. We'll say you're right there for the purposes of this one. Okay. So go make your attack against the Kraken. Reckless. So just a single roll? Yep. 28. 28 hits, roll damage. Eyeball death. That's good. 10, <coughs> 25, 25. 35 points 20, 25. 25 points of damage. As he just whack bash it in the side of his face. The eyeball took it pretty well, man. Jeez. They're tough. Yeah. Those eyeballs are hard. <laughs> All right, then it's your turn, Grog. It does. All right, Terry. I mean, we're just trying to leave at this point. Yeah, right? yeah we're, yeah. we're, 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 we're trying booking. to get away. We're yeah. So I will I once again try my acid trick, and, and this time try to hit it. And pull pull another bottle out and smash it on the tentacle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where'd it go? That's shitty. So I'll use luck. All right. Ooh, better. It's better. Twenty. Twenty does hit. Roll damage. Yay! It's seventy-six. Right. Whoa. Mm. Twenty-two. Twenty-two points of damage. As you slam it and then go <laughs> begins to dissolve it. It's not enough to break free, but it's fairly hurt. It's still holding on to you. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, I, for my bonus action, I will just say, Oh, friendly shark! <laughs> I, could, I could use a bite over here! My animal handling is negative one, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. All right, Terry, it's your turn. Vax, you're up. Okay, I take Whisper out, and I'm throwing it at the ground, 10 feet away from me, right next to Keyleth on the ground, and bamfing out of its tentacle to it. Okay. Uh, go ahead and we'll attack disadvantage, just to um, see if it doesn't get caught in the water and float okay. away. 23. 23, yeah, it's just enough strength for you to chuck it, it hits the sand right next to her, and poof, you are no longer restrained. Okay. Yeah. yeah! What a clutch next fucking to vestige. Plus, Grog is wailing on its head, so I'm going to sneak attack the tentacle that's holding Keyleth, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'll let it. So here we go. I am wailing on its head. Okay. <laughs> right now, somewhere in the world, Scanlan is eating a, uh, like calamari and going. It's a little bit Basically, of a yes. Bleed, yeah. Not sure why. Oh. Yeah. It's mm. weird. Mm. It's a little acidy. It would have been great if Scanlon would have been here just to like dominate creature. 30, 34. 34? Yeah. I'll add okay. inspiration. With that, the tentacle holding Keyleth is torn asunder. You, using your dagger, just cut her free, and the Rip. cloud of blood left behind. Uh, just withdraws. She is free. Okay, and Eight. I will. Uh, I can't be, use a bonus action to pull her, right? That's too much. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. I will use a bonus action to stand over and in front of her. Done. So brave. Okay, there you go. All right, that brings us to Waterwing. Keyleth. Keyleth, you are freed from the tentacle and you are conscious, but up above you, as you're looking up in the space, you can see the giant kraken, maybe you know, ten. 15 feet away from you, Grog is slamming it inside of the head, and Vax is right there looking over you right now. I'm, I, yeah, I'm just like a poodle over a pool right now, just doggy paddling instinctually. Um, <laughs> do we have the lodestones? Do we have yes, them all? Yes, <laughs> yes. Get us back! Fucking you are out, stones. Yeah. And I do animal shapes. <clears throat> and I turn. Two animals mostly. All of us True. to. Um, who's grappled? A lot of us, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Trinket, um, Tarion, and Percy currently are grappled. I'm going to turn us into like little. Um, Little electric eels. <laughs> Maybe it's because we made that joke earlier. I don't know. Because and then okay, is that bad? No, is that bad? What do you want to do? Krill. Well, I just want something that's gonna swim fast, and then we and all like slip swim out of his grasp. and we <laughs> slip out of his grasp and swim to the portal. To the portal, Super and we go. Kids. 
know if we have rules for eels. There's, uh, water, there's a water snake in there that you could There use. is a water snake, Ooh. which is kind of what I'm I basing think. this we'll off, use off that. of. The giant constrictor <laughs> snake. He loves <laughs> looking up animals. Has right. blind sight. What's the speed? Uh, uh, they can swim really fast. I know because I almost I tried to turn into one when we were in the in the dragon. You do. They have like no, that's, 40, that's they have like a forty a swimming snake. speed or something. Like that. You're saying a giant constrictor snake has a swim speed of thirty feet. It's the same speed as. What normal? normal? I don't want to be a giant constrictor. No, snake. it would be we a normal ones, or like, like it, it would things. be a swimming creature though. What, what's this? What's the speed for a swimming creature? Make a choice, Keyleth. Okay. 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 Most snakes Shh. are at a thirty foot swim speed. Most are a hunter shark is at a forty swim see, swim speed. Killer whale is at a sixty foot swim speed. Then make speed. us killer whales. No, no, no. But they're no? bigger. They're bigger motherfuckers. So can we do like a, a giant eel that's got a swim speed of forty Dolphins. feet? Young sea serpent to <clears throat> swim sixty feet. Ooh oh. yeah, that. Ooh. I want to be that. Young serpent. sea serpent. I don't know what that is. Help me, Cecil. Help. Oh no, that's huge. It's a huge monstrosity. Coming, she can't do that. Boy. Monstrosity cannot you do can't that. that. You can't do that. No. What are you doing? Killer whale. Uh, man. Killer whale. Look, I'm bound by what the player's handbook gave me. Let's go me, whale. So I'll go. <laughs> so these are creatures that you would know. Ah, uh, fuck. Whales are fucking big, though. Yeah. Yeah. Whales are big. Yeah. So I'll be. Eels with a, a swim speed of 40 feet? So we can slip out? What creature are you choosing, is my question. Well, it was Just going off of a snake speed. A snake? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I, I, you need to pick a creature. You can't make up statistics here. Let me see here. So. What are you reading? What are you reading? Marisha. The okay. giant straight snake is, is a land. It's a land snake. That's the problem. It's a land snake. Let's, let's not do land. Go whale. Let's get the fuck out of here. Go whale. Okay. No, Whales are sixty feet. Us. Sharks so are forty us. feet. Most That's snakes. A most snakes I've seen in here are thirty foot swim speed. Then I so. think snake is probably better to wriggle out though. That's the thing. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I, he's going to be able to hold whales maybe. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll be just do whatever you want. Snakes. But Giramente. more possibly, Giramente. 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 What are you doing? You're casting your spell, Jaramente. What, what are you choosing? Ah, Kill it. What's the form? We're gonna be eels. That's what I said at first. Eels. So we'll go eels. thirty eels. swim. Eels. But All right. So we'll say eels. Horse. We're using the statistics for a snake. I'm gonna use the statistics <laughs> sure. for a snake, but swim speed. Fuck! I'm trying to be elusive here. <laughs> All right. Fuck. So I whatever. Fine. <laughs> we'll do it live! You are do it all live. water snakes. Your majestic 10 hit point forms as water snakes. You all suddenly transform into these tiny snakes. Go, 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 go! We'll say for the current purposes of this, until it comes to the Kraken's turn, everyone who is currently grappled is not grappled because you are a smaller form. Until the Kraken's turn. Oh. So oh we'll have to see whose turn order is what. And we all just book it. All right. Double so. movement. That brings us next to the initiative counter 20. So, I need all of you guys as snakes to make constitution saving throws. <laughs> we're all just gonna bam back to Matt. Pitteries, hey, we're on grapple. We're I don't know what that is. You know. <laughs> Wait, electric eels? Hey, hey, they're electric eels. Okay. And we still are blessed, right? Yeah, uh, we're so uh, blessed. Constitution you saving throw? You did choose electric eels. Oh. Okay, which, that went off the rails. Which? That's not bad. Ah! Okay, okay. No, hold on. Hold on. That has <laughs> to be a mean man. What are we doing? <laughs> I know. Because you chose eels. Swinging it. The electricity has no effect. <laughs> oh! Matt hates everything right now. <laughs> Weirdly. What? This worked in your advantage for the twenty initiative count. Oh, so as the as the pulse you. of energy shoots out from the kraken, it shocks around and through all of you. But your physical eel forms take no damage Feels as good. you're used to conducting energy. Ah, sweet. Vex, yeah. Can't stop your the eel demon. turn. As an eel, I'm gonna swim. <laughs> I'm gonna swim around the big brown rock, away right. from the kraken, towards the door. 30, and you're gonna use your action to dash as well? Yes. <laughs> That's as far as you can get. All right, 
Finishing Vex's turn. Uh, alrighty. <laughs> I feel like I'm just leaving everybody behind. Oh, and Trinket's gonna do the same no, thing. No, run, 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 but run, run. Get out, get out, get out. And. That's as far as Trinket can get and there. He can he use his double action to do the same thing. He doesn't have a double action. He just kidding. Moves in your turn. But I am gonna make my shark attack him. <laughs> the shark's gonna just swim up in his face. All right. Like what yeah, is He's gonna happening? swim up in his eyeball <coughs> and like just be like, look, look at Roll me. Roll attack I'm, for your shark. I'm a shark. Who hasn't gotten punchy at the end of a long D and D game? I, man. Nothing makes sense anymore. This is real D and D. Uh, twenty one. Twenty one hits. Full damage. Yes. Okay. Good shark. Okay, that's a bite attack. That is. She went first. Um. No. Okay. Wait. Oh, that's more than that. Anyway. I figure since I'm in the twelve. I think I got a shot. Nine. All right. Twelve points of damage to the kraken. <laughs> gotcha. All righty. End of your turn. It's going to go ahead and use lightning storm, costing two of its actions. It's going to focus this on Tarion. Grog, and because it, you were the source of its magic and it is horribly frustrated, it's Keyleth. I need the three of you guys. Mm. Oh, fuck, he's lightning storm. It's not, you're all eels. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, no. Electric eels. We are electric eels. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. hates us. I'm, it's been a long week and I keep forgetting that fucking shit. This is the Winnie the Pooh shit. of, of Kraken. Okay. <laughs> just trying its mild calisthenics. All right, so it creates a lightning storm nice to that us. strikes you guys. <laughs> he was just being nice. And it tickles. <laughs> and tired. yeah, it, it tickles your fancy a moment. That's two it's of like its legendary actions. Oh. All right, personal, it's your turn. I am going to book respect double on, speed. Respect on the electric eels Yay. that I gave you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm weirdly saving your ass right now. Idea. I'm, going to, I'm going to book through this weird little log. I'm going to, I'm going to go straight through it. Ooh, 15, yeah. 20, 25, 30. You just get out the other side, just barely seeing the eel decks ahead of you, just <laughs> swelling through. I it. wink at him with my eel eye. Don't <laughs> 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 you know what? There's like an electricity between you guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, right, right, right in the eye. Right in the eye. End of Vex's turn. It's going to use his last legendary action to attempt to make a. Uh, he throws Ten water at it. A tentacle attack <laughs> at, <laughs> at you, Vex. The one who just recently severed one of his tentacles. Yeah. That so is a 28 to hit. Balloons. 10 plus 18. Uh, a what to hit? Well, you're 28. An oh, okay. Do I not have. Am I hasted? Do I have it still have advantage on my dex saving throws? Uh, As an eel? You, the effect is still on there, so yeah. It's a very yeah. clever eel. So it's. Because uh, I'm blessed as well. Oh, it's a 32. Yeah! Dex saving throw? But wait, no, it's, is it no, an it's eel? No, it's an attack roll. Oh, it's an attack roll. It's your oh, AC, okay. which is an eel is like 10, so you take that. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> you take physical. Uh, that is... Attributes. Yeah. 18 so what, points of bludgeoning damage. What did it roll? Sorry, 32. I thought 28. Oh, 30. that definitely hit, yeah, 28. I'm sorry. Plus yeah. you're an eel. It's so your eel AC. form is destroyed. Got it. And, uh, and you take uh, eight points of bludgeoning damage, and you are grappled. Fuck. You've got the, you've just got the dagger, though. Wait, why is this eel form destroyed? Because it was because it had almost no hit points. The lightning did nothing, but it just bludgeoned and grabbed and squeezed around the eel, and then you formed back and then just grabbed. Yeah. It's just an eel. He's got like no hit yeah, points right. as an eel. I can kill an eel. Right. Well, uh, sorry, Matt, what was All the right, hit point damage? Argue? There's so hey, much shit. No. no, thank you. No, 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 no we're no, not no, arguing. All right is not the statement of someone who's arguing. I know. All right is literally all right. Snakes have like two hit. Yeah, points. No, that's a good. <laughs> <I'm saying laughs> it's an easy snakes hit. I, like I just I, I ruled you guys have ten hit points in that form. Yeah, we're ten hit point eels. That's that's fine. That's yeah, fair. flying snake is like five hit points, so you're fine. Sure. Cool. They have flying snake. Right. Never mind. So I want to know. Uh, that ends. <laughs> All right. So that was on Percy's turn. End of that turn. Final thing. It's back to the Kraken's turn. Great. Kraken gets its legendary actions back. Did you skip me? We did turned us into eels. Yeah. I thought it was after Vax. Vax went, then you turned everyone to eels. Okay. And then it went to the Kraken. Oh, no, and, and, and then she went to the Percy Yeah. Vax so now it's the Kraken. I just. I confused you with Percy. You do. It's okay. It happens. All right. The Kraken's going to do three bash Sorry. attacks. We're both sad. It's going to be against Grog. It's going to be against Keyleth. It's going to be against Tarion. Yeah. Uh, Grog, that is 
29? Yeah. <laughs> Tarion, that is 31. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and Keyleth, that is 34. All right. So against Grog, that is 24 points of bludgeoning damage. I have to 12. You are an eel and grapple. You are out of your eel form and you're grappled. So, I mean, your eel form just goes dead and then you take, uh, what did I say again? It was 24? 24. 24. You take 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Still raging, halved to seven. Okay. Tyrion, your eel form is destroyed. Mm-hmm. Uh, that would be 22 points, so you take 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And you're grappled. Keyleth, lucky roll. That is uh, 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Mm-hmm. Your eel form is done, you're grappled, oh. and you take four points of bludgeoning damage. Eel freed itself, so now you're back up on your feet. Who's still an eel? Uh, and Neil the eel. Tarion as well. Can I make a retaliation since he. You can. Smacked me. Against Tim the Tentacle. The Tentacle. All right. Reckless. Reckless. Mm, that's good. That's a 31. That hits. Okay. 7, 22. 22 points of damage. You slam into the tentacle, and it's still holding, but it's looking severely damaged. It's starting, like, the muscles starting to tear apart. All right. Uh, Don't kill that it. brings us to Grog, your turn. Grog, your turn. It's okay, it's okay. We can bring it back. Uh, may I make my first strike a vengeance upon that stupid tentacle? Go for it. Yep. Strike lies. That was not a roll. Thirty. Thirty. <laughs> <laughs> I need some D8. One. Sixteen points of damage. Yeah, Sixteen points of damage. You slam it again. This in the tentacle tears open, and you're free. You're no longer grappled. Sweet. Who's in the tentacle next to me? You're gathering at this point, like somewhere having around thirty points of damage. To get through the tentacle. Are we? Are we? Okay, are yeah. we down three ten- tentacles now? Yeah. How many? Tentacles uh, you now are down four tentacles total. Oh, six left. Six left. Mm. Who's in the tentacle next to me? Uh, just below you, about ten feet, is Keyleth and Vax. I mosey over to the one that Keyleth is in. Alrighty. And I will smash that tentacle. Right, Keyleth, I need you to make constitution saving throw, by the way. Ooh. With advantage. Ooh! Because you took damage with the shape. Right. Sh- oh boy! Is B-shaped concentration? Oh, that's, good. that's a, that's, You're fine. that's oh, a natural oh, 20. Oh, that's a natural 20! Go ahead and roll damage for that, plus your, <laughs> so, roll, so roll the d10. Yep. Times two. Which is the nine, 18, 18. and I get a two additional damage die. Yes, minus. you do. So roll two more d10s. Okay. Uh, actually, I, I do nine plus the, the rage damage, and then I just roll this twice. Yes. Yeah, okay, so that's. Well, nine plus rage damage, the nine times two, so it's 18 plus rage damage, plus your strength modifier. You destroy the tentacle. Tentacle's dead. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Keyleth's tentacle is just smeared. Like, you, you, you slam into it and watch as the cloud of. Uh, dark purple liquid kind of goes past her face. The the blood from the kraken clears, and the tentacle just goes limp. The section that's been removed from the rest of the tendril. Not that you even need it, but I'll try and like release Vax as well. Go for it. So roll for Vax. Thirty. Thirty. Thirty-two. Yeah, it hits. Go. Seven. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. You slam into the side of uh, Vax's tentacle, bash it, bash it. It's it's starting to tear apart, but it's not enough to free him entirely. Cool. I am going to biggity buck the fat out. <laughs> All right, your movement is 50, and you have not used the altered self, you're right? No, because I don't have that. Yeah, so it's yes, you do, fun. you have a coin. Oh, but that, You haven't used, used an action yet. Yeah. No, yeah. So that's 5, 10, but that's good to know. 15, 20, 25, because your movement's 50 normally. Nice. So that's as far as you can get, just kind of swimming by, <laughs> trying to get over there. Ends your turn, Grog. Thank you. All right. Make a real good distance. And if your turn, it's going to use Lightning Storm, Ooh. two actions. It's going to hit um, Grog, Vax, and Keyleth. Need all three of you to make dexterity saving throws with uh, Vax at a disadvantage. Is this considered a spell? Nope. Okay. Are we all at disadvantage on the dex throws? No, just Vax. Okay, so I get two. Don't fuck me, Gil. 
Oh, anymore. that's not bad. That's not bad. What am I doing? That's Dex not save? Dex so the fail okay. means I take half, half. damage, Correct. plus the Deathwalker's ward, so quarter damage. Correct. So, uh, 17 for me. 20 and Tyrion as well, actually. Oh, great. Oh, wait, blessed. Blessed. Hashtag blessed, bitch. Oh. <coughs> Still? Add, add a d4. <gasps> I haven't yeah, had a constitution uh, save in a while. I mean, I'm grappled, right? right? So. Well, it's not, not a disadvantage. Oh, okay. Not great. Well, 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 wait, wait, you're restrained, you are, yes. So yes, you do it. Natural one. Yeah, so 24 oh. points lightning damage. Okay. You're awake. 21 total for me. 24 points lightning damage. I'm unconscious. Oh. Keyleth falls unconscious once more. Vax. My turn. I'm just going to repeat what I did before. Uh, no, no. What, you, you, oh. t- you take 24, so reduced to half. To a quarter. Yeah, so, so 12 points of lightning damage. Reduced yep. to a quarter, yeah. six. six. And then Grog. 19. 24 points lightning damage. Reduced to half. 12. 12. All right, so that uh, that was the end of Grog's turn. Terry, in your turn. I reach into my magic satchel, this mm-hmm. time pulling out a powerful healing potion, okay. which I drink by myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what you do all the D8s for? Mm-hmm. I could have had a D8. <laughs> 35. All right, Whoa. you have 35. Yeah. That's a major healing spell. Yeah. Give me my D8s back. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. You start your bonus action if you want to do anything. Um, Just sort of gently weep. Weep? <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, that. Yeah, just kind of. Uh, just kind of okay. weep softly. Gently. All right. I'll do, I'll do one more sanctuary on myself. That's my last spell. Sanctuary technically is still lasting because it's not concentration. It's not. Oh, well then go. Well, no, every time you attack, you lose it. You're right. I keep forgetting that. So, yes. Oh, uh, but so you, I haven't attacked him in a while. You have attacked him with acid I, I did. So, yeah. So, so sanctuary is back up. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, is it on me now? Yes. All right. Uh, is Keyleth is adjacent to me, right, on the ground? Yes, she is. Okay, so I'm going to use my first action to cast Lay on Hands and dump five hit points into her to wake her back up. Okay. Next uh, action is going to be to throw Whisper into the ground again, shunk, and bamf to it. All right. You just escape the grasp. Uh, 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 and I'm going to use bonus action to back up fucking 30, 30 feet towards, towards the big, yeah, towards the portal. All right, by the way, all your guys' forms, you refer back to your normal selves. You're no longer eels. Yeah, I kind of went unconscious. So you're backing up? Sorry. Yeah, I'm backing up. Oh, I'm, I'm, right. I'm conscious. Take it easy, champ. Yeah, you know. Take uh, you are in hasted, <laughs> hasted, so yeah, 30 feet. 30. You as just get out of the range, going to take attack of opportunity on you with tentacle. Tentacle. That is 9 plus 18, that's 27 to hit. Oh, that hits, Skills yeah. fault. Yep. You Rock say... Uh, Candy dodge. Uh, 21 points, points of bludgeoning damage. Okay, half to 10 or 11? Half to 10, and you are grappled by the tentacle. God, Jeez. mother bitch! Love America. We just gotta get out of here. I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill <laughs> this stupid sea puppy. Don't see it. Get us out of there. Get us out. Get us All out. All right. Leave it armless. Leave it alone. Keyleth, it's your turn. You come to consciousness <gasps> once more. You watch as Vax is darting off, and the tentacle wraps around him. You see Tarion pulled, but the rest of your allies are rushing off in the distance. We and have all the load zones, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> all load are you getting hit in the head? Yes, I literally have. <laughs> Fuck. What are you doing? Um, who is closest by the portal? Uh, you can't see from where you are. It's actually blocked. You just see this giant, jutting underwater structure. An ink cloud. No, no. I. Uh, there's an ink cloud. No, not anymore. That got. I, I got rid of that, right? Yeah, no, you got rid of part of it here. The ink cloud still sits in this oh. vicinity. Okay. Oh, dear God. I'm going to control water Just again. Come up. You're casting it again? Yeah, I'm casting it again. Yeah. Okay. Get out of there. Who's around me? Around you, it is Grog, it is uh, Vax, and it is Tarion. I am going to push us towards the portal. With control water, just all of you towards the portal. Yeah, control water towards the portal. All right, say twenty feet. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Is there anyone still held on by the kraken? No. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I mean, Tarion and, and Vax are still grappled by it, and this the kraken gets moved <laughs> the long ass to there. 
back. So 30 still foot grappled. range. Yeah, yeah and I just, carry. was just at the edge of its range and it's me. So you're right okay. there. Okay, I'm going to take a grasping vine. I'm going to grab Bax and yank him towards me from this. Uh, who's <laughs> got the thing? From oh. that, that one closest Why? by. Can you yank him towards you? Why? Back towards the Kraken? Why are you this trying one. to yank him towards you? You are directly you under the Kraken. You cannot see this, unfortunately. I can't see that. Can no, this I is all obscured with ink thing? right now. This the thing Can that pushed this, this way. Actually, with your control water that pushed this way, it would have cleared some of the ink in this area, but right now this whole structure is blocking you. You cannot see this rock. Can I see this red thing in This front here of me? you can. Vax okay. is right next to it. I'm going to drag him closer in. I want to I want to judge him this way. Wooden structure? Well, beyond it. The grasping vine only pulls things towards where it emanates, and since he's right next to this, it'll okay. just pull him right Terry, against the rock. Okay, Terry, where's Terry? Terry's right here as well. Just pull him into the rock. Well, bullshit I mean, all the way around. Then I just swim desperately doggy paddle towards the You portal. still have your bonus action. There's what's left. Your wild shape is five oh, hit points. Oh, yeah, that could be smart. Since so you don't go unconscious again? Whale it, dude. All right. Whale. I'll go or whale towards Not the Not to tell you what you're doing, but this is your thing, and yeah. you're at five hit points right underneath the crack and the closest to it. Where am I? You're, you're right, right here. under the crack. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> it's yeah. very hard to see from this, I will say. It is this, very this, hard this to map, see this from what this is. Yeah, we can pour a cloth and just sure. like, wake up. take what a you, big What are you shaping into? <laughs> Adrenaline. I'll go killer salt. whale. <laughs> killer whale. Yeah. All righty. I think there's some of the first aid kit in the hallway. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I stole more some last week. No, that's true. Oh my god, you actually have a mini for that one. I, I don't actually. I did not come. I remember that bag. That's I'll big, say for uh, the sake of this, for the time fine. being, this this naga will be your killer whale. Sure. <laughs> That'll work. So pretty. All righty. Oh. And all of my control water direction is towards the portal. Yes. Okay. You've cleared out some of the ink in this area. That's your turn. Sure. All righty. Top of the round. The uh, the Kraken is going to go ahead, and the water current seems to shift in the opposite direction. Um, I need each creature within 60 feet of the Kraken, which is all of you, yeah. to make oh, a strength saving throw. Yeah. Oh, God, bitch. Is that including me? Yeah, all of you. 11. 11? 23. 23, all right. Yeah! So you only get pushed 10 feet. 21. Okay. 18. 23. Ooh. But Push 10 only feet. 10 for Trinket. Okay. 22. 22 is a failure. All right, so that is 60 feet away from the Kraken for everyone who failed. What does that mean? So. We're just pushed right away? Right over here, pushed away. It's doing a big, like, <laughs> the water just <laughs> rushes through and pushes all of you away. Trinket is pushed. Who failed? 60 feet that direction. Right. Roll for the shark, if you could. <laughs> it's going to maintain the grapple on you guys. You guys are just being <laughs> yanked in that direction. Wait, does he failed? Like everyone. Everyone. Yeah. I mean, 18 is what I rolled. I don't know what I add for it. Uh, for the, yeah, so, no, that's not good. so the shark gets pushed up into that there. Um, Do I get slammed into that thing? Uh, you both, no, you no. actually, you, you do, but it doesn't do any damage. It just kind of pushes you in the tentacle, kind of holds you there. Um, keeping you grapple. It's not going to release the grapple. That acid's got to burn, burn through that at some point. Is that a continuing? It's a, or? It's a different tentacle. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> All right, so that brings us to Vex's turn. I mean, One less. do I see any of this happening as I'm just fucking swimming away? I guess my. Yeah, all the ink is now washed away to the space and everyone gets pushed away by the force of the water. Fuck! Um, I'm going to swim. Up, so I can see down over the rock. Okay, so over you swim the up rock. There, and you can just, just see characters over this way. You can see your brother there. Okay. You see the kraken, and you see everyone being pushed this way, and everything being shoved in that direction. I'm gonna try to shoot an arrow into the tentacle holding my brother. All right, go for it. Where's where the key whale go? Oh, disadvantage. Yep. Right. Same thing. Twenty-five. Twenty-five hits. Gonna hold it. Seventeen damage with four lightning, which I'm sure does nothing. Nope. 
that's enough. Your arrow goes right through, and that's the last bit of damage it needs to actually sever that tentacle. Nice. Love you. Bring him. All right. Um, and then I'm gonna. Uh, do I have any movement but to swim back down and hide as my bonus? Uh, you can certainly try. <laughs> so you land back down that way. So go ahead and roll. Breaking the line of sight just barely. Go ahead and make a high check. Uh, 22. 22, okay. And then I'm going to have my shark attack him. Okay. How many tentacles? The shark has a speed of what? 40? Uh, yeah. Yeah. 30, 35, 40. Just barely gets up into the space to hit it, so. 17 plus 9 is 26. 26 hits? Good shark. Good shark, good shark, good shark. With a bite attack. Freaking lasers. Sweet. Uh, uh, 14. 14 points of damage. Alrighty. I'm just using Trinket's stats, because that's what I had in front of me. Sure. Is that terrible? Yeah, that's fine. I'm sorry. You haven't done enough damage near enough to really threaten the uh, the Kraken yet, so you're fine. Okay. All right, ending, we'll ending, <clears throat> ending Vex's turn. No. End of the turn, it's going to use his last legendary no. action. It's going to go ahead and make a tentacle attack at you. Vex. Oh, and, and Trinket's going to swim towards the, uh, the door. That's his far as tricky you can get. Mm. Alrighty. That is a 29 to hit. Uh, shit, balls, a 28. Oh, wait, D4. I'm blessed. It's your AC. Oh, it's your it's AC. just your AC. Oh, fuck it, Doc, I thought I was doing it in a uh, deck save. Uh, then it got me. It is 18 points of bludgeoning damage. Sure. <laughs> and you are grappled. Uncanny dodge. Much. Right, so nine. Okay. And it grapples you once more with that tentacle. Okay. How many tentacles are left, like three? Five. Right. Fuck, he has they a go lot down. Of they don't. They go down fast, though. Get out. Get go. Alrighty, Percival, your turn. I am booking uh, double speed to that door because I am useless. Get out! Get out! Get I'm, out. I'm, I'm also. I've got form though, so I have full speed. What form? I'm. Uh, I've fin- 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 That's right. You did. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Go, go so, out. And you're out. You you're leap out. out. You are out. Yes. Yes. I am. I am I am holding, I am just like waiting yes, on the other end. Okay. But you made it. That's good. You That's die good. Who tells, who tells your story? Please, please no. All right. Please no. <laughs> it's too late. It already happened. It's done. Top of the Kraken's turn. Just Jeez. Tell, tell Percy. Tell Doty. It's going to move over I was here. so useless in this fight. Grappled Vax. That's not yeah. true. It's going, this giant beak no, opens no, up no. towards you. That is a. <laughs> Two plus eighteen. That is a twenty to hit. Nice. <gasps> because of the haste bonus. Yes. <laughs> oh, he does not swallow oh, you. He doesn't swallow you. Oh, I man. fucking rolled the two. Okay. Oh, um, dude. All right. Yeah, so as it goes and snaps towards you. Van Dam splits just out of the way. <laughs> uh, however. However, while you're attacked, you are restrained, so up. restrained creatures, attacks against them do have advantage. Okay. So that is a 28. See you later, guys. <gasps> you got you got swallowed? Mm-hmm. I what just realized you that says, I forgot, it says, there, as, it says until the tar- grapple ends, the target's restrained, and attacks against restrained creatures have advantage. Is that at all connected to dexterity? <laughs> no. No, okay. Sorry. Sorry. So that is... This is the, the ultimate fight of like, yes! Uh, 24, 34 points of piercing damage. Uh, I'm out. <gasps> You're unconscious inside of him? And you are swallowed. Oh, you He'll be fine. He'll be shit. fine. <laughs> this is insane. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. That is the Kraken's turn. Grog, you're up. You watch as it just swallows. Vax's eyes go limp, and the jaws just take his not moving form and <laughs> swallow it inside. Um, Does Kayla see this? Uh, you do, because you're back here. Make an intelligence check. Intelligence check. I know. Hold on, everybody. Prepare for an amazing. Natural 20. Nine. All right, what are you doing? 
I am going to attack this big, stupid sea chicken. Okay, so you... Wait, I mean... Just getting to yeah, the anyway. I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. Go for it, that's exactly the question. <sighs> yeah, uh, can I aim for one of its tentacles that is functioning? Sure, go for it. Cool. Reckless. Natural 20. Okay. Should've made it to him. I should've made it, I should've made it him. That's a wow. 10 plus 10 is 25, 25, 30, 35. 35 points of damage. You go ahead and sever one of the nearby immediate tentacles as it's like whipping around you. I'll take the next tentacle so that works. Okay. As you finish that strike, you feel this strange sense piercing into your relatively unprotected skull. It's very as unprotected. no language peeks through, but you get this very strong, angry, hungry sense, this, this emotional force that says, oh, now you've made me angry. Ew. You start realizing very quickly that this creature, while it's in like a force of nature, has been just feeding, but you've got its attention now. But in, its instinct has turned now to its intellect to reach out to its food. You've taken, you've made it angry. What are you doing with your next attack? Fuck, we shouldn't have attacked it so much. Apparently my hammer is talking to me. Reckless attack. All right. <laughs> 23. That hits. Okay. 17. 17 damage, already. Last attack. That tentacle's still fine, right? Yes, it is. It was damaged, but it's still yeah. there. All right, reckless. 31. 31 hits. 10. 25. 25. You destroy another tentacle. It has three currently remaining. One of them's around my neck. <laughs> Yeah, so one of them is on Terry, and there are two free. Correct. Okay. I am going to use my not incredible speed to just use your full speed to move up to it. I'm gonna just in so. my turn. Okay. Yep. Tyrion. <laughs> I mean, I mean. Do you have Do you have a hail mary? I mean, no. This is wow. <laughs> no, I, I my hail mary I did on my first turn. <laughs> Uh, I, well, I'm i going to uh, try to break free. I will put my put my finger up right next to, against the, the tentacle and just use that ring of the ram and just try to punch through it. Okay. <laughs> so how many charges? Uh, I regained three. Okay, so, so you can use all three, three of your charges. charges. Go for yeah. it. So go ahead and make your, your ranged spell attack with disadvantage. 12 plus 9 is 21. That hits. Oh, oh wait, no disadvantage. disadvantage. Shit. That's less. That's 17. 17 just misses. <laughs> you try and squeeze it by, and the ring releases and it smashes into the rock and destroys part of the nearby plant life, which then begins to just float away. Chunks of, of rock and sand and some of the underground dark soot begins to billow out. The tentacle still remains affixed around you. Terrible. You have a bonus action. Anything you can. All right. I mean, I, I'll, I'll. I don't have any potions or anything. I, nope. That's it. <laughs> it is going to. May use one of its legendary actions to attack Grog with one of its remaining tentacles. That is a thirty-four. Okay. Grog, you take nineteen points of bludgeoning damage, reduced to nine, okay. and you are grappled. It only uh, has one more tentacle left that is is available. We can't. Fucking kill it, you guys! I would like to Don't take a kill it. Attack. Okay. A retaliatory. You can have no against the uh, the, uh, the one that grappled me. Okay, go for it. Grow back. Uh, reckless. You will grow. That's back. a thirty-one again. That hits. Roll damage. Okay. Uh, twenty-one. Twenty-one points of damage. You slam into it. it. Looks like it's pulling apart, but the muscle's still holding tight. Uh, Vax, you need to make a death saving throw with advantage. Don't die. Okay. Uh, that brings us to Keyleth. That'll work. Yeah. You're back here. Who's grappled and who's closest to Grog the Grog is closest to you, grappled, and there is Terry on the other side you cannot quite see. I still have control water up, correct? Uh, 
You would, yes. Tarion and Grog are both grappled? Yes. Correct. And I'm free underneath them? You're yes. free over here, yes. You're the Nagra. Okay. I used Ultra Self originally, correct? Yes. Ultra Self. So I still have all my beast shaping, correct? Correct. Okay. Well, you have your beast shape you used to turn into this form. Huh? Your wild shape you're, you used to turn into this form. Whale right now. I didn't yeah, use no. Alter Self to do that? You used no, beast alter form self on that. Wild, alter okay, Self just, cool. just gives you gills and fins. So you you use sorry, form sorry, sorry. I meant. Sorry. I meant. Uh, um, animal shapes. No? Animal you shape you've already cast on everybody. Animal shapes and then it, to and then, everybody? Yeah. Right, but you lost concentration when you were unconscious. Me. Right, all right. Cool, so. cool, cool. Uh, cool, okay. I'm gonna try to get Grog out of the grasp again with my grasping vine. Bonus action okay. first. See okay. if I can. Grasping vine from where? Okay. You can have it come out of the ground here if you wanted to. He's right. The grog here. is right here. Correct? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. So I want to be over here ish. You're pointing at the yeah. TV screen. Yeah. There. Sorry. <laughs> it's hard because I don't literally have access beyond this so rock. So pulling up yeah. this way? On the other side of that, closest to the portal? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's what I want. Okay, so we'll say pulling this way. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and roll a d20 plus your wisdom modifier. <laughs> Don't fuck me, Gil. Oh. What is that? What is that? Not. What is that? <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's good. Okay, yeah, it's really hard to see. Sorry, because of the light. That's a, that's a seventeen. That's your wisdom modifier. That is a seventeen. That's a seventeen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Seventeen plus. Sorry, I don't I want to feel insane. Plus my wisdom modifier. Yes. Correct. <laughs> Which is? 30, er, sorry, 28. 28. Your wisdom modifier is Wait. plus six, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. sorry, not a saving throw. So 20, 17 plus six, which is 25? All right, so you pull Grog this way, and uh, with the grasping line is the range of what? 23, 17 plus What's the range? What's the range, range of the grasping vine? Range well, how long is it? How far does it pull? It's a 30 foot range with another 30 foot range coming from me. So 60 foot total. Right. So you can, so okay, so you can you can pull him out of the range. It does break 30 foot. Yeah. So you do break the grapple on Grog and pull him away then. Okay. All right. So you move. And then I have my action and my movement. Correct. And I'm a normal person right now or am I a no, whale? No. You're a whale still. You haven't taken any damage. You just got pushed away. Okay. Which actually, technically, in whale form, you can cast a spell. I wouldn't be able to cast a spell. So would you drop your form? <laughs> yeah. For sure. Okay. Yeah, so we definitely Gilf, drop a form. Gilf is back into that, cast the spell. And then I have another spell, correct? You have your, well, you have your, you can cast second it, level second or level lower. lower as your action, and you have your movement still. So, fucking A, this is complicated. Okay. Then I would cast, um, oh, Shit, I got Grog out. Who's almost dead? Well, Who's Vax almost is dead? Vax inside of yeah, the I don't know if I can do anything about that right now, though. Um, I can cast a second level or lower. Oh my god, this is awful. Just heal yourself. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll yeah. heal myself. Sorry, for another healing word. Level two, last level two spell. Okay. And you're gonna move some towards the. And I'm gonna move. No, I'm gonna stay close towards the kraken. So you're gonna stay here, or move yeah. towards the kraken? Are you not moving? Where am I? You're right here. It's hard to see on the screen. It's you're actually not even on the screen. Right, yeah. but you can see my fingers. Yeah, I can see your see your fingers. Let me move closer towards the kraken and towards the portal. There you go. And so that's we'll say there. All I'll do. Okay, got gotcha. you. Top of the layer action. And I heal myself. Sorry, level two, yes, which do is that. two d8, healing word. Uh, uh, All right, uh, I need everybody uh, to make. Sorry, two d4. Constitution saving throw. That's both ones. That sucks. Mm. One plus six. Twelve. 
Yeah, 13 points of lightning sucks. damage. Great. Percival. I'm not there. You're not there? That's right. Kila. <laughs> Constitution saving throw. Roll it again. Natural one. 13 points of lightning damage. Uh, 13? 13. Next. I had 12 hit points, so I'm unconscious. Didn't you just heal yourself a little bit more, though? For I for 12, and now I'm zero. <laughs> you would have to be... Wait, wait, you were at five before. You were five. You and then I healed seven. Zero. Oh, to oh. seven. Oh, oh, well. And I healed seven, because I rolled two yeah. ones. Yeah, Gareth goes unconscious. Sorry, no, 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 wait. I rolled two ones on my d4s. Yes. And I have six a plus, plus six, so that's actually eight. Eight? Do I have one hit You're point left? You're at one left? hit point. You're at one hit point. Eight is that accurate? Is, eight yes. Plus five is thirteen. You just took thirteen hit points. You're so zero. You're, at zero. you're at zero. Never mind. Fuck. You you're just at I'm at zero. Conscious. Okay. Alrighty. God. I Damn rolled a it. twenty. A twenty? Yeah. All right. So you take thirteen points lightning damage. Okay. And trinket rolled a like a four. Thirteen points lightning damage. Cool. Twenty. Twenty-three in resistance. All right. So that's, uh, that's eleven. It's gonna come down to grog. Six points lightning damage to you, Rob. All right, so control water is dropped. It is dropped. Um, Get out. That ends Keel's turn. Get the twentieth count. Oh, Vex, what are you doing? I got him. I. You don't, I you saw. Don't saw Keel just go like get shocked as the burst of electrical energy shoots through the area, and she just kind of goes limp again. And it's kind of floating in space. And I saw Vax get swallowed. Uh, Did I see that happen? You, you would have just barely seen it over your shoulder. And heard someone say it over the ear, please. Um, I, I, uh, fucking A. I swim up and I, um, I swim, god damn it. Your bonus action for a dash if you want to try and get closer, it's up to you. I'm gonna try to shoot, I'm gonna try to shoot, um, Thorns, I guess. Hail of Thorns, maybe? Actually, I'm gonna try, uh... Yeah. What I'm gonna try doing? to shoot uh, Hail of Thorns at, directly at his mouth. I don't know, to try to get him to like do something to let go. Spit it up, it's the stupidest plan. <laughs> I know, but I'm not thinking clearly. My brother's got fucking swallowed. Okay, what level Hail of Thorns? I'm gonna do it at, um... Oh. Everything within five feet, and Keyleth is in five feet? No, Keyleth is over here. Okay. Is anything within five feet? Currently, no. Okay. Um, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast it at a fourth level. Fourth level? Yeah. Do you still have a fourth level spell? Oh no, I did Grasping Vine. You did. Did I? Yeah, no, I didn't. No, I did uh, Conjure crazy. Animals. That's right, you did. So fourth level. Yeah, okay, fourth level. So that is an additional 4d10 piercing damage against the attack. Go ahead and roll the attack. Twenty-three. Twenty-three is the disadvantage? Yeah. Okay, that hits. Okay. Eleven plus three lightning, and then how many? Four d ten. Four d ten. Eighteen. Okay, that was eighteen points of damage. So as you fire the arrow, it sinks like into the side of the creature's mouth, and just bursts with thorns in the vicinity. It kind of roils, but it doesn't seem to have any effect. Um. You have your secondary attack if you want to. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna try to shoot at his eye. Okay, go ahead and roll. Uh, 29. 29 hits? I'm, yeah. <clears throat> 16, plus four lightning, nothing. Um. Okay. And I'm gonna 
This is so stupid. I'm gonna swim back down and try to hide. I got nothing. You've already used your bonus action, unfortunately, to cast the spell. Yes, I did. I'm gonna stand right there and say, fuck you, let go of my brother. <laughs> okay, Percival, you're on the other side of the portal looking through and you're How watching. How long can I see what's going on? Uh, I mean, you get a, a slight view, but you have to peek out the side. It's still obscured and like the water. And it's the only dark. been six seconds. And the daylight spell is still kind of shooting out from underneath, so it's been this beacon of light in the underwater area. So you get a decent view of what's going on. You just see, like, you see Keel kind of go limp in the distance. You see Grog there. You see Vex trying to shoot. I have nothing. Um, I'm going to kind of, I'm going to try and. Uh, how far do I have on that? I'm going to try and stick my head through the portal. I'm going to try and cast Minor Illusion in front of the beast. Okay. Um, and I'm. it can't be complicated, can it? It's got to be small. Nope. It is a cantrip. It is a cantrip, so it's nothing It's nothing fancy. Um, I'm going, I'm just going to try and make a big meaty target appear. I'm just like a thing that looks like, I'm going to try and do like the shape of some aquatic animal, a small anything to try and get right in its face. You concentrate through the portal and you watch just short, about 30 feet past you, a little shimmering space that looks almost like a fish, but it's sort of translucent and blob-like. God damn it. It's, it's not really going to help in this situation. Um. Sorry. I got, no, I got, I, other than, yeah, I got nothing other than st- trying to distract it. All right. End of your turn? Yeah. It's going to use. I'll, I pull back through the portal, obviously, but. All righty. Uh, as you pull back through, end of your turn, it's going to go ahead and use a second legendary action to make a. Uh, this is going to be uh, a tentacle attack in Zugrog. Yep. With advantage. That's going to be 18, that's 27. That hits. You take 12 points of bludgeoning damage, all plus 10, so 22. Divide by that to 11. 11. All right. Can Any I purses? make a retaliator to You yeah. already used it. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Sorry. Retaliator. Uh, it is now the Kraken's turn. Been hitting the Kraken, haven't we? Uh, at the top of the round, you lose a death saving throw. As the acid begins to slowly burn away and Oh, he's just. Gone. No, no, I mean like you lose one. Oh, the just, acid hurts you. It just you. goes. Okay. Yeah, the acid just is slowly digesting you. It's gonna move forward. 5, 10, 15, 20, of thirty. For sake of purposes of this, you're right there, Grog. <laughs> Space is getting a little cluttered over there. Am um, I grappled or did he just bitch slap me? I mean, it, it hit you and grappled you. Okay, cool. Like one of his main tentacles. Is Terry, Terry still held yeah, on. Terry is your around. You're <laughs> being pulled <laughs> go, 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 up go. over the rock, being dragged across. <laughs> like, oh god! Over there. Uh, that is. It's got 34. Uh, you take. This shit's getting intense. Mm. Oh, I'm getting intense. Jesus. <laughs> that is. 29 points of piercing damage, halved, okay. to That's 14. To 14. And it swallows you a second time. Good! <laughs> Pulling you, you into its body. Yeah, you can get back Good! Yeah, no oh, I approve of this. You, think you are consumed and restrained once again in its dark space inside as you're pulled into it. Fuck this tiny hole shit. <laughs> then it's his turn, Grog, you're up. Oh, it's my turn now. I don't even have like a second to think about it. Nope. <laughs> uh, as you're pulled inside, the voice once again, and it's now emanating outward uh, to you as well, Vex. And in the unconscious darkness of Vax and Keyleth, the voice just says, "I've been here a long time, and I'll be here long after you are dust. Feed me and give me sustenance. I'll find my way through somehow." Rug. I take a greater healing potion. Can I fight, can I reach Vax at all? Can I like grip, find any part of his foot or anything and pull him down to me? All right, so you can uh, you can either reach around for him, try and feel for him. Um, you can take your healing potion as a bonus action if you'd like. It's not for me. Oh, it's not for you. Uh, you can make an investigation check to try and find him. This is going to be your action to do so. Is he rough at all? Hmm? Is he rough at all? The Even Kraken. close? Kraken. The Kraken? Mm, I don't know from what you've seen. You guys haven't been doing focusing damage. You've been trying to move around him. He's lost a number of tentacles, but. 
Right, and those tentacles, the tentacles don't count to his overall damage. No, they do. They oh, do, yeah. but... Oh, what, a, what, a, what a choice. I am going to... Fuck it, I'm gonna make an investigation check for Vax. Go for it. Oh. That's a big natural one. <laughs> Feeling around inside, you're unable to find any current form of Vax right now. However, you still have your bonus action when you are frenzy. Yeah, take that fucking potion. All right, take I'll it. take that potion myself. All righty. Yeah. So, what potion is it? It's a greater. It's my last greater. All right, 4d4 plus 4 hit points. So that's 48 hit four. points healed. Seven. <laughs> Eight. Don't help. Nice, Laura. Oh, Laura, do you want your shark to do anything, 16. by the way? Nailed it. 16 points of yeah. healing. I want it to Anything. go and try to attack the tentacle that is holding Terry. All right, so I haven't touched the tentacle. The shark? I'm not even aqua. Hello, shark friend. Aquatic ally. I'll be back. Uh, 21. No, that 22. That hits. Roll damage. Fourteen. Fourteen points of damage. That was one that had previously taken twenty-two points of damage. Ooh. The shark actually does tear the tentacle free. So technically, Tyrion, before you, you're about to get dragged over the coals of the top of this, before the shark actually tore into and removed your grapple from <laughs> and and is and down trinket to two tentacles. Runs. Trinket wow. run. Oh yeah, and Trinket ran towards the door. To the door, Tyrion. I can't hear anything. Four, okay, four there. <laughs> well, she, and she's unconscious. Uh, I can't really see the, the the layout. Is it my turn, by the way? It is your turn, yeah. I can't really see the layout of that rock. Can I see through it? Is there an under that there I can? There is, actually. There's a there's a small kind of under, uh, kind of a, a low bridge. Well, ball sack. Uh, I can't move very fast now, can I? Uh, you can move 15 feet as well, you swim through. Can I, can I wiggle through under the little outcropping there and get to the other side? You can just get out to that side there. You're do like, I have a clean line of sight on him? On the Kraken? Yeah. Yes, you do. Okay. I mean, I can't really. He's, how many tentacles does the Kraken have now? Two more. If I shoot the thing, the people inside will die. I don't know about that. They're already. It might keep him from getting digested. Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't think so. Only one, they're dead, I mean like, it's not like you're saving them by not hitting them at this point. They're gonna die. Yeah, no matter what you do. Don't kill the Kraken. Kraken ain't dying. I mean. Kraken got 10,000 hit points. Oh, uh, wow. Even, even I, can, is there a part of the Kraken I can see that does not look, uh, looks like I could uh, do damage to it without hurting the main what is that? The thorax? You don't see any. <laughs> it is a it is a big creature. Your friends are somewhere deep inside. It's fleshy, digesting interior. The outside is armored and filled with very very top muscle and hide. So yeah, you would probably not damage your friends if you were. All right. Hurt. Well then, I will take off a diamond and blast it with a prismatic spray. Oh, shit. thank yeah, God. Yeah, except half of the things won't do anything. To yeah, you. but well, still, we are out of options. Better than nothing. I am totally okay with a Hail Mary. Oh my god. Okay, so as a prismatic spray in this direction, out this way, it'll just crest past the front of the Kraken and the tentacles. Let's see here. Prismatic spray, it's a dexterity saving throw on that. Sure, it makes it. So that is a 23. Yeah, of course it makes it. All right, so roll for your first beam, which is against the Kraken itself. Do I roll a d8? Or wait, to choose what kind of beam? Are you focusing, are you focusing the Kraken, or are you focusing the Kraken or one of his tentacles? Uh, I mean, no tentacles are holding anything right now, right? Currently no. So, so it'll be just the Kraken. Just the Kraken. All right, so uh, so roll roll a d8 to see which, which beam hits it. Five. Five, that is... 10d6 cold damage. Oh, cold! That's good. So go also ahead and roll that. It doesn't have okay. resistance to that, right? Maybe. 10, right? Okay. Yeah. 
14. 19. 30. 35. 35 points of cold damage reduced to half because it made it save. Mm. Stable those tentacles, 13. man. All right. If you, if you do enough damage to it, it, they may it may vomit them out. No, we gotta do it from the inside. Um, you get that sense. Mm. All right. Do you have? Yeah. And the tentacles don't hit, get a prismatic spray of their own. No, it's okay. kind of one of those things where it it just damages the creature. You have to focus like a physical, specific attack on one tentacle. Man. Um, all right. That brings us to the top of the round. Vax, go ahead and roll that saving throw with advantage. I can't do a. Um, Rip off a patch and take a potion, can I, as a bonus? A regular potion, you mean? It's a patch potion. A patch potion? Yeah. It's like a nicotine yeah. patch? Or maybe like a patch healing spell? A patch Adam. I was using the patch as an action, I think, unfortunately. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just chew on the patch. Back? It's just jerky. Oh, you're good. All right. You so in. So, <laughs> Keyleth, death saving throw, please. Oh, God, she's unconscious. Oh. Uh, plus a constitution? Nope, just no, a d20. Sorry. Would you roll? Three. All right, so you failed one death saving throw. Let's see. Into that. First he's having a Mai Tai somewhere. All right. Uh, Vex, Trinket, and Tarion, make dexterity saving throws, please. Eleven. Six points of lightning damage. Nineteen for me. Six points of lightning damage. And fail. Six like points of lightning damage for, for Trinket. Six. Six, yeah. He's unconscious, so he's bamped to my necklace. All right. Well, yeah. Is he within a hundred feet? Yeah, he is. Okay. Keyleth, you failed another another death saving throw. Immediately. Yep. You took lightning damage. Oh my god. Alrighty. This oh is not going to go well, guys. <laughs> we Vex, got nobody your, else on the field. Vex, it's your turn. You have an unconscious Keyleth over here. I'm going to swim to her and try to cast Cure Wounds. Okay. Cast it. Good, I'm casting it at third level. Um, so that's 3d8. That's cocked. That sucks. Seven. Sorry. So I was total what? Seven. Seven points. So hey, Keyleth, Keyleth, you're, you're alive. conscious. Seven points. You heal seven hit points. You're conscious. <gasps> Back in the game. Save my brother. Spare me from my foot. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, ending Vex's turn. Percival. Well, actually, uh, Vex, you still have movement if you want to. I'm gonna try to hide. You have nothing to hide behind. Get out, get out, get out. I'm gonna just swim away from. I'm gonna just try to swim towards the fucking door, but okay. trying to keep my distance from the Kraken while I'm doing it. It's hard to do that right now, but you're going towards the door that way. There's a little gap. All right, then it's Vex's turn. Percival, anything? Oh, fuck. Um. Yeah. Does thing do anything? No, it, it fires out. electricity. Oh. <laughs> oh, shark is going to attack the one of the last tentacles. If um, it can get to it, I'm 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 gonna hold my action for barely, for barely get up there. The go vague, to attack for the vague hope of something useful. Okay, holding your action to to, to distract. attack the the, the crack. I've already burned it, <laughs> uh, and it laughed it off. Uh, just to attack the crack, and if it gets close enough, just sword. Just okay. Uh, Twenty eight. Twenty eight hits. Roll damage. Twelve. That shark is our most effective. Weapon. The shark has been <laughs> pretty great. Alrighty, that brings us to the Kraken's turn. Top of the turn, the acid burns through even further. Vax, you feel another death saving throw. That's two. All right. Um, top of the Kraken's turn. It's going to. Let's see. It's in the range here. It's going to turn. Like mind blower. And it's like so late. It's just like, yeah, it's midnight. And we're just into the wee hours of the morning Guys, and watching I think ourselves this die. This is one of our tightest games. This is kind of nuts. 
All right, it's going to make a tentacle attack at both at the shark, Vex, and Keyleth. All, th- but it only, has, only has two tentacles. tentacles. That's right, two tentacles. So it's going to make one at uh, Vex and Keyleth. <laughs> But the shark is so dangerous. The shark's the been shark hurting it. The shark is literally the most dangerous and thing. And Keyleth is just like. <laughs> very you gather this creature is far more intelligent than you think. It's not a natural beast. It's a fairly what if intelligent the shark creature. Gets the, how do you want to uh, do that this? is a twenty. That is a twenty-six versus you. You take. Well, Deagle. good news is I'm rolling shit damage. Uh, <laughs> that is eighteen points of bludgeoning damage to you, Vex. And you are gra- you are grappled. By one tentacle, and against Keyleth, you are just technically not within five feet of you. It's a natural one. Oh! I was like, I'm pretty sure you had advantage because you're prone, but a prone is within against the creature has advantage, and the creature is within five feet of the creature. Otherwise, it has disadvantage. So, uh, yeah. That's great. Oh God. Just go back to Zoggy paddling. That's one thing that saved you. Uh huh. And that's going to be just the two attacks. That's all I can do this turn. All right, that brings us to Grog, you're up. Let us whoop the Let's ever loving pray. shit out of the inside of this Kraken, reckless uh, everything. Yeah, just all three just attacks, just hitting the inside. Master as well or not? Um, it's not a really a great weapon. Two-handed versatile means you can hold it with two hands. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, Pretty then. sure that's how it works. Because that's just a, it's just a it's just a hammer. It's not like a great sword or a great axe. So I thought yeah. maybe. Should double check the wording just to be safe. Value of these books with how much you've been cracking the spines tonight. I'm just saying. Oh, it's a heavy weapon. Not it's no longer so Yeah, you cannot. Yeah, you're right. I'll make them reckless though. All three. Mm-hmm. 20, 29. 29. Hits, right? Double check the internet, doesn't get angry at me. I'm just going to roll the damage. So 20. Yeah. 29 hits. Uh, first is a 20. 20 points of damage. Second one is a 22. 22, yeah, hits. Hits? Okay, good. <laughs> Don't. Nine. Is a 24 points of damage. Four points of damage already. Last one is a natural 20. <gasps> oh! Roll damage. Oh, yeah. oh my Jesus. Uh, 19, uh, 19 plus. Uh, 34. That's a 10. That's 44. And that's 7, so that's 51 points of damage. 51 points of damage to it. That is. In its own attack is enough to make a constitution saving throw. That is a four, with plus 15 is 19. It's not enough to make its constitution saving throw. It vomits Grog in an uncautious vax out of the front. Gotta gotta get a healing healing potion in that guy's stat. Jesus Christ, guys, you're killing me. Okay, get it, get it in him. So Grog, it's you, you still have your movement. I do have my movement. Okay. I am going to. It's so. It's such a you short, shitty movement. I'm him? gonna. St- can I just rotate around him towards the door and stay yeah. within? As far as I can get. Twenty-five. Can halved, get there. Yeah. Oh, All right. Any grog's turn. Tarion. Uh, wait. Is is little elf boy alive? No. He is. No, he is no, he's, he's not. He's unconscious with two failed death saving throws. And grog just but, ran away from him. But uh, he's yeah. out of the kraken. Can't do he's anything. out of the kraken. But okay. If you can heal him for nope. a point nope. any way nope. possible, okay. Nope. <laughs> Can't do it. This is not good, people. <laughs> True love's kiss. <laughs> I am very far go, away <laughs> right now. Is it my turn? I, I just mean Sam. <laughs> I mean that I would love to do. Again. Um. Okay. Um. I don't know. Uh, Burke. 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 Nope. I got nothing. I mean, if the prismatic spray will kill everybody else. Uh, Ring of the Rams dead. Uh, um, I can't yeah. throw anything that far. Right? right? He's like yeah, 40 no, feet away he's from right me. Over here. You're right. You're. What would Terry do at this moment? F- 50 feet away? How far am I? Uh, you're about 50 feet from him, yeah. You have his bag, right? 
I can't. Th- I can't throw something fifty feet underwater. I can't, and I can only move no. fifteen feet. But you can swim out. Oh. <laughs> but you can There's very little I can do. I will say. Man. I will say. Uh, um, crossbow and change my thing into a cr- my rod into a crossbow uh-huh. and knock the poison bolt and shoot it. Sure, I'll say. Right, so <laughs> Look at that. You Look turn at that. this way. Also move fifteen feet. There you go. Go and make your attack with disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> it was a one. <laughs> <laughs> you pull back on your fire and it goes, and the bolt just goes <laughs> and floats up, and you're like, shit. Wow. Uh, but wow. when I moved, Matt, I want to move toward it. Not a way. Okay, so you'll be. I'm going there. to get you a new d20 soon. Okay. All right, like... ending Terry's turn. Vax, that saving throw with advantage. <gasps> with no uh-huh. luck left. No, what, 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 no, no, nothing, no luck. Come on, wow. Dragon Queen shit, wow. nothing. Really? Last bit of air escapes from the lungs of Vax. <sighs> Lifeless on the ground. All right, that ends your turn. Obviously, Keyleth. Oh. What? <laughs> my God. The crack. Who do I see? Uh, you, you, you're right here on the ground. You see Vax not moving. Uh, you see Vex currently grappled inside there and Grog and everyone rushing in this direction towards the pool. Vex is grappled, Vax is dead, and then there's me. How, how close am I to Vex and Vax? Uh, you are 10 feet from Vax and 15 feet from Vex. Or 10 Can feet from each, actually. Time to win them 10 feet from each? Yeah. Can I swim with my alter self, mm-hmm. grab both of them? Can I do that? Uh, Can I grab both of them okay. with my swim speed? All right. Hold yourself. Yeah. You can. You can grab. In between them. You can grab Vax. I'm mean, going to tug him towards Vex at half speed. So it's fine. Um, no, I've got alter self. I've got alter self. Right, you're but you're tugging. you're dragging him behind dragging you as you go. Come on, man. Oh, do yeah. I have Vex? So five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25, 30, 30? You're like just in the space. What are you trying to do? And I class, I, I cast plane shift and I get us out oh, of here. Oh shit. Okay. All right. And with that, the three of you vanish. Oh, sorry, everyone else. The three of you? Wait, you, who, and who? The shark vanishes. Oh, the shark. <laughs> Who just vanished? Me, Everyone but Bex. you. Plane oh. shifting where? It's you and Terry and left. Get the fuck out. Where plane, are you going? Plane shifting where, Keyleth? Back to Vesra. Okay. We're out of the portal. All right. <laughs> they vanish. Uh, Grog. All right, so I finished Keyleth's turn. Top of the scale here. I need both of you guys to make dexterity saving throws. <laughs> Wait, who? Who? Uh, Grog there. and Tim. I have, Wait, I have Grog advantage. is dead? No, no. Oh, dexterity. Oh, dexterity. 18. 18, all right, you take uh, eight points of bludgeoning damage. Why is it death? Grog? 17. Uh, that is uh, eight points. With resistance? Four. Yeah, reduced to four. Okay. Four points. Resistance. Resistance. So just four. It's all right, Percival. Um. Wait, 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 are you grappled? It's fine. You're Nobody not there. else is grappled. You're not right there. Now. You're no one's grappled. You're going. Uh, chill. I'm. Chill with me. Um. Nothing. There is nothing I can do. All right. End of your turn. Last legendary saving. Uh, legendary, legendary action. Go ahead and attempt to grab and grapple Grog. Come uh, on. With advantage because you. That's uh, right. Fuck you, Kraken. That is 26. Oh, yes. Fuck. You take uh, 10. Tw- Ten points of motion damage, being reduced, <clears throat> and you are five. grappled. Oh, ten is reduced. Yeah. Whew. Okay. And you can are I make my retaliatory? You can. On that tentacle. Reckless. Twenty three. Twenty three hits. Going roll damage. That is also a twenty three. Twenty three. That one had taken thirteen damage earlier. That tentacle is destroyed. There is one left. I am not grappled. You are no longer grappled. There's one slightly damaged tentacle left. Uh, as you do so, the voice is, no, come, join your end here in the depths. Um, 
right, that ends your retaliation, Percy's. It is now. Right, so that was Percy's turn, right? I already. I just. I could do anything. I, there's literally nothing I can do. Yeah, I have a sword. Right. Okay. It's going to come forward here. It's going to go ahead and do lightning storm against both of you. I need both Tyrion and Grog to make dexterity saving throws once more. Mm -hmm. That's good. Eighteen. Uh, Twenty. No more blessed. Hashtag. All right. Hashtag, yeah, hashtag not so blessed. not blessed. Uh, that is a really shitty roll. Thirteen points lightning damage. Dead. Thirteen points lightning damage. Unconscious. Twenty in resistance for me. Okay. So it was sorry. So it was thirteen minus that to Terry. seven. Seven. So Terry falls unconscious. Motherfuck. Scanlan appears in a purple puff of smoke. I know. <laughs> are you really? Are you really? Where are you? He's right near you. So, both so Grog, X and it's your turn. You don't even like me. I'm gonna take the coin. She's with you us. took I'm me. I'm gonna this out. alter self. Wait, who's unconscious? Okay. Terry, I'm gonna grow gills Terry. Wait, and Shh. He's doing stuff. Okay, so the gills and fins appear, your webbed fingers, and what are you doing? I see Terry fall, and I bolt for the portal. Okay. <gasps> Going right past me. Yep. Oh, I am staring you in the dead eye. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> and can I, can I like, can I like double my speed? Uh, no, unfortunately, because you used your action to do the Holy ability shit. on you. Oh, oh wait, wait, you, you wait, have the, so you have full movement. So that's full movement. That's right. We need the, oh, we need the fucking lodestone. Oh, he's I got the other lodestone. lodestone. He does have the third lodestone! Oh, yeah. Did I make it to the portal? You are just in the outskirts of it, and you see Percy yelling at you. Lodestone! What? Oh. <laughs> 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 right. Oh, that was a great way to ensure that you got out of here, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh coming through at twenty, uh, Grog. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. My girl, get out. Nineteen. That is ten reduced to five. Five points lightning damage against you. Um. Terry, you fail death saving throw. Sure. Automatically, because you take damage from the lightning. How far is Terry from the? How how many feet is Terry from the portal? <laughs> uh, Terry is. How I forgot. Fifty. Forty feet. Grab. Forty feet. <laughs> yep. What's my running speed? Yeah, yeah. What's my running speed. <sighs> running speed is thirty. Okay. All right. Percival, what are you doing? You can dash and get sixty. You still have the coin, right? Your I've potion, already taken it. Your potion of haste. Don't complicate. I don't have this. a potion of haste. Yeah, sure you do. Don't complicate this. I think we'll be okay. I think. Um, First of all, what are you doing? I'm going oh, to. I have a healing see. potion. I have a healing potion. All right. Fucked. Uh, Come on, Percy. I got. Okay. I don't know what the fuck to do. Um. That's the title for the episode. Can you get, what's your speed? 60. Yeah, so go over there and heal me, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna survive one round in there. I'm not gonna, I'm 16 oh, points. Oh, okay, I will. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's no, there's no, what, how, is Grog looking rough? Grog, how are you looking? I'm okay. You looking fine? I'm, I'm all right. just gonna scowl at you I'm actually, fuck it, I'm doing, I have something I can do! What are you Science doing? Science bros, man! <laughs> what are you doing, Percy? Bigger things. I'm gonna cast friends on Grog. Grog, make a wisdom saving throw with advantage because of Hero's Feast. I don't even know what that is. Wow. Three, five, <laughs> zero modifier. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Love this game. Uh. Well, actually, it's supposed to be charisma checks against him. What are you trying to do? Just toss the nitwit through the well, door! Wait, are you trying to intimidate him? No, I'm begging! <laughs> All right, make a persuasion check with advantage. That's how it's technically supposed to work. Yes. But I'm giving you, yeah. <laughs> through the through the water? Uh, with advantage. I. Well, that was cocked, though, zone. was it? Well, that's a 20. That's, okay. <laughs> yeah, it was a 20. 20? Okay. Natural 20. Okay, Grog. You come through and see Percy looking at yeah, you, yeah, and yeah. oh shit, you don't want to make him mad. He's your buddy. Toss the nitwit through the door. The nitwit. 
That's okay. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, I'm good. Okay, I love you. Dump the crack. I'm so proud. Just nitwit, right? Yeah, that's what I said. Who do you think? Who do you think I think the nitwit is? I think it's Grog. It's gonna. I'm, I can't take it back what I'm gonna see what I said. I'm well aware. All right. I can start to argue with you if you start to do something you stupid, did guess which is Brian, fine. So. <laughs> I technically I would think Nitwit is me, and I'd be like, okay, here I go. You might. I'm but not gonna. Why don't you roll for it, Trav? No, you cast friends, and the whole point is to like, yeah. You know that. All right. That, yeah, that's a DM call. It's not quite my call. Yeah, the Kraken is going to go ahead and make a bite attack against you. Oh god damn it! Because his last one was two. one tentacle left. That is an eighteen plus six. That is twenty-four. That hits you. You take. That is seven. Oh eight, shit! Five, thirteen plus ten. That's twenty-three points of piercing damage. How many? Twenty-three. Reduced Half to twelve two. because of your raging. Twelve. And you are. Uh, oh, you are not. You are not grappled by the Kraken, so it does not swallow you. Hey! Yeah, that saves your ass there, man. Oh I was like, I was just about to eat you. Fuck no. Okay. Been good for you guys. Um, yeah, that's the, that's the Kraken's turn. Grog, what are you doing? I am going to Aquaman run over to Terry. Well, you, you, you took you took the, the so you have full speed now. Five. Yep. So you can double speed if you want. Well, 25 there. It's going to take an action to pick him up. Maybe I just want to grab the bag. He said nitwit. Throw the nitwit through the door. What do you want to do, Grog? It's your call. It's your no, I'm not going to fight you no matter what. Yeah, what do you want to do, Grog? Now he cast friends, right? So yeah. I wouldn't want to make Percy mad. What's up to you? Fri friends affects friends. him more than it affects you, technically. He just seems very persuasive. I feel like I had a point. Yeah. All right. I'll pick up Terry. Okay. <laughs> Moving back with him. Because your strength doesn't reduce your movement. 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, I can help. 25. You don't quite reach. Can you throw edge. Terry through? Or is that an addition? Do I have action? anything to toss him through that thing? Mm, no, it takes your whole. Yeah. To pick him up and get there, you only have the bonus action right now. Can so. I take a, a just a. What are the tiny little healing potions, the regular ass ones? Do you have one? Yeah. I have one. It's uh, just. So there you go. So you take it. I forget what it's called. Yeah, it's a 1d4 plus, or 2d4 plus it's 2. It's a red ball. 2d4 plus 2. 2d4 plus 2. And Scrog turn. 3. Tyrion. 4. Make a death saving throw. 11. 11, so you're fine. That's a one good one. <laughs> you, you get a success. Uh, that brings okay. us up to the top. Is it mine? Uh, not quite yet. Fuck. We are at the 20. Oh, Larry. Um, God damn it. All right, that's a dexterity saving throw from you, Grog. It's just all out shocking. You will auto, you will auto lose a sixteen. Sixteen. That is fourteen points of lightning damage. Do you grog? Half to seven. Yep, half to seven. God damn. You automatic death fail. Automatic fail. death fail. Uh, all right. That brings us now to Percival. I'm going to just lean out the fucking door and take three attacks at a tentacle and run back in. Okay. Since he's right there. Well, currently there is no tentacle in your. Range. There's no tentacle in the range right now. No, if the the tentacles and range when it's wrapped around somebody, you can hit it right there. But right now, it's kind of just like. Oh, in, the in that case, I'm going to run out, grab, and pull, and just like help drag everybody through the portal. If you I can, can, you can grab it and pull Terry. And be cool. We'll see. You're gonna be fine. friend. All right. <laughs> you don't. You won't know for a while. You pull Terry we'll through out. his 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 unconscious body through. Um. He's and I'm healing potion. I've healing got a potion. I do. I have like a I have like a minor left that You're I haven't pulling burned. Pulling Tyrion through. Okay. So yeah. I'll say between like your first movement there, you, like you'll a, have enough. So go ahead and so two d four plus two to Tyrion. Two d four plus what? Two d four plus two to Tyrion. Oh, uh, so that's uh, six. Yeah. Tyrion is conscious. Um, <sighs> yeah, and now I'm just like just I'm back, just back at the, the edge, like like ready to yeah. All right. Is now the Kraken's turn. Oh my god. You got nothing. The Kraken is going to step right here, now directly behind you, Grog. Its tentacles kind of swarm with well, the one tentacle, all these broken tentacles now that are trying to like extend. You can see parts of it are regenerating and starting to extend a little bit. Not fully, but it's going to take off, but it is, you can see it does regenerate over time. Um, that is a bad, bad creature. Uh, 
You know, at the end of Percival's turn, it's going to use one of its legendary actions. God damn it! To attempt to bash it. It's a natural twenty. Oh my god! Oh, so that is seven. That is seventeen points of bludgeon damage against you. Reduced to half. What do you have? To eight, nine. So that would be nine. Yeah. And you are grappled. Now it is the Kraken's turn. The Kraken is going to attempt to bite attack you. It does not have advantage. That is a 20. Hits. God fucking damn it! That is. <laughs> 18 points piercing damage, reduced to 9. Mm hmm. And you're swallowed. God fucking damn. Okay. So you get your. You get any attacks, Groggy? Mm hmm. Okay. Alrighty. Projectile. Grog, it's your turn. All three attacks. Go for it. Reckless. That's a 32. Things. I can heal you. That's 20 points of damage on the first one. Alright, 20. 26 is the hit for the second one. That hits. Yeah, sure. Nine, 24 points of damage on the second one. Alright. And a 23. That hits. With 19 points of damage on the third one. Let's make a constitution save. That is directly a 9 plus 15. It's a 24, the DC is 25. It oh. fails and vomits you out again <laughs> oh. in the front of it. Oh, Jesus right through the door, right through the door, vomits him right through the door. Come with, on, through the door, with, he projectile vomits. That's a great I am, we I am there right now. I'm just going to take a picture of that. So people Come who on. are like, that's a little too close. With the rest of my movement, can I turn around <laughs> and look at him and go, yo, oh, ancient one. Can you read my mind now? And I walk through the portal. <laughs> 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 and you do as you step away <laughs> through the portal. <laughs> 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 um, double birds. There we go. I just, I just tweeted that final saving throw on his end. I wow. Hand you my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> and fall down. And that's where we're gonna end tonight's game. Oh. Jesus Christ! Oh. Jesus Christ! That was. Don't fuck with the. Titan creatures, man. Terrible. Hey, your first death, Vax. Titan creatures. First Titan death. Creatures. Well, He's dead. Around. That's not good. He's still <laughs> fucking dead. I know. He's Maybe. still fucking dead. Maybe my last death. God. We don't know. We don't know. I think he's just and like so, you will get angry the look of your queen. But we'll find out where that brings us next week. One way or another, it'll climb back again to the Aramente. Uh, oh my god. And all of the guild complexes. Wow, I, did, I underestimated that whole thing. That, that was went so much worse than I ever thought it would be. I don't feel good. I well, feel like I'm going to throw up. Yeah, I feel a little nauseous, and it's not just the Kraken. Thank you, Luke Crate. The Kraken. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Luke Crate. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Luke Crate. Thanks, Luke Crate. For the robot and the, and the, and the Legos. You're still alive? All of us with everybody but us. How many points did you have at the end there, Grog? Hey, Go and we got, so we got We got lodestone. We got lodestone. Oh yeah, I was Eight watching him take it down, and I was like, oh my yeah. god, one more 49, hit, and Grog's 65, unconscious. 65, 61, 51, 44, 39, 27, 33, 26, 17, wow. 8. Wow. Jesus. Wow. If I didn't get wow. barfed, like, we would have problems. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I was wow. I was gonna make a running. I was yeah. I was not willing to yeah. I was not you gonna. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wallowed too. I yeah, yeah. yeah. I I had a thought, but it was a bad thought. I'm really glad I didn't have to go. <laughs> oh, I guess, I guess Terry so lives sick. another day. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned a lesson. Always always carry an insurance policy. <laughs> Fair enough. I want to cry. Well, guys, well done. I cry too. You. You gathered the lodestones and got escaped. <laughs> With the body of Vax, though dead, yeah, had had that last death saving throw happened in the stomach of the Kraken, there was no way you were getting no them back. back. Mm -hmm. So that's that's mm -hmm. good. I know. So, so that, in a way, we won. That's a silver lining. 
Anyway, guys, thank you for, for sticking through a very long, climactic, intense battle. A five hour Both battle. players and viewers. Wow. Thank you, Luke Crate, for being our awesome sponsor. Thank you, Luke Crate. We'll be wow. back next week to see the conclusion of this Armente arc. Much love to you all, and is it Thursday yet? Not for another week. Really? See you guys soon. Hello. I'm Lisa Loeb, and I'm here to talk with you about dinosaurs. <laughs> You want to say? What do you? What do you mean you want to save dinosaurs? What is this? You lightning! You bloodthirsty death monster! Ah! Never quite get used to that sound. Hello. April 29th is Tabletop Day! Just direct your Twitch to Geek and Sandre! All around the world we'll get people to play! And play and play and play and play! We're celebrating game designers and the players! Cards and dice and role-playing slayers! Teams or co-op, whatever your flavor! Scream and shout or respect your neighbors! So let's join forces all for one and one for all! If you love games, come on! Okay. April 29th is tabletop day.